Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Cillian's always such a fun, wild, wacky time. I always have so much fun hanging out with her. And I hope you guys had fun too! <laughs> yeah! It was super last minute when she messaged me yesterday, but I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? I love hanging out with my friends and I want to do it more. I want to do it more! <laughs> Yes, we will be we will be switching over to rain code, so I'm not going anywhere. Don't you worry. No, I'm staying. Mm-hmm. Detective Cinder? That's right. In fact, in fact, you know what we gotta do. Right, chat? Right? Right? Ta-da! <laughs> Cinder Gami's back, baby! <laughs> Are you ready to solve more murder? <laughs> I'm not guilty. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> Don't investigate your search history. No, 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 no. Murder. Mm -hmm. We're investigating murder. <laughs> For those of you who may not have been a part of the, uh, the raincoat excitement, let me fill you in, let me fill you in. So, if you've ever heard of Danganronpa, if you enjoy Danganronpa, it's made by the same people, so it's got a very familiar art style, very familiar music style, um, super, super well done, super awesome, and it's going to be uh, murder, we investigate the murder, and then we try to solve the murder by using all the evidence that we find to uh, use a uh, sword imbued with our knowledge to kill the enemy. <laughs> and then we execute the baddies. <laughs> Pretty much sums it up. So, um, if I remember correctly, we were on chapter two. I think. Let me just uh, let me pull up the game. I think I still have the game like open because I think I was in the middle of a conversation and I didn't want to like lose any progress. Yeah, murder, murder, murder. Uh oh yeah. Also, let me get my uh, controller. I didn't give myself much time to set up my stream today because I took a nap and then I made some grilled cheese and then I went live. <laughs> no, it's not a mogus. Not a mogus. It's even better. If you believe it. Even better. Alright. Let me... Uh, let me set this up real quick. Okay. Okay, I think we're good to go. So we're going to be continuing rain code. <clears throat> All right. Um. Thank you guys, by the way, for uh, subbing and cheering and all that fun stuff during uh, um, our time with Fillion. I really, really appreciate it. Sorry for getting distracted. I'm probably going to be distracted again playing Rain Code, but it's going to be a really, really fun time. The My sussiest sound alerts come from the Rain Code streams, if that gives you any idea. <laughs> All the really sus ones. Unofficial snacker raid. Oh, hey snackers. What's up? It's nice to see you guys. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked the like the collab. I'm going to keep streaming. I'm going to be playing Rain Code if you like murder. And if you like a uh, hot Death and God anime babes wolf. chasing the little kitty cat. <laughs> and if you like really sus sound alerts, um, this is your stream. 
So uh, we're gonna be investigating another murder. It hasn't happened yet. We're just starting the new, the next chapter. Um, but we will see where things go from here. Let me. Yeah, I think. Hold on. I think. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I'm just going to. I'm probably gonna mute text to speech and alerts. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I have to. Yeah, I don't think I have to. Cause there hasn't been a whole lot of cutscenes. I think it's just like dialogue, and I should I be able think to. I you're just a horny little boy. <sighs> yes, that one. <laughs> wait, wait! You don't have to remind me. <laughs> New horns. The the horns, crown, and flower are actually from Shinigami, who is the the death god waifu in Rain Code. So I'm kind of like cosplaying her. You'll see her. You'll see. Don't you worry. She will come back. Okay, let's go. And, uh, where's my game? Hello? There it is. There's my game. We're only in the void for a short time, it's okay. It's okay, minimal scuff. Not that bad. Alright, let me see. Hold on. Connecting my controller again. Oh, yippee! Yippee! There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. It's charged, I don't have to plug it in. Alright, let me know if you guys can hear. Uh, one second. There we go. This isn't the real me. Back into the action. Mm -hmm. You good? With that, a hand reaches out and misses the stars grazing off dusk. Wait, are we getting dark already? In the shadow of the school after class lies the remnants of everything someone has lost. Wait. Hold on, let me get my controller. I'm ready. A silent curtain call. Is this gonna be like Fontaine <laughs> in Genshin Impact? It's gonna be like a like a magic show gone wrong. <laughs> what? Why are you running? Oh God, I love him. Isn't he just like the finest man you've ever seen? Good morning, everyone! Good morning, Fubuki! <laughs> She's so cute! Oh? Chief, you look so clean cut today. You look just like Halara. <laughs> you didn't miss anything! We're, we're getting... We're off to uh, the next chapter. We just started. We just started this chapter. Chapter 2. That is Halara! How could you mistake the two of them? Oh, you're right! What a wonderful surprise. She's so, she's so aloof. <laughs> she's cute. The chief was gone by the time I got here. It's way past our meeting time. He was running. Was he running back here? Was he running away? What is that old man doing? He always nags others and they're late. The chief suddenly went missing. According to my deduction, hmm? his chopped up corpse will be shipped here in a cardboard box. No, I actually thought he was the culprit of the last murder. Um, and I feel so bad for assuming the worst of him. Um, I really hope he's okay. That's horrible. I wonder what happened to Chief Yako. Garbage on the floor. We need to investigate. Hmm. So dirty. Yes, thank you. Thank you for 
coming to that conclusion. Looks like we have to talk to Halara. Can I talk to my husband first? Hey, what you doing in there? You reading? Yeah. I'm just getting to a good part in this book. Do you mind waiting? You know. Oh, Vivia doesn't care at all, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Scattered books. Oh, he was looking for something. Aww. It's so cluttered in here. You're right. Seeing that the chief's raincoat isn't here, he must have gone out. Mm. But the where? The desk drawer is slightly open, and the loose change inside is gone. It wasn't a significant amount of money, just enough to do some shopping. Maybe he was really hungry. Maybe he really wanted some of those pork buns. Considering that the refrigerator is empty, he most likely went out to get breakfast. <laughs> I'm hungry! There's no food! <laughs> That's correct, Laura. Uh. Ah, oh, every time he speaks, every time that man opens his mouth. Chief Yako said, he's grabbing breakfast before everyone got together. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for filling me in. He asked me to tell everyone, which is why I just did. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Vivia. Why didn't you tell us earlier? <laughs> So, no chopped up corpse there. He probably forgot. He's so precious. You're so perceptive, Halara. With my logic, anything is possible. Whoa! You are like a real detective. <laughs> Everyone here is a real detective. <laughs> oh, wait, he's got a guitar. I didn't notice that. that uh, well, there is one trainee who wandered in here. Mm. What a jerk! I'm the only one who's allowed to pick on Master. Well, one of these days. Oh my God! That shorty detective, I'll turn him into a wax doll or something. That PNG, goddamn girl! Even if he's a trainee, he's still a detective. We don't discriminate here. I think Kalara likes what, me. You're on the rookie side. Yeah, we were bonding over the last investigation. He's a trainee who doesn't even have a detective deed. No way am I gonna recognize him as a real detective. Yeah, well, I bet you didn't get to hold hands with Halara, huh? Who's laughing now, huh? <laughs> right, Vivia? Huh? <laughs> oh, there's no need to worry. I ate breakfast before coming over here. Aw. You're not even listening. <laughs> I wonder why the chief is taking so long. Uh, maybe he's in line at a stall for some meat buns. He's always eating that stuff. Yeah, the meat buns. It is Kanai Ward's specialty. Adults and children alike seem to love it in the city. Can Halara see Shinigami regularly? No. So, Halara was only able to see Shinigami's human form, like her ultimate form, when they were in the, the labyrinth. Because she just, like... She... She shared the... Like the powers, but then all that disappeared once they uh, once they left the labyrinth. Everything kind of reset. I have witnessed people line up at the meat bun stalls in both the Kamasaki and. But if she holds my hand again, then she'll probably see her. <laughs> Everyone looks so gloomy around here because they eat that crap like a bunch of country bumpkins. Oh, meat buns sound pretty good. Hey, rookie, go make something for the chief. You're good at cooking, aren't you? Actually, due to my amnesia, I can't make anything tasty. <laughs> yeah, right? What? Oh, you're useless, rookie. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> I'm the only one who gets to call Master useless. There's no, no like muscle memory when it comes to cooking. Jeez. Everything about this town is so dark and gloomy. It's making me go insane. Play something. Yo, that's such a badass guitar. I step outside and I get rained on. All I hear are raindrops. There's no good music anywhere. So play some, make some. Oh, I know what this town needs isn't truth or justice. It's high quality entertainment. Yeah. That's where I come in. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. It's time for me to blow some minds with my debut. Debut? Yeah, he's a VTuber. I'm a <laughs> dancing superstar detective. He's an idol. <laughs> My beautiful voice will echo throughout this town. I'll show him what true entertainment looks like. 
I'm just doing this to breathe some life into this. How funny would it be city. if it was actually super Not awful? Not because they want to pick up chicks or anything. Oh, he's got hearts in his eyes. He's so cute. He just wants a lady. No one asked, and he's already making excuses. <laughs> Such typical behavior for a liar. Oh, that reminds me. I just wrote a new song. <gasps> I'll grace you yes! all with it right now as a special yes! treat. Yes. Yes. Oh, no! Always have the worst timing. What's up? <sighs> These morning chases are killing me. Huh? What do you mean? Looks like there's something going on. The here. police? Are they after you? What happened, Chief? It's the peacekeepers. Yep. They've been trailing me ever since I left. I was running to get them off my tail, but they refused to let up. Oh, that's the most running I've done in a while. Oh, and my back is killing me. They literally know where your submarine is. They know where we are. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so they just trailed you? Why not let them do it? Like I want to go on an early morning date with some peacekeepers? <laughs> not interested. <laughs> Besides, it'd be one thing if they just wanted to follow me. But there's a chance they'll make an attempt on my life. Hmm. Just for walking around? There's no way. I don't know about that. It looks like they've gotten serious ever since the Nail Man case. That was the last case. Sorry. The first one, rather. We have more stuff to worry about than just Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I think we should lay low for a while. Well, the Maybe we should never said we go underwater. Discovery by a certain date. That's true. Let's lurk in the bottom of the river until things settle down. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's for the best. Let's go with that. Let's go in hiding. The weird duo and so the peacekeepers, yeah. Unusual. While we're hiding, we could lose what we've built here. No, it's not my style to just wait for the opponent to make their move. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the initiative. Let's go, Halara. Hey, hold on, Halara. Where do you think you're going? There's something I want to look into. There's no need for concern. No matter how many peacekeepers come after me, I'll be fine. Yeah, she'll just... <laughs> she knocks them all out. <laughs> I guess that's that. Yeah, we, we know Halara. Halara, we don't have to worry about. Halara will be fine. I just don't want to get dragged into any trouble. Jeez. Master detectives are all so selfish. We can hear you. <laughs> Well, good. I hope you all learn some self-restraint. Says the regular detective. Should I go keep an eye on Halara? Just to make sure no fights break out. You, Fubuki? That'd actually make me more worried. <laughs> you should get like, lost or something. That's a great idea. Yes, Fubuki, please go team up with Halara. Roger that. Off I go. Uh, where are you going? The exit is over here. <laughs> Fubuki is a good idea. She's gonna get lost. <laughs> Despite how she acts, Fubuki has one of the strongest powers of all master detectives. Yeah, wait, what? Did she tell us what it was? She'll be great help in times of trouble. The strongest? Yeah, I don't think we know what her power is yet. Is that sheltered skink really that amazing? She didn't sure go doesn't look it. Uh, time for us to go to. We need to find some girl dad, I mean. Clues. Is that your guitar bag? Bro. <laughs> What else you got in there? <laughs> I just asked you to show some self-restraint. Don't worry. I'm the ultimate master detective. I won't cause any trouble for you. It's a body bag. <laughs> you could fit like three bodies in there. Are you sure? What? what? I I'm not so weak that I need some rookie worrying about me. Come on, we can spend a chapter together. My powers make me the best there is in deceiving prying eyes. Not even the peacekeepers stand a chance. Deceiving? Oh, fine. I guess I'll put on a special show just for you. Yeah, please. One minute. Okay. Who knows how many days it took God to create the world? But I can change everything in just one minute. What's he gonna do? Check this out. <gasps> 
<laughs> What's he doing in there? Is there a girl in there? Ta -da! What? <laughs> huh? Desuhiko? Damn, can I get can, can I can I become a Yako sandwich, please? <laughs> can I can I get <laughs> Wow! Uh, you totally look like Chief Yako. What do you think? The perfect disguise, huh? Mastery of disguise is my forte. Damn. Even sounds like him too. And your voice too. I didn't think your disguise would be so good. Really? I think I'm far more handsome than that. <laughs> my backpack has tons of different tools inside. Using them allows me to disguise as anyone pretty much perfectly. But you gotta lug that thing around the whole time? And there you have it. Not only can you change your voice and looks, but your height and build too. I'll have you know that this isn't magic or some cheap copycat ability. This is my disguise. It's a highly refined technique. Mm. Disguises don't have to be exactly perfect. Any flaws can be covered by matching the overall impression. In short, I just need to imitate the subject visually and psychologically. Uh, that sounds like a big ask. <laughs> to be honest, it does put a huge strain on my body, though. Hmm. Mm. I thought the shorty detective was all talk, but this kid ain't bad. Yeah. Secretly, three short people standing on each other's shoulders. <laughs> He's not totally useless like you are, Master. Oh, ouch. So you get it now? With my disguise ability, the peacekeepers will never be on my tail. Anyway, I'm off to pick up some babes. I mean, <laughs> work the case. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! In the district, there's no shortage of cuties. Look at his fucking face! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> hey! Master detectives are all so selfish. The WDO needs to teach them cooperation. Yeah, I want to work with them. Cooperation? I'm sure Halara and Desuhiko are confident working alone. If I want to become a detective, I have to gain the same confidence they have. Aww. What about but Vivia? It feels like I'll never get there at this rate. Can we work with Vivia? <laughs> What's the matter, Shinigami? You never look so serious. I just realized something. What? There's so much you can do if you can disguise yourself as anyone. Uh-huh. Like, you know, everything. Um, <laughs> what do you mean by that? You're thinking about something awful again. Awful? I just have a bit of a mischievous nature is all. I think Shinigami and I are on the same page. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take off and go haunt someone else. Yeah. You can't. By the way, Chief Yako, what should I do? Well, we may have to hold up here for a while. So, I'm going to need you to clean this room. Huh? We might as well have it tidied up while we're in here. I ain't doing that. You want me to clean the room? Isn't that more of a job for a housekeeper rather than a detective? Trust me, this is also part of a detective's duty. I'm counting on you, Yuma. <sighs> Fine. You're just gonna agree to that? You're not, you're not just gonna run out and solve mysteries? Are we really doing this? Oh my god. Yako! <laughs> anyway, I didn't expect the peacekeepers to follow us around just for walking outside. But now it's dangerous to go out. Oh, yeah. Why did I even come here? <laughs> you have to clean these two. He's just sitting there. He's just sitting there. <laughs> Why am I just jumping? <laughs> this is so boring. Aren't there any decapitated corpses or something around here? Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> it's actually possible in this 
city. She's right, though. This place is full of mysteries, and yet you're busy cleaning. That's stupid. Damn, Yaka wants me to cook, wants me to clean. Oh, I should have stayed asleep in the book if it was all just gonna end up like this. In the book? Hmm. The Book of Death. Oh, you probably don't remember that either. It's the Death Note. Hey, Master, what do you remember? Nothing. I wish I knew the answer. You to gave that. me amnesia. It's the Book of Death. It's the book yours truly was sealed in. It was hidden away deep in the WDO's book vault when you found it. Oh, am I really gonna tell him no? <laughs> That's why I clean. Trying to make me housewife? <laughs> that okay. Doesn't ring a bell? Not at all. The World Detective Organization really kept such a dangerous book? Hmm. Dangerous? Excuse you, but it's always detectives who want my power. It's the power to obtain the truth, after all. Although, you need to conquer the mystery labyrinth to get it. So, Shinigami, have you haunted other detectives before me? Uh, do you want to know the answer? Oh, so you're the type who gets jealous <laughs> of ex-boyfriends? <laughs> I'm not jealous, just curious. Yeah. Was it a coincidence I found the Book of Death? Or did I want to gain its power? If that was the reason, why didn't I leave some sort of note before losing my memories? See, that's what a smart person would have done. Since you're dying to know, I'll tell you all about it, Master. Really? It's a miracle of the universe that you and I met. Uh, a real miracle. You and I are bound by fate. So let's nurture our connection for all eternity. So it was an accident. Uh, what? Is that what you're saying? Oh, that wasn't an answer! What? Whatever, I'm talking to, I'm talking to my boy. Hey, Vivia. Oh, sorry. I'm in the way of your cleaning. Uh, no, 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 you're not dirty. You're, well, maybe I am, but, uh. I don't know about the others. I agree with hunkering down at the office. Only truly cultured civilizations develop in a way that permits immobility. What? Hence the phrase, armchair detective. <laughs> Physical distance traveled is irrelevant to arriving at the truth. Truthfully, outsider interference with the matter at hand can distort the truth in unexpected ways. Wait, this is super deep. Goddamn. Right? Yes. Right. <laughs> <sighs> He's still not moving. Divya must be really lazy. No, he just likes to read. I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> but I don't have to tell you guys that. There's another one, Master. This is where he sleeps. I don't think these cigarette butts were here before. Has Chief Yako been secretly smoking? I should confront Aww. him about it the next time I see him. All clean? Oh no! What? What happened, Chief? I was so busy being chased around by the peacekeepers that I forgot to buy <laughs> Oh my god. We won't last half a day in the river like this. Plus, I can't think straight without some food in me. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy from hunger. I'm gonna pass out. That's a bit traumatic. I have no choice. Yuma, I've got a special <laughs> mission for you. Really? Now you're making me go run your errands, dude. Go and buy some food. This is our most yeah. crucial mission since the establishment of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. All right, let me guess. If anything is like the last chapter, we're gonna go out to do something for Yako, find a crime scene, forget to go back to Yako, <laughs> and just fucking leave him there waiting. That would be, that would be great. But isn't it dangerous to go outside? I don't have a way to protect myself, like Halara or Desuhiko. Well, it should be fine. <laughs> just do some shopping and come straight back. All right. Please. I need those meat buns they sell in Kamasaki District. Gima District has meat buns too, but the ones in Kamasaki are cheaper and taste way better. Okay. Chief, you're so incredibly selfish. You're giving me money? Tiny could be better. <laughs> Let's get it out of this he wants space. meat in his buns? 
Don't we all? I hope someone's gone off and murdered somebody else already. Oh, it's likely. Come on. Everyone only cares about themselves. All right, fine. I'll go and buy some food. But don't blame me if I end up getting dragged into trouble. <laughs> nope, can't have that. What? Keep your head down, all right? Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna go find a crime scene just to spite you. Hmm. <laughs> and also, I like crime. Flora and Kanai Ward. Difficult to grow plants and perpetually rain in Kanai Ward. Many have been replaced with synthetic counterparts. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. I have to get meat buns in Kamasaki District. I hope the peacekeepers don't find me. We gotta lay low. Lad is a real tyrant. Lay in low. Oh, we also need to find. Just pretend that trash over there is a meat bun. Okay. <laughs> we also have to find blue shiny things. Oh. <gasps> This way. There's one right there! There's one right there! That's how we get the the like bonding stories. Can we go through here now? Oh, we can. There's the puppy! Oh wait, there's a guy there. What? Hello? Are you good? <laughs> you alright? Are you alright? Who are you? I need to hurry! I'm Yuma from Nocturnal Detective Agency. You need medical attention! No, forget about me. I have something much more important to ask of you, Mr. Detective. In order to expose the corruption in Kanai Ward, I was looking into Amaterasu Corporation. That's why you're on the brink of death, my guy. But before I could publish my article, they caught wind of what I was doing. The peacekeepers took my wife and daughter and killed them! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dude, yeah, what? <laughs> this is all I have left. This is. What is this? It's a memory card with records of illicit activities committed by Amaterasu executives. Please, I need you to take this to a reporter friend of mine. The peacekeepers still have their eyes on me, so I can't do anything that might draw attention to myself. He'll publish this information and bring Amaterasu's crimes to light. Sure. I see. Just have to deliver this. Yeah, seems pretty easy. Should be by the clock tower. Yeah. Okay, we know where that is. I'll deliver this and be right back. Well, we won't be right back. Oh, I thought he disappeared. I want to see the puppy. Please. Please, is there a way? I want to see the puppy! Oh, puppy, I love you. I love you so much. Don't eat the trash. It's not good for you. Aww. We haven't been over here yet before, though. It's not where we're supposed to go, but... Oh, we, we can't. Oh, this looks like a bus station. Oh, it's a bus station. Oh, I see. All right, well, let's progress. Low battery! All right, I gotta plug in my controller. I thought it was fully charged, I guess not. I can't go wireless today. Working. I think we found all the all the shinies in here already. They do give us clues to find them for the for everybody, but the clues literally fight. mean nothing. <laughs> fight! Who are we fighting? Girl, you're crazy. You're actually crazy. There's a meat bun style. There are no customers right now, so I should get this over with. Might as well. What about your share, Master? Aren't you buying some for yourself? I should. Mm, I'm a bit hungry, so I should eat too. We should get some for Vivia. Oh, no, he ate already. Damn. 
Hello, sir. I would like to buy some buns. By the way, master, I'm sure you know this since you're such a capable detective in training, but there's someone watching you from the shadows. Who? Huh? <gasps> Who are you? Don't turn around. <laughs> Clumsy, stupid amateur, filthy human! <laughs> filthy? Is it the peacekeepers? Hmm. Something doesn't It looks feel like right. a girl. The guy is sneaking around, oh. kind of restless. A peacekeeper would be much more direct. Looks like a girl in a dress and some tights. How are they dressed? Well, they're in a raincoat and their heads <gasps> covered by the hood. We got a cutie alert! <laughs> I don't think that's an Amaterasu Corporation uniform. Cutie alert! So it's not Amaterasu Corp? Then who? <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah. How? Listen, Master. I've got an awesome plan. Just walk up and introduce yourself. Plan? What plan? Can I get my meat buns first? I call it Operation Stalker Hunter. Go into a secluded location and catch whoever is tailing you. Hmm, that's a good idea. I'll give you advice along the way, so just relax and enjoy the ride. Anyway, let's head to the underground area. Okay. Sh sure. What about the meat buns? I guess we can't get those right now. Just looking for blue balls. If you see any blue balls, chat, please. Please notify me. No, I guess no meat buns, huh? I don't think I can sprint. Yes, I'm following you. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're going this way. So sneaky. Very inconspicuous like. There she is. Yep, yep. I spy our stalker. Keep going, master. Okay. Oh, she was right there. Oh. I didn't I didn't even see that! Where are you going? I didn't even see it! It was a quick time event! Stalker got spooked. That's all good. <laughs> you a male? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't complain about Vivia. Okay. I don't see her. We are being tailed again, just as I thought. Keep moving, Master. Okay. Hmm? Where is your- where are your parents? Hi. What are you doing? Oh. Uh. I got it that time. Here, be careful. Yeah, thanks, mister. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> I've got a stalker to catch. Here's our spot. I'll give you the signal once the stalker is close. And that's when you nab them, master. I don't know if it's gonna be that easy. Now! All right, <laughs> let's go. We're holding I hands. Who are you? Reveal yourself! Uh, you caught me. But I'm not surprised. Oh, a girl? Baby! Baby I'm sorry girl! For behind you. She's got freckles! My name is Kurumi Wendy. I'm from Etheria Academy. Pardon me, but that's 
a uniform from the World Detective Organization, isn't it? I yeah, it is. I knew it! Oh, I'm so, so happy right now! I'm talking to a real master detective in the flesh! You know who she kind of looks like, chat? What's with this little <laughs> shrimp? <laughs> you know who she looks like? Getting caught. What's her deal? Look at her! Every part of her is as flat as a board! What? <laughs> uh, what? Um, can I shake your hand? She looks like Poochie! You already are! Uh, you're From right. Chapter Zero! Sorry, sorry! She does kind of look like Chiaki, though. To think the WDO Master Detective is actually shaking hands with me! Oh, she's so cute! Um, but I'm... Oh. <sighs> what are you blushing for? Aww! Oh. what do I say? She's flattering You're him. You're on your own. Watching this airheaded exchange is making me stupider by the minute. <laughs> oh, sell each other's empty skulls with cotton candy or something. Um, I'm really sorry for snooping behind you. I've it's always okay. admired detectives. I'm a huge fan of the World Detective Organization. Look at her blushing! Her sprite is so cute! A fan? The WDO has fans? <laughs> of course! You eliminate unsolved mysteries! You are the greatest of detectives, saving people in need! Precious baby! To me, detectives are champions of justice! Don't get attached? Fuck, you're right. They introduce a new character in the new chapter. That usually means they're probably gonna die. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I no. got a little carried away. We need to protect her with our fucking life, Yuma. I just happened to catch a glimpse of your uniform. I was shocked to see a master detective. But I couldn't bring myself to talk to you. I got all nervous and unsure of myself. <laughs> She's like me for real! So instead, I started following you, but I ended up acting like a stalker. Maybe not like me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's alright. It was just a misunderstanding. Still, Master Detectives really are amazing. Already attached, literally same. She's so precious. Look at the little strawberry on her back. I'm fairly confident in my stealth skills, yet you caught me so easily. I didn't do much. Although I'm wearing a WDO uniform, I'm just a... Hmm? Oh, don't be so modest. <laughs> so what is a master detective doing in Kanai Ward? Are you investigating something? Well... Oh, yes. It's about the city. The city? I wouldn't give her too much information. You know, a fangirl. You don't wanna, you don't wanna, you know, compromise the investigation. I'm searching for Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Yuma! <laughs> Yuma! <laughs> hey, blabbermouth detective! You sure you should reveal your mission? That's what I'm saying! I'm not revealing anything. She lives here, right? Maybe she knows something. Um... I figured I should ask while I'm at it. It's just good luck. What do they call it? Yeah. Whipped? He's whipped? <laughs> Is that the phrase I'm looking for? <laughs> you think this flat airhead knows anything? Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Do you mean... Huh? That secret research Amaterasu Corporation is conducting? Wait, she knows? Huh? You know something? Yeah, but it's mostly hearsay. No way! Seriously? I didn't expect that! Can you tell me about it? Anything will help. Yes, gladly. Anything to help out a master detective. Oh, oh but... What's wrong? This may sound pushy of me, but... Oh boy. In return, I'd like to ask for a favor. <sighs> There's a reason why his last name is Coco Head. <laughs> a favor? Well, what's the... What do you want? Oh no. Um, what do you mean? I have a formal request I'd like to make to you, detective. There's something I need to find out, no matter what. What is it? I know master detectives cost a lot of money to hire. Oh. It may be presumptuous of me to propose a trade instead, but... 
Can I offer you this information in place of money? Well, <laughs> I'm helping out another guy. I helped out a lot of people and not get money. As long as you can give me DP. Oh, so she's trying to make a deal with the detective. This cheeky brat totally needs to be boom killed. No, we need detective points. We don't need money. We need detective points to level up. I just need you to help me a bit with my investigation. If you decide to take on this job for me... <laughs> Your investigation? You're not a detective. Who are you? I'll tell you everything I know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Is she... Do you think she's bluffing? Including secret research that Amaterasu Corporation is doing in the shadows. Hmm... What should I do? Chief Yako told me to keep my head down. <laughs> True. <laughs> Bro, don't be thinking with your other head right now. This is not the time. <laughs> tell me you're gonna accept a job from Flatty McFlatchest here. She's trying to bargain with you like some big shot, but she's probably got nothing. And you're a fucking balloon right now, girl! That may be true, but... I know this is brazen of me, but I really want to know the truth. Will you please hear me out? Please. I don't know. Uh... <sighs> hmm. Sure. At the very least, I want to hear what you have to say first. Really? Thank you! Hey! What are you thinking? There's no time to waste on this munchkin! I think you're just jealous. <laughs> We're just going to talk a little. If she really is in trouble, I'd like to help. I don't know if detectives are champions of justice, like she said. But I don't want to ruin her image of us either. Hmm. You're just a trainee, and you think you represent all detectives? I didn't say that. You always rely on others for help when you're in trouble, and you think you represent all detectives? You're a closet perv, always staring at <laughs> the press, and you think you represent all detectives? Listen, girl! Listen! When you're in your ultimate form, or whatever the fuck you call it, you ask me if I'm looking at your titties. You ask me if you're jiggling. You let her, You keep baiting me, girl. And now you call me a perv. I don't stare that often. <laughs> Look at him blush. <laughs> oh, you're making her sad. What's wrong? Are you okay? It's because you're staring at her chest. <laughs> What kind of power is that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just got a little nervous and my heart rate went up. Look how precious she is. Please don't be evil. Please don't be evil. Danganronpa taught me to trust no one. But look at her. I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. Okay, maybe she is on our side. You were chased by the peacekeepers? Why? She knows information. It's embarrassing. Not something serious enough to tell you about. Oh no, please tell me. So, about my request. It's about a certain incident that happened at my school. Oh, was that the murder? Did it happen on the stage, perhaps? What happened? If you don't mind, think you could come to the school with me? It'll be easier to explain if you see it for yourself. The crime scene? <laughs> it's just ten minutes away on the bus. Is that alright with you? Well, if it's only 10 minutes, sure. Well, let's go. No, no, no. It's only 10 minutes to get there, Yuma. Remember what I said about us not returning to Yako and getting what he needs and going off on tangents? Yeah, let's go. Thank you so much. It's this way. Sheesh. All it takes is a high school girl batting her eyes at you, <laughs> and you get all carried away. That's not my intention. Besides, remember what you're always telling me? Remember how you're always stuffing my face in your titties? That it's pathetic to flee from a case? I don't want to seem pathetic. Yeah. To who? That flat-chested uggo? <gasps> she's so cute! What are you saying? She's, she's Junko, for real. What? <laughs> I don't think she's ugly at all. <laughs> Jealous. Whatever. You're on your own. 
What are you so mad about? <laughs> well, you know that I refuse to use my powers to fulfill your vulgar desires. Oh my god. I don't know what she wants you to do, but you're on your own dealing with We're it. going to the school, girl. Come on. Fine. Not not a school girl, but I'll take comma. care of it myself. School comma girl. Punctuation and grammar is very sure important. You'll be begging for my help in no time. Go ahead and play detective with that black chested Ugga while you still can. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> yeah, Red, you're gonna sign the contract in his place. <laughs> Master Detective? What's wrong? It's this way. Okay. Coming. Yep, yep. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Let me see... anything... far away at the bound of the world? One of the popular plays! Oh, this is gonna be relevant! Etheria Academy's theater club. An adventure set in a fantasy world revealed to them the climax to be devastated future Earth all along. <gasps> That's just the plot to Danganronpa! Kind of. It's just a short bus ride away. Where's your school, Kurumi? Over there. Ooh, it's a fancy school. The school I attend is on top of the mountain. Huh, so there's a school there. The bus is here. Let's get on. Yeah. Can we sit this next to each other? This is your last chance to turn back. That black-chested uggo is just using you, master. Listen, you might be right, but let me enjoy the moment while I have it, please. <sighs> <laughs> I bet she would hold my hand. Hmm. Let's go. Bus stop. Bus stop. You're so stubborn. <laughs> Look who's talking. She is really mean. She's just really jealous, I think. It's an all-girls school situated on a mountain in Kanai Ward. Ten minutes away. Students are mostly daughters of Amaterasu employees. That's her connection. Why else would she be running from the peacekeepers and be embarrassed about talking about it? That's why she knows information! This is Etheria Academy. It's the only all-girls school in Kanai Ward. Mm-hmm. An all-girls school? The castle. It sure looks nice. I wonder what you mean by that. <laughs> what I want your help with is something that happened at the school six months ago. That long ago? Oh. Uh-huh. The murder? Is it what a murder? Kind of incident would take place at a school this pristine? A murder? There's no Oh sorry, Yuma. Aiko, my best friend, was such a cute and kind person. Everyone loved her. Why are you speaking in past tense? But one day. She was found collapsed behind the school. Her head was bleeding, and she was already dead by the time they found her. <gasps> Soon after, her shoes were found on the school's rooftop. Oh. The peacekeepers and teachers all decided she'd committed suicide by jumping. But she never would have done that. We made plans to watch a movie together on our next day off. Kurumi. If it wasn't suicide, then that means someone made it look that way. Yeah, it's kind of sus that she would leave her shoes behind if she jumped. Do you have any idea who would do that? Yes. I think <gasps> the theater club may have something to do with it. The theme of this chapter is the theater. The theater club? Aiko was a member. The theater club is very active at our school. We have regular performances with live audiences. This got dark. This is a murder game! <laughs> Aiko was super popular and had lots of fans. She was overflowing with talent. An autopsy done? No, we live in a very, or this, this is taking place in a very corrupt uh, society. And yet. Did something happen with the theater club? Competition's fierce in the club. Aiko said everyone's always on edge. They all competed to be the leading role. Aiko was often chosen as the main lead for performances. 
And she was harassed because of it. Oh. Was what she went through hard on her? Please don't misunderstand. Aiko wouldn't commit suicide just because of that. She always told me with bright eyes about being an actress someday. Oh. I think someone thought they couldn't be the star as long as Aiko was around and took her out of the picture. You think she was murdered by someone in the theater club? I don't want to believe it, but... By the way, was there a suicide note? No. There was no message of any kind left behind. But the peacekeepers declared it a suicide, right? What was their reasoning? They, they like to just uh, come to uh, like immediate conclusions. So they're probably like, oh, shoes on the roof, shoes on the ground. Yeah, she jumped. Just that her shoes were placed together neatly on the roof. <laughs> they spoke to a few Literally. The day. <laughs> That's their fucking reasoning. Huh? That's it? I mean, come on, chat. These are the same guys that arrested a man with a hammer at the clock tower because they were looking for a culprit who killed people and then nailed them to the floor. And they said, oh, this guy has a hammer. He's the culprit because you need a hammer to use nails. <laughs> Even though he was just there fixing the fucking clock. <laughs> Peacekeepers were eager to remove the body. They said it would rot quickly in the rain. Oh, well that makes sense. They didn't want to draw too much attention because a lot of families from Amaterasu send their kids to this school. It's obvious they treated it as an ordinary suicide to close the case as quickly as possible. Eh, I'm already seeing the theme here. They're trying to make what happened to Aiko disappear. No. Are the peacekeepers covering up the incident? But if that's the case, then it's more likely that it was a murder. Mm. I still don't have enough information, so I can't say anything for sure yet. Please, please find out the truth about Aiko's death. If you do, I'll give you all the information I have. Everything I know about Kanai Ward. So please, lend me your help. Oh. I have to know the truth, no matter what. She's just a high school girl, so I don't expect her to have much crucial information. <laughs> You're just gonna turn around and say, forget it! <laughs> but after hearing this, I can't ignore her. Aww. The peacekeepers obviously didn't investigate the case at all. Yuma's so sweet, but we're gonna need Halara if it's if it happened six months ago. I can't allow her friend's death to be swept under the rug. And then we're gonna owe her even Someone more money. Has to take this seriously. We can't... <laughs> I don't know if we can afford that. I'm sorry. If the adults around her won't help her, then at the very least, the detectives should. Otherwise, there's no point for detectives to even exist. <sighs> you're really gonna accept this request? Shinigami's like, Sounds like a waste of time to you're me. on your own. Um, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Um, I just need to see if there's... Look at the school. Ooh. To think that something so awful happened in such a magnificent castle-like school. Huh? As a pervert master, does your interest really lie in the case or the girls attending this place? Why would you even think that? <laughs> uh, chat, have you seen any blue balls? Blue balls? <gasps> blue ball! Desuhiko! Wait, I don't think we have any of him yet! <gasps> we got Yako... Halara... <gasps> yeah, that's the first one! Fubuki Vivia... Yeah, we have everybody except Desuhiko! <gasps> we can watch our first... Our first memory with the boy! You guys seem to like him! Desi goes bangs. Takes about an hour a day to style. <laughs> he is so silly. <sighs> What's wrong? <laughs> Such an over exaggerated sigh. What's wrong? 
Hmm. Sounds like you want attention. Jeez. Why did you have to be a dude? Oh, um. Why? Uh, I could probably, I could probably change, change your, change your mind. Why, why you don't swing that way? Is that what's, what's wrong? <laughs> huh? That was unexpected. I had such high hopes, you know. When the chief said he was bringing one more in, I was hoping for <laughs> a bright young cutie. He is a bright young cutie. And as she saw my incredible heroic feats, little by little, we'd fall in love. Aww. It'd blossom into a secret inter-office romance. Okay. Oh, nice and sexy. Okay, he's a pervert. <laughs> he's like actually a pervert. <laughs> Look at that fucking face. Look at that sprite and tell me he's not a pervert. <laughs> but instead, the chief brought in some dirty kid with amnesia. Uh, sorry. All my high hopes were for nothing. <laughs> You're pretty much a little kid yourself. Desuhiko, you have no one to blame but yourself for that. Yeah, you tell him. What? Uh, I think you're just the horny <laughs> anyone. <laughs> wait, wait. It still applies. <laughs> That's how dudes are. It's as common as not washing your hands after using the bathroom. But I wash my hands. See, you is nice and clean. Uh, I hate this. You toyed with my innocent heart. <laughs> what? Huh? Wait, you're seriously sulking about this? Why would I not be serious about this? I'm dead serious in my sulking. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you need to calm down. This is a bit much. I thought he was half joking. I didn't think he was completely serious. He'll be a pain in the ass if he keeps on like this. <laughs> Maybe you should do something to cheer him up. Well, what are we gonna do? Mm, but what should I do? Cook something? Don't think workplace relationships are a good idea? How about me? Uh... about me huh? what are you even talking about of course not why I'm, I'm not cute enough <laughs> I guess not well in that case <laughs> you know I don't think it's a good idea to get into a relationship with someone from work to begin with mm hmm what come on get off your high horse already well dating in the workplace is one thing but I also think you're not fit to be in any relationship. Oh, shit! <laughs> what? No one knows how girls think better than me. Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him? Do you know how much I think about girls every single day? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. Desuhiko, I don't know if a ladies' man like yourself could remain in a relationship with just one girl. Oh. <laughs> so I figured you should refrain from that stuff, you know? Huh? Considering how attractive you are, I'm sure you're better off having lots of fans. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was the right word to use. Uh, talking to him like that, he's gonna get the wrong, <laughs> the wrong idea. I think it fits you way better anyway. Hmm. Did it work? Oh, maybe the flattery actually worked. Did it work? <laughs> yeah, I, I see. Now that you mention it. Ew! Right. Why is he so... Why does he make the ugliest looking, looking faces? Like, look at it! Look at <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy, but I totally get that you'd see me that way. Hmm. What a great impression you leave then. <laughs> You're a good kid. Thank you. Hey, let me know if the others pick on you. I think you're uh, just the come horny to your rescue. boy. <laughs> wait, I mean, wait. I don't have to think. That's, that that one's that one's more of a fact. <laughs> uh, you know, he is. <laughs> Not I think. More like you are. <laughs> uh, sure. Thanks. 
I guess we sorted that out. But I wonder if I can really get along with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Master, you and Desahiko seem to have grown closer. Have we? Is that, is that for the best? Not so sure. Can't help but feel conflicting feelings right now. <laughs> but that's okay. At least we got one. We still got far away. Oh, that, that's the play. Trending at the Academy. Raving about Monomichi, a game in which a bear cub is raised. <gasps> like Tamagotchi! With Monokuma! <laughs> Monokuma Tamagotchi! <gasps> Wait, I wanna play. I wanna play that. Okay, that clue, that clue made sense. In front of the fountain, but a shattered home, secret peak, patrolling, going home because I'm scared. What do these clues mean? Peak at the microscopic world? Secret of the toys, like... What do you mean? Hell, I don't know. I'm gonna look around just like a little bit more. Uh. Oh, okay, we can't go this way yet. Because sometimes there's more than one in each area, so just just to cover all our bases. All right, I'll investigate it. Huh? Really? Yeah, sorry, I had to walk around for a bit to think about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Oh, lunchtime is almost over. I better Wait, to class. is this foreshadowing? Like, we're shaking her hand, and then we grabbed her hand, and... Is she gonna be able to see Shinigami? Or is that only when... Like, powers are activated? Um... Can we meet again here after school? To do the investigation together? Yes! Sure, sounds good. Okay, I'll head back to class for now. Oh, I almost forgot about something super important. If you don't mind... Could you tell me your name? Um, <laughs> you almost forgot. Oh, I'm Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> Yuma. Coco Head. <laughs> Yuma, I'm so happy to have finally met a master detective. She's so uh, cute. Wait, I need to tell you I'm not a master detective. Oh no, she's gonna lose hope. I'm off to class. Aww, she totally thinks you're a master detective. Isn't that fraud? Oh. It's not fraud. <laughs> Besides, if I can solve the case, the outcome's the same whether I am one or not. Mm. People call that splitting hairs, you know? Well, she she's the one who came to the assumption that I was a master detective. I did not tell her that. You really think you can solve anything without the help of yours truly? Besides, this is an all-girl school. How do you plan to investigate anything here? Do they accept visitors? Well... See? You're at a dead end already! Just like your entire life. <gasps> I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna- we're gonna hang out with Desuhiko. We're gonna hold hands so we can share his ability. So we can use our coalescence. And then we're both gonna turn into girls! <laughs> you aren't gonna accomplish much at this rate. Except maybe making that ugly girl cry so much she gets even uglier. Why are you being so mean? <laughs> yeah, you're being really, really mean. Like, meaner than usual Whatever. mean. Just leave me alone. I can do this without your help. <laughs> I'll leave you alone, all right? You're not getting my help It's here. okay, Desakiko would love to help. He would jump at any opportunity to sneak into an all-girls school. <laughs> I'm She's already cursed. Right. It'll be hard to investigate inside a school. An all-girls school, no less. Even with Kurumi's help, I doubt I'll get permission to conduct an investigation. Plus, the incident was six months ago. There'd be nothing left at the crime scene. Oh, wait! A Hilara's forte could help! Hilara? Oh, but yeah. But then again, even post-cognition can't be used unless we're right at the crime scene. And also, the fact that she would cost your other arm and leg to <laughs> to have her help us. And to get Halara's help, I'd go even further into death. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't afford to do that. Hmm, what do I do? Is there anyone else I can ask? There you go! Oh, the little shit. <laughs> please! Please! <laughs> Vivia! <laughs> That's right! Tetsuhiko's forte! Disguising as a school faculty member would make the investigation easy. Oh, a faculty member? Oh, I thought we were gonna be girls. <laughs> you wanna sneak into a girl's school? First you were a fraud, and now you're a pervert too. <laughs> no, we don't know Vivia's forte yet. I haven't decided to sneak Thanks. in yet. Who knows? I might get permission. I mean, if that's a sport thing? It's probably gonna make you girls anyways. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I mean, obviously, if it's all an all-girls school. But I should still talk to Desuhiko, even though I don't know if he'll help me out. Oh, he'll... <laughs> he's gonna want to help you out. Hang on. If I was to ask Desuhiko for help, where could he be? Maybe he's moving around the city in disguise. Hmm. I don't know if I can find him, but maybe I should head back there for now. I remember him saying something about lots of cute girls being in Ginma district. Of course. So he might be there. Maybe he doesn't know about the all-girls school. Because he... Uh, he traveled to the city too, so he's probably not used to... Or he's not, not that familiar. Uh, pets? Indoor pets are popular. <gasps> Increasing concern of many dogs and cats becoming feral after being abandoned. No. That's why there's a puppy outside. I came all hey, the way back to Gima District. Can we have a dog in the submarine? Where did Desuhiko go? He said he's off to pick up girls. I do legwork. <laughs> But he mentioned something about cuties. I guess I'll hit the streets and find out if he talked to any women. We'll just have to look for an obnoxiously large bat large backpack. Attention! Oh! That shorty detective, Desuhiko, should be somewhere in Ginma. Question people in the area to gather info and find him. Well, might as well give it a Use go. the gathered clues and talk to the person who might be Desuhiko. Okie dokie! Where did Desuhiko go? Maybe I should ask around and see if anyone's seen him. You want to sneak into an all-girls school? <sighs> no, I'm just looking for shinies. Don't mind me, sirs. Don't mind me. Blue balls? Blue balls? No blue balls. All right. Let's look around. You! Excuse me, I'd like to ask you something. Did some guy around here hit on you? Yeah. So what? Do you know him or something? Yes, something <laughs> like that. I've been trying to find him. Could you describe what he looked like? I wasn't interested, so I don't really remember. Oh. I think he was wearing a big red raincoat and blue jeans. Oh. After I rejected him, he crossed the street. He's probably hitting on someone else. A red raincoat and blue jeans. Hmm. Did they have any unusual designs? Hmm. Now that you mention it, the coat had a white line on the back. Huh. I see. Thank you. I don't know how else to phrase this, but I think you should choose better <laughs> friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. I'll think about it. Let's cross. Oh, raincoat! White lines! Excuse me, there's something I'd like to ask you. Did some guy come around here and hit on you? Yeah. <laughs> do you know him? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I'm looking for him right now. Do you remember how he was dressed? I think he was wearing black boots. And also... Hmm. Sorry. I don't remember. You remember his shoes and nothing else? If he had any accessories on, I think I would have noticed it. Oh. I see. So he wasn't wearing any accessories. Do you know which way he went? I ignored him and he left. I think he went down that alley. Hmm. Anything else? That's all. Thank you for your help. Alright. Did you see anybody? <sighs> Is getting frizzy already. <laughs> I really hate the rain. Why are you standing outside? 
Excuse me, did you see a man talking to people around here? Now that you mention it, some guy asked me what kind of men I like. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for him. Do you remember what he looked like? He was wearing a red coat and... Oh, I think he wore a black turtleneck too. I got him to go away. Then he walked toward the crossing bridge with the metal on his coat clinking. Hmm. I see. Thank you. Clink, clink. If you know him, can you tell him to stop harassing people? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, okay, sure. We can't go that way. Do we have enough information? I mean, I feel like we saw him. He was just over here. I might not mind helping you here and there if you came running to me once in a while. You! Wait, no, there's no boots. Although you look very suspicious. That's not a black turtleneck, though. Okay. How you feeling? Huh? You talking to women? How dare you? <laughs> okay, we can, we can talk to these people too. Uh, oh, oh. Wanna buy flowers? Wait, what? I see. Oh, he's a florist. Can I buy flowers for Vivia? Hello? You don't want to talk to me? Where did she say? The intersection? The street? The street? Bum ba dum ba da ba dum bum bum That guy at the window looks really sus! A bridge. There's a bridge up here. Excuse me, but did a man talk to you around here by any chance? The one in a red coat? <laughs> yes, he asked me what type of men I'm into. Her voice is so familiar. I've been trying to find him. Do you remember any of his features? Hmm. He didn't really Who leave tell? much of an impression. Wasn't my type. The Hotel. I see. She sounds like Hotel. Is that Hotel? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help. Oh, I just remembered something. I told him I like people who can dance, so he said he was going to practice and ran up toward the art gallery. Oh. He said he was going to practice dancing. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Sure thing. Good luck with your search. Thank you, Hotel. Okay, art gallery. Wait, that's the museum. Where's the art gallery? Is it the same place? Is the art gallery at the museum the same place? Hello? <gasps> Meat bun! I want a meat bun too! Oh yeah, remember we need meat buns? How come I can't walk by the- I can't go that way! Oh my... Look at that guy jumping around! What is he doing? He's like fighting! He's pretending he's gonna beat somebody up! What are you doing over there, dude? You're looking like a fool! I wanna go over there. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yako's still waiting. Can I go up and over the bridge to get there? I want to see what that guy's up to. I'm so curious. You, you're dancing all suspicious like. All right, that's the beat. Hmm? Is there something on my? Is that Desert Eco? Oh, they're all practicing dancing. 
I don't think so. Let's think about this some more. Red jacket, black turtleneck, blue jeans, black boots, and the back of the jacket had <gasps> white stripe. That's who we go. Oh wait, who are you? Oh, those are red boots. No, 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 black boots, black boots. <laughs> this dance step is easy. Hmm? <laughs> what do you want? Is that Desuhiko? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> um, Desuhiko? Huh? The uh, Desuhiko, you say? <laughs> Did I get the wrong person? Damn, the rookie. Of all people, saw through my disguise. That's right, you made it too easy. Thank goodness, it was Desuhiko after all. So, hear me out, Desuhiko. You wanna sneak into an all-girls school? <laughs> what do you want from me, rookie? Don't tell me you're dragging me back to the agency. No, even better, you're gonna love this. Look, hear me out, hear me out. Oh, you can't restrain me. I am the champion of freedom. <laughs> you want to tell me what to do? You're on. Just try and make me. That's not why I'm here. I, I mean, there's something I need your help with. Huh? Help? With what? <laughs> well... Are we gonna get a time-lapse explanation? Hmm... No. <laughs> So, what do you think? Would it be too difficult? Please turn us into cute girls! Great job, rookie! That's awesome! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Are you? An all girl school, huh? Just hearing that divine voice can purify my soul, transforming me into a saint. Alright, I'll help you out. I'm the superstar detective and at your service. Huh? You'll really help? Oh, come on, we're pals, aren't we? Oh my god. <laughs> Man, let's talk like the old buddies we are. Uh huh. Anyway, there's still time before class is out. Alright, let's go eat. My treat? No way. Oh, yeah? I mean, are you sure? Oh, you gotta get me fun! Don't be shy. Just follow me, rookie. You gonna get me a disguise too? So, uh, what does this smell like? Ew! Uh, tell me, man. This guy's ulterior motives aren't so ulterior. Gross. <laughs> I wish all humans would just die. <laughs> now that I found this Ahiko. All that's left okay. is to head for Etheria Academy. Once we enter the school, we'll be there for a while. I'd better wrap up any other business I have now. Oh shit. Like that request we have. I'll probably do that later though. This chapter is still, still in the early stages of being a chapter. I'll be fine. Hmm, let's see, any more information about the school? The culprit is not among us? One of the popular plays. <laughs> uh, where 15 trapped men and women are drawn into a string of murders. Unique in that the culprit is in the audience? Is that what that said? Damn. Yeah, Among Us. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, Desahiko, if you see any blue balls, um, not including your own, please inform me so I can collect them. Waiting for Goku. Goku. Story revolves around a friend of someone named. Oh, Goku. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow, look! They're everywhere. Dude! This girl's so young and cute! Control your bleeding! 
<laughs> He's fucking crazy. This is heaven. You need to act natural. <sighs> Should I really have brought him here? <laughs> oh, Yuma. Uh oh. Huh? I, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Yuma, you really came. <laughs> she she gave him like the side eye. <laughs> Nervous throughout my classes, thinking you might have stood me up. Oh, I wouldn't ditch you like that. I'll see the job you requested of me to the very end. Mm hmm. I knew I could count on a master detective. Um, about that. Listen, the truth is. Huh? Kuma, something's wrong. What? There's a suspicious person <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh, that's my senior. Or, uh, friend, I guess. Ew, what is he doing? <laughs> Look at his grabby hands! Huh? Is he also a master detective? He's not what I expected. Yeah. Why is he staring at the other students? Um, he's preparing to use his forte, I think. <laughs> huh? Oh, what's up? Are you talking about me? Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> you must be Kurumi. I heard all about you from Yuma. I'm the superstar detective Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Woo! <laughs> nice to meet you. Sure. <laughs> Not impressed. Now about the details of the job. If possible, I'd like to see where it happened in person. Do you think we can get inside? So you're starting the investigation. She's winking at us! She winked! She winked! She winked at me! It may be hard for an outsider to get in the school. Even family members can't enter without a teacher's permission. Damn. Wow. Looks like you're in trouble already. But I've come fully prepared to save my lost little kittens. <laughs> Just watch. Oh my god, is he gonna turn to a cute schoolgirl, please? <laughs> or no. <gasps> you better not look like her. You better not. <laughs> you come too. Me too? <gasps> oh! Don't worry about it. We no, we're gonna be cute girls! Oh, we're gonna look like cute girls! What? <laughs> oh my god! We're so cute! God damn, he turned into a teacher! <laughs> It's me, Superstar Detective Desuhiko. Um, is your voice gonna change? <laughs> Look at you, Ma! Oh, oh my god, he's so cute! Huh? So the cute girl next to you is... you, Ma? Oh, he's even got the Ahoge still. <laughs> oh, why me? No! I love him! Are you really the same people? You didn't just switch out with someone? Kurumi, if someone talks to you on your way home, don't follow them, okay? Huh? <laughs> just kidding. This is my forte, disguise. I seared the image of this lady teacher into my mind as I passed her by earlier. Oh, is that what you were doing? That's amazing. So this is the forte of a master detective. I know, right? Isn't my voice just irresistible? Uh, <laughs> I'll let you be my fan. Mm, ugh, can you be like, like a little less creepy? <laughs> like a little less weird? If you join the after party, I'll even whisper in your ear if you want. Um, look at Yuma. Yuma, you're so cute. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna make him even more flustered. He's probably gonna die. <laughs> Just look like friends when we're together. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hey, keep her away from me. I don't want some flat-chested uggo as a friend. Shut up. We should be good now. Let's go inside. Yeah, like an undercover investigation. Yeah. <laughs> be sure to go straight home. I love them. And that giant ass backpack isn't fucking suspicious. Ooh. 
Ooh. I go jumped off the roof of this school building. Why don't we go up there to look? How about we visit the theater club first? We're about to do a rehearsal on the school stage right now. Oh! This school even has its own theater, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> That's right. If we go there, you can see what it's like at the club I go attended. Let's take a look while we still can. You take care of that. I'll go check another spot. Another spot? You're not coming with us? I stand out when I carry the backpack. I need to hide it someplace safe first. Mm hmm Don't worry about me and, uh, do what you gotta do. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't try to wingman me! <laughs> <laughs> I've set up your shots. So you oh my miss. god. <laughs> See you later, my man. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Misunderstanding something. <laughs> Is it really okay for him to go off on his own? Oh, look at his face! <laughs> Let's go, Yuma. Oh, wait. Do you have a girl name now? Uh. Y Yuma's fine. No. <laughs> 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 but then I got soft baby face. Hana is the name of the teacher Desahiko disguised himself as an alumnus of Etheria Academy. She guides her students with a firm yet gentle style of education. Mm. Full-fledged theater inside Etheria. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> wow, it's very proper. Like a real theater. This is bougie. <laughs> right? The whole school gives a lot of attention to the theater club. There are four performances throughout the year, and people outside of the school sometimes come to watch. Kanai Ward doesn't have many options for entertainment, so our school's theater is very popular. Aww. That's why the battle to be the main lead is so intense. The star of the theater club becomes the star of Kanai Ward. So it's seen as much more than a club activity. Yes, this isn't just a single page of our youth. Everyone's competing as if their lives depend on it. Oh. A lot of them come from affluent or powerful families and take pride in being members of the elite. Sounds like everyone's always on edge. They're very graceful and don't show their true feelings while on stage, though. Shall we go in? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna take a look around. Just taking a look around. What's this? This? Documents. This is... There are pamphlets for performance. I mean, there are pamphlets for performances. <laughs> <laughs> and the theater club, they they really go all out for this stuff. So Yuma, where's your where's your high pitched girly voice, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna explore, even though I want to. God damn. <gasps> Look at the pretty dresses. Everyone's so busy, they didn't even notice us coming in without permission. This is the stage rehearsal, after all. It's treated like the main performance itself. They leave the curtains open and allow people to watch. More students should show up to watch shortly. Oh. I'm not used to this atmosphere. It makes me nervous. Why? You're not on stage. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous when you won't even be on stage? Because it feels like a movie date. Is that what? Wait, I just said that. Wait! Wait, I just said that! Anyway... <laughs> anyway... <laughs> it's because it feels like a movie date, right? We're only here to find out the truth behind Aiko's death. 
Let's search carefully. Oh, there she goes winking at me again. Wait, that's no way to talk to a master detective. Sorry, I'm starting to talk to you like any other friend. <laughs> it's all right. It helps me blend in. Huh? So it's all right to be friendlier? I'll go all out if you don't mind. Her blushing is so fucking cute. Sure. <sighs> I wish you were dead. <laughs> As you die in a lake with your feet sticking out. <laughs> oh, Yuma. All four of them are here together right now. All four? What do you mean? The four members of the theater club that I think have something to do with Aiko's death. <gasps> oh, so the prime suspects, huh? See? They're on stage right now. The two in costumes are the main leads this time. The blonde, high-class looking girl on the right is Oobies. Karen. Karen? Karen? The impish looking one on the left is the other protagonist, Waruna. Below the stage is the honor student, Yoshiko. The one keeping a low profile in the Windbreaker is Kurane. You think those four are suspicious? Why? Hmm. Have my reasons. Do they bully your friend? Look at Karen, the classy one. Her beauty is unbelievable for a high schooler. Oh, she looks kind of mean. She's got a major RBF going on right now. <laughs> the moment Aiko was gone, she had no problem climbing to the top. Mm. She has a strong fervor for acting and seems to have no interest in making friends with others. I suppose you could say she's the uncooperative type who only thinks about herself. Her father has a lot of influence in real estate, so he applies lots of pressure, too. Mm. So you think that's why she took down Aiko to become the main lead? I hate to say it, but I think it's possible. It's true that this Karen does have an extraordinary grace to her, but I think that dour look on her face reveals her inner thoughts. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Am I really walking down the right path? Did I wind up somewhere I'm not meant to be? I can almost hear her thinking that. In some ways, she's a lot like me. Aww. Huh? How are you alike? You sure don't look classy yourself. No, uh, yeah, Yuma's way cuter. I'll ignore that. <laughs> the other lead, Waruna, is the kind that only does what she wants on her own terms. I like her hair. But she can play any role like she's a true genius. She's still rough around the edges, according to critics, but she doesn't seem to care about what others think of her. Why do you suspect her? She's the kind who doesn't hold back when it comes to getting what she wants and doesn't care what anyone thinks. Hmm. As you can imagine, she's always butting heads with someone. Lorna would never admit defeat, ever. That's why everyone else is afraid of her. And she only talks to a few girls who follow her around. Hmm. Just like knowing her background, I feel like we can eliminate her already. If someone with that kind of pushy personality got into an argument with Aiko... But then she wouldn't care. She wouldn't care what Aiko would be doing. Right? You're saying it's not out of character for her to take more drastic measures. Hmm. Yes. It's a bit of a stretch, but considering how she did become one of the main leads... She could be considered suspicious. That's Yoshiko below the stage. She's an actress, but she's managing the stagehands as production assistant this time. Everyone is talking about how Karin will be the next big star. But within the theater club, Yoshiko is more popular by an overwhelming degree. Oh! She prioritizes the team over the individual. She's a kind, mild-mannered honor student. The only reason the theater club is able to function is thanks to her leadership. So she seems nice. And you think someone like her could have killed Aiko? I don't personally suspect her that much, but Aiko used to be the club's leader. Oh. Hmm. After she died, Yoshiko picked up right where she left off. I believe she's the only one who could ever take over Aiko's role. So Yoshiko maybe felt Aiko had what she thought was rightfully hers. Hmm. <laughs> But would she resort to murder to change that? I don't want to believe she would. 
But I can't say it's impossible. Kurane, the one in the wings wearing the Windbreaker, manages the light since she wasn't chosen for a lead role. But when it comes to pure acting ability, she's one of the best. I guess you could say her acting method is distinct. Like, she's the only one who can do what she does. She's so cute. Look at the cute little bow. She's kind of gloomy. Or it's more like no one really knows what she's thinking. She's often alone in class, too. Hmm. Do you think she's also a suspect? She always aims for the lead role. Besides, who knows what she's thinking? So you're saying maybe she actually despised Aiko and tried to take out her competition? Maybe. It's why I consider her another suspect. Interesting. I see. All right, then. And we're gonna believe you. Why? <laughs> the main leads are Karin and Waruna. There's also Yoshiko, the group leader, and Kurane, the distinctive one. And in your eyes, Kurumi, you find them all suspicious? I'm sure they'd be mad if they heard me. But yes, I do. Hmm. Though the four of them are rivals, they weren't particularly hostile to each other before. However, after Aiko passed away, they started fighting for the main role. They all rarely speak to each other now. They all were in on it. That's intense. It's true that it does seem suspicious. So did you gather all that information yourself, Kurumi? To tell you the truth, I joined the theater club after Aiko's death in hopes of finding out what really happened. Aww. You're really determined, huh? I am. I won't give up until I discover the truth behind Aiko's death. She must have been devastated by the loss of her friend. But she still found a way to push herself forward. Hmm. All this to find the truth. <sighs> they better not turn this on us. I'm ready for all kinds of twists and turns. We haven't really had that many twists and turns in terms of culprits, but... Hmm. I see. Always be on your guard, Sometimes chat. Sometimes the truth can be a goal that helps you press onward. Then I need to do what I can to help her. I have to find the truth behind this case. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Look at his little sprite. Look at him smiling. Little, little girl. <laughs> on the other hand... Some truths make you want to die when you discover them. Okay. <laughs> Be quiet. Besides, even if that were the case, if I let the truth be buried like this, more bad things could happen. Mm. That's why I'm going to help her find the truth. It's my duty as a detective. What if the truth is that she was the culprit all along and she's trying to pin somebody else? But it happened six months ago, so then what's the point? Will you stop confusing detectives with heroes? Regardless, I have nothing to do with this. So, whatever. <laughs> I want the ice cream. Mm. For someone who has nothing to do with it, you sure have some strong opinions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop being mean. Hey, Kurumi! You came at the right time! We're short-handed right now. We could use some help in the wings. You mind lending a hand? Huh? But... I'm... Uh-oh. Oh, don't mind me. I'll watch the stage from here. Then I'll go help. Let's meet back here once I'm done. Okay. Who's the cutie? A classmate? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Where have you been hiding such a cute girl? Why don't you invite her to the theater club? Uh, um... <laughs> yeah! <Right. laughs> So how long does this disguise last for? It's designed by a brand from outside Kane Ward that Poochie also adores? Poochie! <laughs> Looks like it's about to begin. Oh! She said this would be just like the actual performance. I wonder what it's like. What? Hello, everyone. Uh, Thank you for coming by after school. Oh, no. Busy. Oh, no. Desert Eco? <laughs> the, the guy in the audience. <laughs> 
performance, there's something I want everyone to hear. Oh no. There's two people it's here. It's my debut song! <gasps> I've practiced so much for this big day! It's gonna be so bad. Give me the spotlight! <laughs> Thank you. He's so dumb. Now we will begin a Literally. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder which play this is. They gave us little blurbs on all the different Why plays. Why would you do that, Desuhiko? <laughs> what if they see through your disguise? Oh, come on, man. What's wrong with a little fun? A star always wants to stand on stage. <laughs> You're kidding me. Even if your disguise is perfect, that was reckless of you. Right? <laughs> he gonna get the teacher fired? <laughs> oh, it's fine to be reckless and my disguise is perfect. Damn win my chance for an amazing debut. <laughs> anyway, the performance is about to start. I knew I would find you here, Natasha. <laughs> I knew you would come, Anatoly. You have not Damn. changed at all in the past ten years. Nay, you have become even more beautiful. Oh wait, do we have to pay attention? Are we gonna get quizzed later? You, however, have changed. Your face is scarred and you look stern. I've longed for the days we spent here together. Back then, the world shone bright in the colors of the rainbow. But now, the only world I see is colored with crimson, draped in the blood of my fallen comrades. Is this a Shakespearean tragedy? Behold, even my own hands are stained red. Yet, you are still pure, unchanged from that day. You really believe I have not changed? In truth, I had no choice in the matter. But because I did change, I chose to remain as I once was. I see. These ten years were long for us both indeed. Oh! Within the tall, white walls, a clear fountain and colorful flowers decorated the garden. This garden was the world to these two young girls. They held hands and ran through the sunflower field. They sang to the blue sky and wore white clover crowns they had given one another. Definitely take notes because this game doesn't just give you bullshit. They usually, they usually show you and tell you things for a reason. So I'm like, what the hell are they doing with this? The sunset was ever golden. Even the rare rain glittered brightly. The world was perfect. Everything shone like the shimmer in a rainbow. At the very least, that was how it was within these walls. The two sisters, Anatoly and Natasha, were princesses of a 300-year-old kingdom to the far west. Since birth, they had never gone beyond the castle walls. Their youths were spent together alone. Hmm. Sisters by birth, they had a happy life together. But one day, their peace abruptly ended. What happened? Oh! That's not me! A rebellion struck. The military took the castle and declared the start of a new nation. Royal family members who resisted were executed and their corpses hung in the garden. Oh, great. The castle walls were destroyed and the flowers trampled. Anatoly and Natasha escaped the castle at night thanks to their servants. But amidst the chaos, the two sisters were separated. Their hands brushed against each other. It would be the final time they ever touched. Natasha was hidden in a neighboring small nation. And it took them 10 years to find each other? An ally of old. The princess was welcomed with the highest honor. However, Anatoly continued her journey of escape with the remaining members of the royal family. They traveled the frontier to avoid pursuers, 
as they searched for a land of peace. As they continued down this path, their comrades fell one after another. Ten years have passed since. Hmm. Fifteen minutes in. Their performance is so intense in person, I can't take my eyes off the stage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Yoshiko? Maybe she went to the restroom. What's she doing? I took up the sword for the first time after I left the castle. It was also the first time I killed. Is she gonna get him? Somebody else gonna die on stage right now? Have you ever witnessed a soldier's dying moments? As Somebody's gonna die. From open wounds, all you'll hear is a death rattle. Somebody's gonna die right now. <laughs> Men speak proudly of honor and pride, but those vanish when you're on the battlefield. Over the span of ten years, Natasha was welcomed as the new head of state for a small neighboring nation. She knew full well that her lineage was being taken advantage of for the nation's development. Mm. However, she had no choice but to allow this to happen. Meanwhile, Anatoly traveled the land. She had grown to become a leader of the wandering warrior tribes in the region. Woo! The sword she had mastered to survive had become the hope for many. The fight to regain their homeland had begun for these two princesses. Hell yeah. It all began when the former kingdom, now a military dictatorship, invaded the nation protecting Natasha. Natasha declared war, promising to regain control of her former castle. Seeing an opportunity, Anatoly rallied the people of the land to mount an invasion. They rode for the kingdom. At first, Natasha was disadvantaged, but the balance shifted upon uniting with Anatoly's forces. The enemy commanders saw the forces surrounding the castle. They knew there was no way to escape and quickly surrendered. The war ended in a single day. Nice, very efficient. And yet, people do not know of the 10 years of strife these two girls endured. Is that the just a real picture? <laughs> was rebuilt, but the peace they had once known was not immediately restored. Natasha's forces desired control over the conquered kingdom. However, Anatoly's camp also sought control, Ooh. having achieved many merits in battle. Though the two girls reached out to one another, their hands would never touch again. They were fated to strike each other down. Damn. It's so sad. 30 minutes in. If we continue to fight, more blood will be spilled, weakening our nation. Hence why only one of us shall be queen and end this war. There is no path before us where we can walk hand in hand as we did back then. Well, who's the eldest? Isn't that how... Isn't that how that works? I know. I am prepared for what we must do. It's why I've waited here for you. Draw your battle. sword. <gasps> we shall now decide who is fit to become queen. Well, one of them has a... an advantage here. <laughs> Drop the facade, Natasha. For these past ten years, you sat on the throne as a princess. Mm-hmm. I know you know not how to wield a sword. That's what I'm saying. I refuse to stain my hands with your blood. I could never will myself to kill you. But... At this rate, the nation will perish. Draw your sword, Anatoly! Yeah, someone's gonna die for real! Natasha. Oh. Aww. Aww. I was asleep the whole time, so it was already How dark the anyway. end of Act One. <sighs> Is she talking in her sleep? 
That this one's is weird. where the murder is gonna happen. Wait, why am I wasting time thinking about it? The lights are on again. Back to the show. Now, let us eat. Yes, allow me to pass the plate. Thank you, Anatoly. Aww. The two spent time together again, for the first time in years. However, they could not run through the garden like they used to. Together, they carried the lives of tens of thousands on their shoulders. What was expected of the girls was no longer a crown of flowers, but a real crown instead. If I could simply defer the throne to you and end it all, I would have done so in the beginning. Aww. A queen's crown would fit you better, Natasha. However, the war would not simply end there. How did it end up this way? What are we supposed to do? Natasha wept in anguish as Anatoly gently embraced her. How wonderful it would be if we could flee somewhere together. Aww. But both knew full well that could not be. After a long silence and much internal strife, Natasha rose. <gasps> They're going to poison each other on forever. For the nation and for themselves. <sighs> she invoked her nation's ancient tradition. Death. A new queen would be chosen through a duel of cups and poison. Oh, so it's like a gamble. 45 minutes in. Let us end this, Anatoly. Natasha. What do you intend to do? But aren't you gonna know which is which? I leave it for the heavens to decide who will survive. Oh. Uh, don't use the real poison. <laughs> On the day we were separated, I was given this poison by our family in order to commit suicide. I hope one of you girls has an understudy or something. <laughs> There's nothing there. Are they both gonna die? Switch the glasses around. Until I cannot tell which one has the poison in it. Once you are finished, I will reorder the glasses as well. The duel of poisoned cups. Very well. We shall ask God. Which of they us haven't done a double survive. murder at the same time. Though perhaps it will be the god of. Although death usually that chapter answers. three of Danganronpa is the double murder. Right? Yeah. This is chapter three? No! Chapter two! This is chapter two! Chapter two! Finished. There was a chapter zero? It is my turn then. Yeah, but this is technically labeled chapter two. might be our third investigation, but it is labeled chapter two. I am ready. It's to throw longtime fans off. <laughs> I grant you the right to select a glass. I shall take the remaining one. Very well. <laughs> Natasha, promise me 
If you survive, promise. This whole like stage act is giving me Final kingdom. Destination vibes where it's like any anything could kill anybody at any moment and you're just like anticipating what it's gonna fucking be. <laughs> be a bit more selfish in your personal life. That would balance things out, I think. I also have something to say, Anatoly. If you survive, wear a dress fit for a queen, no matter how much you hate it. Yikes. <laughs> well then, to the new queen. Cheers. Oh no, oh no! Oh, they're both gonna go. That's not acting. That's not acting. Huh? Cotton. Huh? What? Is she? But. Warina, are you all right? <laughs> Huh? Oh shit, you oh, must what's wrong. Uh, you might uh, you got some investigating to do, bro. Oh uh, <laughs> how come the other girl's okay? It was the same wine bottle. Nothing came out of the poison. Unless unless I just missed it. Um well, it wasn't Karen. <laughs> uh, the glass had something on it, maybe? We'll have to investigate. We gotta investigate everything. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> She's very much dead. The peacekeepers ain't gonna do shit! Just the rehearsal? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> no! Now you're excited again. What, what happened? Is this part of the show? <laughs> nope. No, I don't think so. I think this is real. That's a real corpse on the stage. Although that other girl slinking back behind the theater and then the lights suddenly going out, that was kind of sus. Tetsuhiko. This is where master detectives come in. We have to do something. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't deal with corpses. What do you mean? Huh? Dead people's faces terrify me. I can't handle looking at them. <laughs> oh my god. But it's a it's a lady. It's a pretty lady. So, you'll be fine. And the blood. What's with the blood? It's all way too horrifying. To <laughs> I can't deal with gory stuff. <laughs> You're joking, right? You're a master detective. But I'm not assigned to murders. I mainly handle undercover investigations and stuff like that. Well, there's a first time for everything. So, yeah, now I'll leave this to you. <laughs> I grant you the right to investigate the crime scene, rookie. Well, thank you. <laughs> what? I, I, I'll use my uh, disguise ability and try to the panicking students out of here. Okay, you make yourself useful somehow. I'll leave the rest to you. Uh, everyone, stay calm. Let's all move into the hall in an orderly manner. Y Yuma, what do I do? This is awful. Oh, you're kind of suspicious now. Stay calm, Karumi. That wasn't an act just now, right? <laughs> That's not in the script. Hodin really coughed up blood. She, she's really dead. Well, who could have thought a real murder would happen during a play? No. It's Fontaine all over again. First Ico and now Cotton. Is the school cursed? Yuma, it's a murder case. Weird-looking blood? Dong and Rampa blood is always pink. 
But if the peacekeepers come, they'll just cover it up again. Please, I need your help. Please investigate this case, Yuma. <gasps> and hi! <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome, raiders. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Cinder. I'm the Hellhound VTuber. Hello! I hope you guys had a great time. Thank you so, so much for sharing your community with me. I hope you guys like murder <laughs> and uh, solving crime. We're playing Raincoat. If you're familiar with Danganronpa, it's kind of like that, where there's a murder that happens and we are a detective and we have to solve the murder. Uh, you're in luck because somebody just died, so there's gonna be... And here some. comes the wolf chasing the little kitty cat. Oh, woo. <laughs> there's there's probably gonna be some really sus sound alerts because this game has the, the tendency to do that to me. Uh, <laughs> but yes, murder. Um, there was a play. That if you played if you played Fontaine in Genshin Impact, it's kind of like that. There was a play. Somebody died in real instead of fake dying for the sake of the play, and now there's a corpse on stage. I think you're just a horny uh. little boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, we are going to begin our investigation. We were just about to, uh, to f find some clues and see what happened. But I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you raiders sticking around. If you enjoy that kind of thing, uh, then, uh, here we go. <laughs> you want me to do it? Oh, also, there's some context. So, all the, all the master detectives have, like, these, these, uh, powers. And one of their powers <laughs> is uh, a uh, like a disguising ability. And so me and one other guy are dudes disguised as girls because we had to break into this all girls school. It's kind of a long story, but uh, <laughs> got it. Yeah, you're just doing what she says again. Wow. Get Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Forgive me, me Daddy, because <laughs> I'm naughty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, you also want to peek at the crime scene for your own reasons. And that's uh, Shinigami, the Death God. Mm, busted. Anyway, it'll be trouble when the peacekeepers arrive. Let's search the crime. It scene sounds so much worse you. when it has to be explained. It really does. <laughs> I also have my. Uh, Human form Shinigami accessories on. Okay, here's the crime scene. All right. There she is. Her name's Karen. Investigation time. Um, I'm not sure if it will help, but can I tell you what I saw? Uh, yeah. You saw something? Yes, please. During the performance, I was doing odd jobs in the wings. Aside from the theater club members, there wasn't anyone wandering about like an outsider. I mean, other than when Desuhiko jumped in right at the beginning of the play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Well, that's part of the investigation, right? You can't see everyone from the stage after all. Isn't that why he went up there? So he could memorize all the faces that were there? Oh! That's a good point. <clears throat> Right. Time for bad good luck with the game. <gasps> thank you, Firewolf! Thank you for the biddies! Have a good night! Thank you, thank you! I think he just wanted attention. But setting that aside... I mean, maybe he did remember who was in the audience. We should ask him. Since she didn't see any outsiders, the only persons of interest are those within the theater club. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind while taking a look around. I've done a few investigations already. I should be able to handle this now. Yeah, Yet we got you this. Were hopelessly reliant on yours truly until now. <laughs> I see it's not your brain making the decisions anymore. Oh my god, Shinigami, don't call me out like that. <laughs> A cute girl wants our help. The eyes are oh. wide open from agony. The body is completely motionless. I can immediately tell she's dead. Uh, hold on. Okay. Though she displayed many expressions while acting, her face is frozen in death in the I don't end. know what you're talking about. That kind of slaps. Yeah, you like death? <laughs> this isn't an act. She was struck by an abrupt and unscripted death. Yeah, I was gonna say, when she was like, in the middle of the play, and then they drank the poison, and she was like, you know, 
pretending to die. I was like, wow, her acting is really good. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. She's like actually fucking dying. <laughs> Was it poison? Maybe. That's most likely the case. There are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, she must have ingested poison. This will be tough to solve. It was a pretty fast-acting poison. I know nothing about poison. What? A detective who doesn't know his poisons? Don't tell me you're a poison virgin. But I am. Perverted little detective, <laughs> get on your knees and apologize, and maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Apologize about what? How about something like, I'm sorry, I should know my place, I can't live without you, Shinigami. No, I don't think I'll do that. If she was murdered with poison law, she's <laughs> just ignoring her. Okay, poison. mommy. It has to be <laughs> somewhere else. I need to look for that while checking out anywhere else that seems suspicious. <laughs> All right, we got we got our first piece of evidence. I'm blocking the description. It says there are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, it's likely she died from drinking the poison. Yep, it's a corpse. Yep, thank you. Let's look at the glass. There are two glasses on the table. The props used for the duel of poisoned cups. I think this glass was supposed to be stored upside down on the shelf in the back. Hmm. Cotton was the victim, but she's also the one who set it on the table. Maybe poison was already applied to the glass beforehand. Maybe. Hey, do you know who prepared these glasses? Oh, it's the girls on prop duty. The freshmen are handling them this time. Do you know where this glass was before it was placed on stage? Props are kept in the theater club storage. This glass should have been in there too. The theater club storage? In that case, any club member would have access. Mm hmm. Um. Was real poison applied to the glass? It's likely. I just thought it could be possible. But there's the risk of being caught by applying the poison after it was moved to the set. If poison was applied, it would have been before being brought to the set. Hmm. But on days like this, when there's an open rehearsal, props are brought out of storage right after school. The glass should have stayed on that shelf the whole time. After school... Which means it'd be even harder to apply poison before then. Yes. At the very least, the props in the set were fully prepared at least one hour before the performance. Okay. We have a time frame. The glasses were placed upside down on the stage shelf at least one hour prior to the performance. Bottle. There's a wine bottle on the table. Cotton poured the liquid from this bottle and started to suffer after drinking it. Well, it was probably empty. It looked empty. That means there's a chance the poison was mixed into this bottle. This isn't wine in here, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Of course not. It's just grape juice. I poured out the bottle and replaced what was inside. Huh? Where did the wine go? <laughs> huh? You, Kurumi? After class, I was asked to help out before I went to get you. I'm still a theater club member after all. Did you just chug it? Were both the wine and grape juice sealed before you swapped them out? Yes. I received the unopened wine bottle from a club member. Hmm. I uncorked the bottle and poured the wine down the sink. Hopefully it was cheap wine. <laughs> it's a waste, but we can't drink it anyway. After that, I went to the cafeteria and bought a can of grape juice. Of course, this was also unopened. I poured the juice into the bottle, then put the cork back. I passed the bottle to a club member, and my job was done. Hmm. That bottle was then placed with the glasses on the shelf before the performance. I see. With so many people around, Poison couldn't be added to the bottle after it was placed on stage. Underage if poison drinking was come. mixed in, it'd be before it was brought on stage. Hmm. Grape juice was inside the wine bottle. Kurumi switched out the wine for juice. The bottle was then placed with glasses on the shelf. Okay, what about this? Is this empty? This file is supposed to have poison in it, according to the script. But it's empty now. 
It's dry and shows no signs of ever being wet. That's what I thought. To be sure, the poison in this vial wasn't real, and it was just another prop, <laughs> right? <laughs> just to be sure, you gotta ask that? Absolutely. It was always empty. The contents spill easily because of the loose lid, so we don't even keep colored water in it. Hmm. Cotton just pretended to pour poison from the vial into the glass on stage. Then it's hard to imagine there being any poison inside it. Huh. Empty from the beginning. It is dry and show no signs of ever being wet. Well, there's dry poisons. Right? Is this a thing? You. Not only is Aiko gone, but now Cotton too. Could this also be a fight for the lead role? I don't know. If so, those most suspicious are Cotton's rivals. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. Is the culprit one of those three? Hmm. I need to find out if there was anything suspicious about them during the performance. Kurumi was in the wings the whole time, so perhaps she knows something about the others. I don't know. Kurumi, it's not looking good for you! Yoshiko. She... Was it her? Yeah. Yoshiko was sneaking around backstage during the performance. Before the incident occurred, do you know where Yoshiko was and what she was doing? I didn't see Yoshiko in the wings. She may have been watching from the audience. Hmm. Oh, right. Speaking of during the performance, yeah. I noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle. I thought she was coming back from the restroom, but I didn't see her take her seat. What if she wasn't part of the audience? Where could she have been? Hmm. Yuma noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle between the audience seating during the performance. Okay, we'll ask about everybody. Kurumi, did you notice anything suspicious about Warana while you were watching from the wings? You know, that could be a reason if... Somehow Warana knew which glass was... Safe? Hmm. Hmm. I see a motive there. Hmm. As far as I can tell, Warana was just her usual self. She was listening to music right up to the start of the play. I think that's how she concentrates. Did she go near the glasses or bottle before the performance? I wasn't watching her the entire time, but if she did go near the set, I think I would have noticed. Hmm. I hmm. see. Warana was the closest to the victim. Yeah. That's ample opportunity to commit the crime. That's what I was thinking. But still, how did she add the poison? It couldn't have been during the performance, right? Wait, now that I think about it... Right after the lights went dark in that one scene, she went near the shelf to pick up a plate. Her back was toward the audience, so I couldn't see her hands. But she only had two or three seconds max. Could she have poured hidden poison in the glass in that time? Maybe. Did she have any other opportunities after? The next time she touched the glasses was during the shuffling scene. But it was Cotton who moved the glasses and bottle. She also prepared the poison vial. And... She had the first pick. Plus, after shuffling, Cotton was the one who chose the first glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Given the situation, it'd be difficult for Warana to poison Cotton specifically. Hmm. Warana was acting during the performance, of course. It would have been difficult for her to have purposely poisoned Karen. Cotton, Sari. Sari's Cotton. What about Kurane? Did she seem strange before the incident occurred? Hmm. I haven't seen Kurane. She was working up above the whole time. Hmm. Above? Oh, she was managing the lights then. There's a catwalk above to adjust the lights. And that's where Kurane was supposed to be. So I didn't see her in the wings. There's another girl handling the lights. So it would be helpful to speak to her. Okay. Kurane was a member of the lighting crew during the performance. So... Kurane. 
Why did the lights go out? Hmm. Could be more than one culprit. Like last time? Before the performance, did you notice anything off about Cotton? Well, I think she was more on edge than usual. She yelled at underclassmen who were late in preparing for the show. She also paced around restlessly. Hmm. That's not just today. She's been that way since Echo's death. Maybe the whole battle for the lead role had stressed her out. But since she was murdered after Aiko, she should be considered another victim, right? Mm-hmm. If she knew someone was out to get her, then it's not strange for her to be mentally unstable. It's like, okay, you murder all the people who are in the way of you getting the lead role, <laughs> but then there's nobody left in the club, so then what are you gonna do? <laughs> then you can't have any plays! <laughs> Everybody's dead! <laughs> Cotton was more tense than usual prior to the start of the performance. The ones fighting for the lead role are Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurume. None of them seem particularly suspicious so far. Hey, how long are you gonna keep this up? I'm so over playing 20 questions with this ugly chick. <sighs> you are so mean. Why are you being so mean to her? Why? What did she do to you? That reminds me. The lights went dark during the performance, right? The entire hall was blacked out. Wouldn't it be possible for someone to sneak up on stage and place the poison then? Oh, I hadn't thought of that, but I don't think it's possible. That was what, three seconds? Why not? The blackout lasted for only five seconds. Five seconds. We measure it each time to ensure there are no mistakes. Oh, so it's on purpose? So someone would have to move through the dark, get on stage, apply the poison, and get away, all in five seconds. That sounds impossible to me. If they were in a hurry, their footsteps would have been heard by everyone too. Hmm. From the audience, it may be impossible, but what about from the wings? No, there were multiple club members, including me, in the wings at all times. While the lights are out, we are always on standby to support the actors. If someone went on stage, the other members and I would have noticed. I guess it's not possible then. Hmm. <laughs> Even an amateur has more logic than you. <laughs> Shut up. Because you're useless without a certain someone. I am doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> the stage went dark for five seconds during the performance. Alrighty then. Got the audience backstage. Oh, misplaced script. There's a script on the floor. That's a script of the play. Someone must have dropped it in all the chaos. The script describes the duel of poisoned cup scene. The character Natasha, played by Cotton, is supposed to take the wine and glasses from a shelf. After that, the glasses are shuffled on stage. According to the script. Mm hmm. Anatoly shuffles glasses. Note, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Hmm. Anatoly, finished. Natasha, it is my turn then. Natasha also shuffles in a similar way. Natasha, I am ready. Anatoly and Natasha stand on the opposite sides of the table facing one another. After that, Cotton takes the first glass, and they both drink at the same time. Unfortunately, Cotting's glass turned out to actually be poisoned. Kurumi, I was wondering about this script. It says, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Why is that? For drama. It's to make the result feel unpredictable to the audience. Mm -hmm. If the glasses are visible, no matter how fast they are shuffled, the audience can see which one has the poison. That's a good point. The script doesn't say anything about how many times to shuffle the glasses or which one will have the poison in it. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. There's no poison to begin with. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't matter which one's picked. <laughs> Hi, Momo! I hope you like murder mysteries. <laughs> you just pick any glass and act out your death after drinking. In the script, Cotton was to die. Okay, well, at least I got the right person. <laughs> I didn't think she'd actually die. Hmm. I see. 
Since the instructions aren't precise, both actresses don't know the results from shuffling either. Huh. The shuffling of the glasses. During the scene with the shuffling of the glasses, the result was unpredictable even for the two on stage. But they would have known! I mean, if there was real poison, it'd be unpredictable, but it's a play, so... They, they still would have known. I don't think there's anything on this side. Well, I'm just looking! Sorry! Are these the lights? We need to investigate the lights, because the lights went out. Hmm. My place is among the gentry, so these don't suit my palate. You're being awfully annoying this chapter. She mentioned that the catwalk for adjusting the lights is up above. Are those the stairs to reach them? Looks like Would you like to go check up there? Yeah. Yeah, I would. The spotlights for the stage are set over there. It's a lot narrower than I thought. It's pretty high up. Yeah. It'd be hard on anyone with the fear of heights. So you can move the lights as needed for the play. The table is directly below, which means... Mm. You can't see the glasses getting shuffled from the audience seats, but they could have been visible from up here. And then, plunk! I could find out for sure if I could talk to someone that was up here. Where's the? Where's that other girl? With the bow in her hair. Catwalk. There are multiple spotlights for the stage in the catwalk. The walkway itself is narrow and high enough that it's not easily accessible. Clarone? Is that, is that her name? Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. That's it! But we gotta talk to people! We gotta talk to the other girls! Well, all right. I think I've checked all that I can for now. I have a good idea of how things work around here. It seems certain Cotton died from drinking poison, but I couldn't find any clues that point to how it was done. I wonder if... Hmm. What if, what if Cotton killed the first girl and somebody else knew about it so they got revenge? Because they said that she was very nervous after, what was her name, Aiko? After her death? Hmm, that's kind of sus, Karen. Oh, stuck already, Mr. Pervert Detective? If you need my adorable angel's whisper to help, maybe you should get on your knees and beg. <laughs> what angel? You're a death god. <sighs> I shouldn't even pay attention to her. But she's right. I'm stuck. What should I do? Talk to the other girls. Yuma, if you're done with the crime scene investigation, are you conducting the questioning next? Questioning? Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to talk to Yoshiko, Marina, Kurene, and the others? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Oh, right. Let's go and talk to them. <laughs> she's such a loud mouth. <laughs> My God. How do we talk to them? I doubt they'll be too willing to share anything with me. I joined the club only recently, so they don't trust me. And you're a complete outsider, Yuma. The teacher! Desahiko! Even though you're disguised as a cute girl right now. That's it! A disguise! Maybe this could work if we use Desuhiko's disguise. He could disguise as any of the girls and oh. start questioning them. Or that! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no. Peacekeepers? Aw, they're here already. That woman, she was the one with that Yomi guy. I am the Amaterasu Peacekeepers Vice Director. The trusted right hand, showered with love by Director Yomi himself. Yeah, we, we know. <laughs> Martina Electra. <laughs> uh, uh, Goodness me. You've surely done something reckless this time around. Do you recognize me? <laughs> Looks like she found out you snuck into a girl's school. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think this deserves the death penalty, don't you? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, there's a reason why I'm dressed this way. What are you doing? Hurry up and make the arrest. Wait, I can explain! 
Oh, we do look kind of sus right now. Huh? What? Oh, oh, uh oh. Um, that's not what I expected. You have no right to remain silent. You have no right to talk to a lawyer either. You only possess two rights: confess the truth and beg Amaterasu Corporation for mercy. We love government. Take her away. Hey! What's going on? Um, please, wait! Great. <laughs> Are you sure you want to try and stop Amaterasu Peacekeeper Vice Director Martina? Yeah, get out of my way. Yeah, tell <laughs> me. Why are you taking Kurumi? To arrest her, naturally. On the suspicion of murdering Karen. Huh? What? Why would I do that? We have reached this conclusion following an interrogation of a person of interest. A singular person? One person? According to them, you were responsible for handling the contents of the wine bottle prior to the start of play. It's clear you took the opportunity to pour poison inside it. Oh my god. It was only grape juice. I didn't add any poison. Besides, where would she even get poison from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. Oh. <laughs> oh, it appears my deduction was correct. The poison That's a big jar of poison. Noses. Hmm. It seems to have been a particularly potent one. The label warns that even a small amount ingested can result in death. Well, we already have an argument. <laughs> we can already see through her fucking reasoning. If the bottle had poison in it, they'd both be dead, you dumb bitch! <laughs> oh my god! The bottle is unsealed, and some of the liquid is missing. <sighs> There's no mistake. You secretly stole this from the chemistry lab and used it for murder. <laughs> oh my god, I wanna strangle you! <laughs> <sighs> That bottle is way too big to be stolen without anyone noticing. Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> what a worthless comment. One could simply unseal it in the chemistry lab and put the substance in a smaller container to take wherever desired, which could then be directly poured into the wine bottle. <gasps> again, again, what? Yuma, just, just make the argument now. You're going to save a lot of headache later. <laughs> backing you up oh, God. <laughs> this is the last time I'll do this for you hmm. there's a warning on the bottle hmm this chemical will react to oxygen in open air rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed ah they didn't even read the poison huh after 30 minutes it becomes harmless if you think that's important go for broke and try pointing it out yeah hey you um, I'm curious about what's written on the bottle's warning label. Warning label? <laughs> yeah, why don't you read it? Read it out loud for everybody to hear, why don't you? This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Huh? It has been 30 minutes since the murder occurred. That's not what you... <sighs> Oh my god. If this chemical was unsealed at the time of the crime, it will have already lost its potency. Let us check. Nothing. It seems likely that this poison was used as the murder weapon. Okay. That's all you gotta say? This just says poison properties. A, spo a poison with special properties. Which means the crime was possible only for someone at the school with access to the chemistry lab. However, this fact does not contradict her being the killer. Hmm? Wait, no! I am well aware that many of Etheria Academy's students are children of those affiliated with Amaterasu Corporation. However, that cannot be used as an excuse to bend the truth. Criminals must be punished as criminal be real funny if she fell over and died right now <laughs> if only <laughs> for that is justice now be gone any additional interference and you'll be arrested as well hmm 
Take her away. And dispose of the corpse on stage before it rots. Corpses spoil so quickly due to the rain and humidity in this town. Why? There must be a mistake. It wasn't me. It's okay, Karumi. We're gonna we'll, we'll break you out of jail later. We gotta figure out who actually did it first, though. <laughs> That's right. She's not the killer. Please listen to me. I warned you not to interfere any further. She swapped out the contents of the bottle before the play began. And the incident occurred more than 30 minutes into the play. Oh yeah, we were sitting at 45 minutes. If the chemical use in the crime becomes harmless after 30 minutes, then it's impossible for her to be the culprit. And then the most obvious solution is that they're both they're, they're not both dead. I see. How logical and beautiful. Uh, and flattery's not gonna get you anywhere. <laughs> there is beauty in being logical with all things. Much like the golden ratio. Like gazing upon a flawless art piece. And the more delicate it appears. She's drooling. <laughs> Girl, why are you drooling like that? The more excited I become envisioning the moment I pulverize it. Oh. Oh, she a freak freak. Huh? <laughs> Logic is meaningless in the face of ultimate power. Oh no, she's one of those. Oh. Oh, she's one of those. She thinks power can get her everywhere. Logic doesn't apply. Logic is useless. I'm gonna be so satisfied when I bring her down with logic. <laughs> it is nothing but a glass ornament beneath an iron hammer! Oh, no! I'm so excited. This okay. bitch is weird. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. You said it. <laughs> What's with her? <laughs> I guess all the peacekeeper higher ups are perverts without exception. Mm hmm. No. My soft and fragile looking student. Your play acting as a detective is over. Oh, she doesn't know. Play acting? She doesn't know? She's actually fucking dumb. <laughs> If you intend to continue interfering with our justice, then you will be pulverized. Help me, Yuma! Hmm? Uh-oh. Yuma? No! I've heard that name so No! You should shut up! No. Never mind. I don't know a little girl like you. <laughs> oh, shit. Play acting as a detective? She's right. What am I no, doing? No, Yuma, she didn't mean it like that. You kidding me? That dumb bitch had no idea. <laughs> I've mistaken detectives for superheroes. No, no, great. Don't let her get to your head. Justice is a matter of opinion. With enough conviction, anything can be considered justice. No, that's why you're gonna find evidence. It's mm -hmm. only an assumption. Completely worthless and completely powerless. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at him crying. Precious baby, no. Hey, I told you all students must wait on the lower level. Stop wandering around and go join the others. <sighs> Kurumi was taken away. What should I do? Do I just walk away as if nothing happened? No, you're gonna do what you do best. You find Desuhiko, you switch disguises, and you talk to the other girls. No, I can't do that. Kurumi believed in me. She said the detectives are heroes. I'm no hero, but I'm the only one who can save her right now. I have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> The truth is Yeah, do hidden. it for her! To discover the truth behind this case, and to find out who the real killer is, mm -hmm. I need Desuhiko's help. I need his disguise ability to get information from the club members. Mm -hmm. Alright, like always, chat, please. No spoilers. I'd appreciate that. Because this is the kind of game that you can only really play through once <laughs> before you already know all the answers. <laughs> it's like Don't Get Around oh. You're that cutie who was with Kurumi! Uh, thank you. What are you doing here? If you don't go underground, they'll be mad at you. It, yeah. 
I was called for questioning, but now I'm heading back. Let's go together. Oh, oh, it's fine. I'll be right there, so go on ahead without me. You sure? Oh. Well, I was curious. Are all the other theater club members also underground? Like Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurone too? Yeah, that's right. Yoshiko is feeling pretty shocked right now. Yeah. She's in the rest area because she wants to be alone. Waruna is with her usual friend group in the makeup room. As hmm. for Kurene, maybe she's in the staff room with the other club members. Only one of them is shaken up. Ah, <laughs> oh, got it. Thanks. The one literally standing right in front of her her club member that died and spit blood everywhere. Nah, she's just chilling. She's just chilling in the beauty room. <laughs> She's literally like the nail painting emoji. <laughs> is that is that actually him though? Hold on. Um, teacher. I'm sorry. My student is distressed. Okay. So please excuse us for a moment. You okay, Yuma? I'm fine, but Kurumi got caught by the peacekeepers. Are you serious? <laughs> what are you gonna do, Desuhiko? Can you lend me a hand investigating this case? Okay, so... Five chapters, five other master detectives to work with? Hmm, hmm, hmm? I think, I think, uh, that's what's gonna be happening. So tell me you want to keep investigating behind the Peacekeeper's backs. I can't wait till we get to investigate with Vivia. <laughs> It's reckless. The chief even told me not to, but this is something I have to do. You gotta save the woman you love, right? Oh my god. I totally get it. <laughs> no, it's not like I love... <gasps> my man. <laughs> Usually I'd help you out of sheer respect alone, but those bastards questioned me already, so uh, I can't move from this spot. Mm. Couldn't you make up an excuse to leave? Aren't you good at that? Yeah, I probably could, but I couldn't stay away for too long. Maybe I could slip out in disguise, but I thought I'd put him on high alert and make the investigation tougher. He's got a good point. Then what should I do? There's another solution. I'll disguise you, so you can keep on investigating. Okay. You want me to keep investigating in disguise? That's... That's literally what I thought we were gonna do. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you a voice changer too. <gasps> I'll leave this to you. Damn, okay. But if this goes on for much longer, we'll both be in trouble. My disguises can't last forever. I asked that too. I was wondering how long they last for. What? Really? It puts a huge strain on my body. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. Great. <laughs> are, are you okay? Not really. But... I gotta do this. <laughs> oh my god. It's all to save the love of your life. Uh, it's not that deep, bro. I mean, this saying I love her is a bit extreme, but... Besides, I'm a master detective of the WDO. I've seen plenty of dangerous situations. Hmm. So, who do you want to disguise as? Tell me. Um... Damn, I want to talk to all these girls, though. Okay. All right. So, Kurene is number one on my uh, sus list right now. Because uh, she was she was controlling the lights and she had the view uh, from up high, right? Um, it couldn't have been Warna. And Yoshiko's also kind of sneaking around. Yeah, because then she could have died too. Unless somebody had really good aim, but then... No. We'll do Waruna. I want to disguise as Waruna. Waruna. The other lead actress on stage. No, I kinda dig chicks who seem hard to <laughs> Oh my god. Alrighty. Time to turn you into just the kind of girl I like. So creepy. Perverts of a feather flock together. Oh, oh, my stomach's starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
but may I go to the restroom? I'll be right back. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> oh, Lauren, a secret? On the way home from Etheria Academy, she stops by the riverbank to give milk to stray cats. An activity she hasn't told anyone about. Wait, that's so cute. Aww. All right, that was perfect. I slipped a voice changer under your clothes, so be sure to use it. Oh, also, just a heads up. Uh, uh, touching your own boobs won't feel good or anything. <laughs> I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> we'll see about that. Perverted detective. Of course he knows. Of course he knows. <laughs> I'm heading back now. Get going. All right. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm cute. Supposed to be feared by the other members. I hope I can still get some information from them. Well, maybe we can intimidate them. But I better make sure I don't run into the real Waruna. True. Uh, Yoshika was in the rest area, Waruna the makeup room, and Kurane the staff room, right? Right, so we need rest area and staff room. Investigation! <laughs> A perverted cross-dressing detective appears. Shut up. So... Detectives around. Oh wait, this way, this way, this way. Hold on, I, I'm just noticing the map now. Oh wait, no. Oh, that is that is lower level. Okay. Hold on, I was I was right. I love this dong 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 for music. My hair. Boing, 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 boing. Is this the rest area? <gasps> Hello. Hey. <laughs> I said, hey. <sighs> she hears me, but she's ignoring me. Hmm. I knew they weren't on good terms, but I didn't expect the seemingly friendly Yoshiko to act this way toward her. Well, you're kind of acting like a bitch right now, Yuma. I said, hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> Still, I need to get her to talk or I won't find any clues. Hey, Yoshiko, why are you ignoring me? <sighs> you're the one who told me not to speak to you. Oh. Oh. Huh? I did? It's unlike you to act like this. Are you nervous? Anyway, stop talking to me. Go away. It's no use. Oh well. Hey, Waruna. Oh, uh, why do you look like that? You handled that poisoning scene with Cotton really well. Huh? I don't want to see you around here again. Was that a compliment about Warren's acting? Huh? No, there was some nuance. Like she indirectly accused Warona of murdering Cotton. So Yoshiko believes Warona killed Cotton during the duel of poisoned cups. What? Uh, that would be a fucking gamble. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if that's true. Staff room. Okay, we don't want to go in there. You're so oblivious, Master. Oh! It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. Excuse me. That isn't your locker, is it, Waruna? Sorry. Huh? Oh, you're right. We talked about this during our last meeting. Oh no. Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we aren't allowed to open other people's lockers. Waruna, even someone like you has to follow the rules. S sorry Hmm. <gasps> oh, we're gonna need to look at this stuff! We're gonna need to look! She's gonna yell at me again. It's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. I probably shouldn't open the lockers of people I'm not disguised as. Yeah. 
I wonder if we can change Aww. the disguises? It's a club locker. Kurani's name tag is on it. Doesn't look very good. Why is it all beat up? I probably shouldn't open the Yeah. Uh is my locker? This must be mine. Hell yeah! This locker has Warren's name on it. It doesn't seem to be locked. Going through a high school girl's locker while claiming it's for an investigation is what a criminal would do. Alright. <laughs> I don't need I don't need the peanut gallery in my ear. I'm not a criminal. I'm a detective. So I really want well, to see Cinder with turquoise eyeliner now. <laughs> it's crammed with music and theater magazines. Huh? Is this a <gasps> diary? But oh. it's locked. I can't open it. Hmm. I don't see a key. Then again, I don't really want to peek into a diary. But there could be evidence in there. Let's put it back for now. For I don't now. Think there are any other clues? All right. Okay. Will you talk to me? What do you want? Can't you tell I'm trying to blend into the wall as best I can right now? No. Don't talk to me. Um, it's about what happened. I didn't expect you to bring it up. <sighs> Fine. There is something bothering me about it anyway. Huh? What's that? I watched the glasses get shuffled while I was above set. Wasn't it slower than usual? W was it? Why did you go so slowly? Um, I was just doing what I usually do. Uh-huh. Everybody's gonna be accusing her. Doing it like that makes it super obvious what you were trying to do, you know. What do you think I was trying to do? Huh? <sighs> Whatever. Does she suspect something? Kurney thinks Warana took advantage of the duel of poisoned cups to kill Cotton? Um. It's not looking so good. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I think all these girls are kind of salty towards one another. Appreciate it if you could leave that alone. Oh, got it. Hmm. Oh, Warna, what brings you here? Sorry, I I'm busy cleaning up right now. She's obviously afraid. <laughs> Ignoring me. It looks like they're not on good terms. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's the makeup room. We don't want to go there. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Oh, I think I just talked to everybody in here, too. Hey, can you talk right now? Oh, Warina. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a bit busy right now. You're just standing here! <laughs> it's no use. She won't talk to me. She seems really afraid of Warina. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to cycle through all the girls and try talking to everybody. Hey, could we talk for a bit? <laughs> Why are you all scared? What's wrong? Um, well... She's really nervous around Warna. Maybe I can push her a little to talk. That's what I'm saying. You can use that as your, your as an advantage, yeah. You should tell me if you notice something. Otherwise, I'm 
might get upset. There you go. S sorry. Um, there was one thing I noticed. What was it? It's about Yoshiko. I wonder if she wasn't feeling well. Hmm. Huh? Why do you say that? I watched from the audience and noticed Yoshiko arrive to the theater hall late. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Yoshiko always watches from beginning to end, even for the rehearsal performances. I wonder what could have changed that. What did she do after arriving late? Well, she sat near the right edge of the front row before the blackout. Hmm. She was still there after the lights came on. She didn't leave her seat once. She looked rather restless throughout the play. Right edge in the front row, and she looked restless. Hmm. This one has been updated. Yoshika always watches plays beginning to end, but for this performance, she arrived late to the theater hall. Be terrifying. Damn. At this rate, I doubt I can talk to them. Well, all right. Well, why is this? It's a club locker. I probably. Hmm. I haven't fully investigated these. Well, the only other place I can go to... <laughs> Should we go? Let's try going back to Dasuhiko. That's probably our best bet right now. Let's see if we can switch. Um, I still have more investigating to do. <laughs> Dasuhiko. Dasuhiko. All right then. Well, we're gonna get found out. If if you think that's a good idea, then okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Cause you know who's in the makeup room. <laughs> Although I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna happen. Oh. Ah, oh, Warna was in this room. I should probably stay away while I'll have this disguise on. Okay. Oh! It's the real Waruna. Uh oh. <laughs> It'd be trouble if we ran into each other. I should hide. Is she heading to the restroom? Just me talking around. Let's go while we have time. But this may be an opportunity to slip into that makeup room. Mm hmm You might be right, but it'd be terrible if I'm caught. I'm just talking to myself again. <laughs> but if you don't grow a pair, you'll never become a full-fledged detective. J shut up. I'm just considering my options. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. And we can sneak out the back door. And then people are gonna be like, what? <laughs> hey, back already? Yeah, I forgot something. Uh, where was it? Uh, somewhere. I'm scared. I can't believe I watched someone die. I wonder, where did Cut and Soul go? Huh? The true culprit's soul is deep inside the mystery labyrinth. True. Only Kurane could do something this scary. They think it's Kurane. Kurane? What makes you think it's her? Because I saw it. Saw what? Kurane stole Karen's script when it was left in the wings. What? Huh? She ran off somewhere with the script. Isn't that suspicious? Kurane took Karen's script? What does it mean? Is there a secret involving her script? What? Varna! Please stay by my side today! 
I'm so scared. I All the die. scripts are usually the same. The different different parts are just highlighted. Oh, uh, I'll think about it. Unless she had like notes in her script for something else. That was such a shock, right? Who would have thought Cotton would die on stage? Even though I hated her, seeing her die right in front of me makes me regret badmouthing her. Hmm. Yoshiko has to be the one who did it. Don't you think? <laughs> uh They're putting the blame on each other. Yoshiko? What makes you think that? I thought you'd agree, Warna. Yoshiko is the only one who could do this. She's fanatical about Aiko, though she thinks nobody noticed. Aiko? Aiko? That was Kurumi's close friend who committed suicide six months ago. Which reminds me, we snuck into the school to seek out the truth behind Aiko's death to begin with. Huh? Maybe this incident has something to do with her death as well. Yoshiko never shows her feelings, so who knows what she's thinking. But I'm sure Yoshiko hated Karen. Karen got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died, after all. Yoshiko resented her, which led to today. Well, how's that for some expert reasoning? Um, so is it true that Yoshiko adored Aiko? Are you kidding me? Everyone could tell. It was that obvious. Warna, you're really dense when it comes to these things. Hmm. But that's what makes you likable. Also, didn't you need to go to the restroom? I better get out of here. The real Warna might come back any second. Yeah. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah, gotta go. Hmm? That was super quick, Warna. <laughs> uh. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> that was close. Into each other. That should be enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. Hmm. I think that's all the info I could get is Warana. Can People we switch? Are afraid of her, so they don't really talk to her. I guess so. But Yoshiko and Kurune both seem to suspect Warana. Hmm. On the other hand, Warana's group of friends suspect Yoshiko and Kurune. Everyone suspects each that's other. That's what I said. Maybe everyone was on edge even before today's incident. Hmm. But there's still no information that could lead me to the culprit yet. I should disguise myself as another student. Yeah, that's what I was saying! I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. Uh, um, <laughs> teacher? Oh, what's wrong? You look pale. I'm sorry, but my student appears to be feeling rather anxious. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? Let's do Yoshiko, because I think a lot of people like her. I think she's she's one of the more likable girls. I want to disguise as Yoshiko. So, you want to be the star candidate of the theater club. She's known for being an honor student, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know all about her. Why do you think I wanted her around the school? Once I've seen the face, I never forget it. Just leave it to me. Okay. Yoshiko's bag. Desiko's beanie? Custom made designer beanies waterproof and cost him several months pay? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> he's, he's, he's quirky. <laughs> Alright, that's perfect. In fact, I'd totally bang you right now. If you're okay with that. No. Why is your hoge hard? <laughs> hey, hold on. That's completely out of line. I'm a superstar detective. Social norms don't apply to me. Okay. I refuse to hold myself back. All right. Uh, no, we can save the fun for later. Go investigate. I mean, it's just a disguise. Like, the parts haven't changed. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yoshiko is supposedly well respected by everyone. Mm -hmm. I hope I can extract information from different theater members. But I better be careful and avoid the real Yoshiko. Oh! I think Yoshiko was, was in the rest area. And 
Muarona's the makeup room. Kune should be in the staff room. Yeah, so we gotta sneak by. She was sitting like right at the entryway. But I think the the bushes should hide us. I don't think we can like crouch. We can't like crouch sneak. No. No crouch. No crouch sneaking. Yeah, she's like right there. Let's just not go that way. And we're good. Okay. Oh, but maybe we can open up uh, her locker now. Yoshiko. Should I pick? It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. I should open it and search inside. You're opening a young girl's locker? Will you stop? It's evidence! <laughs> it's evidence! Where's the evidence? Hey, shocks! This one goes out to my wife, Halara Nightmare. <laughs> Hell yeah, they were 13 months. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shinigami's been a little shit this whole case. <laughs> it's for the investigation. Give me a break. No, this is this is Desuhiko's chapter. Holara's chapter was uh the first one. Yeah, whatever. It's so I neat and organized. To a hobby. The script and makeup items are neatly placed. Huh? <gasps> There's a glass in the back. It's the same oh, kind that was no. used for the play. Oh no. Oh no! What is this doing here? Another glass. The same kind of glass that was used on stage is in Yoshiko's locker. Oh no. What else is there? Oh, there's a photo on the back of the door. It's a two-shot photo of Yoshiko and another girl. Oh, is that Aiko? Why is it ripped? Who oh, is she? Two-shot photo with Yoshiko. This photo cutout is of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the same uniform. That's about it for the things of note in this locker. It's a revenge killing! Alright. Probably still can't go into Karen's it's a club locker. locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. Uh, um, that isn't your locker, Yoshiko. Okay. Huh? Oh, you're right. Did you forget? We <laughs> talked about this during the last meeting. Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we are the situation is bad enough. Yeah, it's the same price. it's the same conversation. Okay. Let's talk to them. Hey, it's Yoshiko. Uh, what's wrong? Uh oh it's nothing. What's going on? Is hmm. there something they don't want Yoshiko to hear? Hmm. You guys sus of me. Hey, do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. It's who tell again? Um, Yoshiko? Hmm? What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's nothing. Excuse me. <sighs> she suddenly fell quiet. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't question her anymore. She looked like she wanted to say something, but maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Yep. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as someone else. And she did. Yoshiko! Why'd you leave me back there? Sorry. I was so scared. Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. They're the worst. Um... You're... <laughs> I watched from above the whole time. I saw Cotton die. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares about this. I'm so scared. Can we walk home together today? Please? Hey, if you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Kurane on the lights? I was. Why are you asking me this now? Then tell me... Did Kurne do anything strange during the performance? Hmm. Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? No. She was the same old unfriendly Kurne. <laughs> she came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. If she did anything out of the ordinary, I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. 
Mm. To be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, I wish you were on the lights instead, Yoshiko. Anyway, why do you ask? Oh, well, no reason. So, Kurene was just her usual self, huh? Hmm. Yep. I never lie to you. A lighting staff testimony. There was nothing unusual about Kurene during the performance. She went up to the catwalk before the play and stayed there for the duration. Remember the duel with poisoned cups part? Where they shuffled the cups? Could you see that part from above? Hmm? Yes, of course. Although the audience couldn't, I could see their hands moving from above. As part of the lighting crew, that was my most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. Hmm. Most important? Yoshko! You complimented me during the meeting about this, remember? <laughs> it's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> that, uh, how is it supposed to go again? It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. Huh. Kurene puts a spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. Were you not watching? Uh, I was. I just remembered. <laughs> you did an excellent job with the lights. Wow! <laughs> you complimented me! I'm so excited. I doubt I'll sleep at all tonight. <laughs> me when any of my friends compliment me. <laughs> May we finally have that sleepover? There's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. Damn. <laughs> Updated! The shuffling of the glasses. Both members of the lighting crew could see how the glasses were being shuffled. Alright, talk to me. You managed it well. Huh? What do you mean? You're getting good at playing dumb, too. <laughs> Are you practicing for the peacekeepers? She's fucking brutal. You really are the top actress after all. Are you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly? <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. She seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the way she's talking. She did that with the other, the other girl too! Is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? Huh. All right. Well, that's kind of sus. Let's go here next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just a standing emoji. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, technically, there is like the dog and rampa pose. It's literally the fucking dog and rampa pose. <laughs> Some time alone for a bit. Um, about what happened. How could you show your face here after murdering Cotton? Oh? Huh? You're not supposed to be here. Listen, the peacekeepers are everywhere. So stay away from me, got it? Murderers should just. Wait, who are you calling a murderer? Enough! I have nothing to say to you! Shut up and get out of here! Oh? That was intense. Huh. I heard they were on bad terms, but maybe she's more on edge because of what happened? On top of that, Warana thinks Yoshiko is the killer. Maybe there's a reason why she thinks that. It's probably gonna be none of these girls. <laughs> Plot twist. It's nobody. Aww, I wish this would end soon. Um, you were in charge of the costumes? You're acting like this is the first time we've met. <laughs> Do you not remember me? Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. Aww. I'm here every day, but no one notices me. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurene. But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Could it be she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? 
That's valid. What do you think, Yoshiko? Uh, uh, I'm not so sure. <sighs> she's quiet. Maybe she's not on good terms with Yoshiko. Hmm. Done? Oh, it's just a walk. <laughs> There's a hole on top for adding water. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> Thanks. Huh. Water gun that looks like a real gun. There's a hole for adding water on the top. Or... Poison! Huh? Poison water gun! I know where it is. A glass? You mean for the stage? Yes. You're the one who prepared it for our play today. Oh, um... Did I do that? Huh? Did you forget? <laughs> we originally planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Uh, oh! Right! Two backups were on the prop shelf, but there's only one of them now. It's not looking so good, huh? Where could it have gone? Updated! Another glass! Could the glass in Yoshiko's locker be the missing one? Uh, speaking of, I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Thanks. Hmm. That okay. should be enough. Oh, I haven't. Oh. Uh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Sorry for blinding you. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on! Oh, right, there we go. God damn. Hold on. Okay. Now we can switch. We can switch characters oh, now. I think that's about all the information I can gather while disguised as Yoshiko. People treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Everyone around her seems to trust her. With that being said, Waruna and Kurane seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. Do they think she poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? Hmm. But I don't see her as someone who could kill. There was no info tying her to the murder either. I think I need to disguise myself as another club member and gather more information. Getting addicted to drag, are you? I don't think you're about to win any races. <laughs> um, teacher, do you have a moment? Oh, what's wrong? Are you feeling unwell? Yep. Excuse me for a minute. This student doesn't seem to be feeling well. <laughs> Is it sus, you uh, know? Keep going. doing this. Who do you want to disguise as next? I want to disguise as Kurane. Can you Kurane? I'm reviewing my mental high school girl album right now. Alright, dude. <laughs> Found her. She's the one everyone calls distinctive. Hmm. I don't know how society sees her, but she's right on the border of my strikes. Huh? Okay, I don't need to know that. I bet he'd be happy with just about anyone. He'd probably enjoy getting hit by a dead ball if the pitcher was a girl. Okay, let's start. Kurane's favorite tune. She's recently gotten a heavy metal choir and is looking forward to an upcoming death metal choir release. <gasps> is she going to sing with the metal nun? The metal fox nun? Do you remember her? They're probably in the same choir. 
hurry up with the investigation. I'm getting way more tired than I expected. Okay, okay, well. If I stop concentrating, my disguise will wear off. All right, I'll make it quick, so please hold down the fort for just a bit longer. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Thanks. Kroon <laughs> is often alone. I wonder if I can get any information from the others. Anyway, I'd better make sure I don't run into the real Kurune. Uh, Yoshiko is in the rest area, Waruna the makeup room. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know where everyone is. Okay. Let's go, 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 go. Before anyone starts to get a little too sus. This bow is so freaking cute. She's so cute. Okay. So first, will you talk to me? Um. Ah! Oh, sorry if I scared you. I want to talk about what happened. <laughs> Yikes. Yoshiko? <laughs> she won't even look at me. Do you talk to anybody? Maybe she's still in shock from the incident? Or does she treat Kurune like this all the time? Hey, Yoshiko. Can we talk? Absolutely not. I will not speak to you. I told you it'd be this way. Why is the supposedly super nice girl acting like this to the other the other two girls? Hmm? Huh? As I've said before, I refuse to even look at you. Huh? Please, go away. She really hates Kurine. Is there a reason why? I better leave for now. Well. Okay. What are you doing here? Go away! <laughs> Hold on. I just wanted to... Just by being here, you're a nuisance. Damn. Don't you get that? F fine. She really hates Corinne. She hates everyone. <laughs> These two really don't get along. It's draining just pretending to be Corinne. I wonder if she's not affected by all this. Hmm. Or maybe she's she's she snapped. <laughs> Storage. You're still not done. I'm almost done. Oh, hello, Kurone. Is something the matter? Huh, she's actually willing to talk. Maybe she's on good terms with Kurone. Finally, somebody! Oh, great timing. I was investigating what just happened. You mean to practice for a role? You did say you wish to play a detective <laughs> someday. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing, Kurone. You truly are a thespian. Right. So, there's something that's bothering me. What is it? I just handle the costumes, but is there something you want to know about them? Maybe you think the actors on stage could have hidden poison in their costumes. Mmm. No, sorry. That'd be impossible. Why do you say that? Because I reviewed both costumes in the wings right before the performance started. If they were carrying anything, I would have noticed then. But what huh. about after you checked? Like if they'd gone to the restroom or somewhere else? And I would check again. Besides, both of them were in the wings the whole time. Oh, really? Though they were performing the whole time, so I haven't checked their costumes since the play began. Well, if they were here the whole time, they couldn't go grab the poison. Right. If that's the case, it would have been difficult for Warana or Cotton to bring poison on stage. Costume staff testimony. The costumes were given a final check in the wings right before the performance. It would have been impossible to hide something under them. By the way, Corone, I still need to organize the costumes here. If you're free, could you help me out? It's hard to do it alone. Aww. Sorry. I'm a little busy right now, so I'll come back after I'm free. 
I guess you don't want to talk to me. I didn't say that! I'm sorry for bothering you while you're busy. I'll be waiting. Can we look at this gun again? Um, I'm still in the middle- Oh, s s s Yeah, this girl doesn't like us either. Do you want something? I'm busy right now. She's so cold. She refuses to speak to Kurene. Alrighty then. Well, that's all we can do with our disguises. We might as well just head back. Before Desuhiko collapses and blows our cover. Because that would suck. That would totally suck if it was, you know, wasn't a staged event. That was gonna happen anyway, regardless of how much time I took. Locker? We can't go in there, guys. We can't go to the locker! The real... The real one is in there! <laughs> There's more to be discovered? I can't go in there. Did I not talk to everybody? I might not have talked to everybody. <laughs> the real one is in there, guys! Come on! If you're gonna backseat... <laughs> Don't. <laughs> you? No. Yeah. Kurumi isn't the culprit. I have to find evidence to prove it. Are you sure about that? Are you like sure sure? Are you like 100% positively sure? No. You're involved with the case? Trembling. I'm not trembling. Can we go back in here? For now. Better not go in. We can't go in here. You! You guys, you good? I mean, we can... Oh. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I almost ran into Kurene. <laughs> Last time it was like, no, I'm not gonna open this door because she's in there. That's so funny. <laughs> but I need to check inside. I'll just wait for her to leave. She's just gonna leave? Can we play high somewhere? Is there gonna be a cutscene that happens? Is the makeup room again? Um. Can't go that way. Let's see. Was there anybody else here? I didn't think so. Nope. Okay, uh, is she gonna leave? Kurene should be here. I have to wait for her to leave before. How long... How long is this going to take? <laughs> uh, you're gonna hang out with, with this girl, right? Maybe you should go get her. Uh, I mean, wait. Kurene. Help organize the... Wait, if I can use her to my advantage... Yeah! <sighs> Taking advantage of a high school girl... <sighs> she's really hit rough No! <laughs> well, will you help me? I wanted to have a little chat with you, too. Um, come get me from the staff room later, that's... Mm -hmm, that's what I thought. Well, I'll help out later. So can you grab me from the staff room? Later? When? Count to 100 in your head. I'll be <laughs> done with what I need to do by then. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll start counting now. One, two... Uh-oh. I better leave right now. Let's go. I counted to 100, Karen A. <laughs> huh? What? What's going on? <laughs> I 
what? <laughs> All right, good. I'd better check the staff room while I can. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's take a break. Her locker. It's a club locker. Kurene's name tag is on it. Why is it so beat up? It doesn't seem to be locked. Miss Kurene gal sees the type of booby trap her locker. <laughs> This it looks like eye drops. There are so many of them, though. Hmm. Hmm. You know what you can do with an eye dropper? Hmm. I suck up the poison and go. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Some for red eyes and for dry eyes. Is this something Kurene usually uses? Doesn't seem like there's anything else of interest. Hmm. Aww. Interesting. Hey, do you have a minute? Oh. <laughs> you can hear me, can't you? She's ignoring me. I guess she's not gonna talk. You can really see who's friends with oh, who. Kearney, when did you get here? This reminds me. Thank you for what you did. Uh, for what again? You know, how you inspired me with the presentation on stage. Aww. Uh, uh, oh, for that one scene, right? You are such a good amnesiac. <laughs> you have a knack for playing along with no memory. Yeah, the part with the overlapping spotlights after the glasses get shuffled. Mm. It expresses how the two characters' fates are intertwined. It was all thanks to you that we decided to go with this presentation. Karine, why don't you take over stage direction for our next performance? Y yeah, that might be a good idea. Just to confirm, I was the one who suggested the lighting presentation on the glasses? Hmm. Yeah? What's wrong? You're acting kind of strange today. No, I'm not. Production manager's testimony. It was Kurene's idea to shine the spotlight on the wine glass after the shuffling scene. Aww. Two theater club members are whispering to each other. They haven't noticed me. <laughs> Maybe this Kurene disguise has made me less conspicuous. So, who do you think killed Cotton? Oh. It has to be Warana, right? Mm. Totally. It's gotta be her. She can never read the room, you know? Like, she doesn't see the other members as people. We're all just stepping stones to her. She thinks she's the main protagonist or something. She basically treats everyone like side characters. Huh. I know what you mean. She wouldn't think twice about killing people. I don't know about that. I'm talking about Warner behind her back. The theater club really is on edge all the time. But even if Warna was the culprit, how did she get cut in to drink the poison? Well, it's gotta be at that one part. The part in the script where Warna gets closer to the shelf? Oh, right after the blackout! It's the scene where she gets the plate, right? She could have secretly snuck in some real poison and added it to the glass or wine bottle! Okay, then she could have fucking died! Cause she wasn't the first one to pick a bottle! Or the, the glass! That's it! Waruna is totally the culprit! Oh my god, Senior these people are so dumb! The these shelf. people are so dumb! <laughs> Guess it is pretty suspicious. Could she have added the poison then? In the upside-down glass on the shelf? Rumors from the theater club. There is one scene in the story where Warna approached the shelf. Yes. Hmm? I guess there's not much else we can find in the staff room. We better leave before Kurine comes back. Okay. Should be enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. Maybe. That's all the information I can gather while disguised as Kurene. Kurene seems a bit eccentric, <laughs> but she doesn't draw a lot of attention to herself. I was able to get some information thanks to that. Kurene was focused on production this time. She was thinking about the lights presentation. 
the lights were managed properly during the plague, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like she had a chance to use any poison. I was able to gather more intel by disguising myself as those three, but I still don't have any definitive evidence that proves who the culprit is. Yep. I won't get much further just thinking about it, so I should go to Desuhiko for now. Oh, that's the teacher who's disguised as cafeteria. Much thoughts put towards the. Oh. <laughs> you can get a lot of information out of those. Um, excuse me. Where's the teacher who was here earlier? Oh, she wasn't feeling well and went to the administrative office. The same teacher keeps going back to the restroom, too. Maybe it's food poisoning. <laughs> yeah. I see. Thank you. The office? Why at a time like this? Well, let's go. Oh no! <laughs> D -D Desuhiko? What happened? Oh, it's you, Yuma. Sorry, I need a break. Uh, anyone can walk in here, dude. I started getting dizzy, so uh, I ran in here to get away from everyone. I try to retrieve my disguise tools, but I can't. I'm at my limit. I can't move. Uh-oh. You're that fatigued? Yeah. Now that I think about it... Oh, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Sorry for making you go through so much trouble. I don't worry about it, man. I got to lean Ugh. on my girl's shoulder on the way here, so... Oh, stop it! Thanking you. <sighs> His smile was so cute before he said that. <laughs> I got plenty of good sniffs in. Ew! Uh, I need to remind myself of this moment every time I think he's cute. The more he talks, the less likable he gets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how'd it go? Any trouble investigating? About that. I gathered some information, but I'm lacking something more definitive. Mm. Everyone has something suspicious about them, so I don't know who the culprit is yet. So it would make sense. For you to put the poison in the eyedropper and then drop it from up by the stage lights. I don't think you would risk poisoning yourself by poisoning the glass from the stage. Mmm. Need perfect aim? Well,. We'll just blame Leon again. <laughs> we'll, we'll blame Leon. Uh. Speaking of which, the peacekeepers mentioned a past incident that happened at this school. A past incident? You know, the one with Kurumi's best friend six months ago? Mm -hmm. The girl who fell from the school's roof and died. Mm -hmm. The peacekeepers want to pin Kurumi with a murder motive for that incident. They're gonna twist the truth into something that's convenient for them. That's what they usually do. At this rate, Kurumi will... He'll save her, won't you? Hero. The key situation? Perfect aim, true. Yeah, he had perfect aim too, didn't he? I guess everybody in this world has perfect aim. I'm no hero, but if they want to distort the truth, then as a detective, I can't let it slide. <laughs> and that's how you see it, and you're already a hero, Yuma. See, that fucking smile, <laughs> that fucking smile, <laughs> that fucking smile, that fucking smile, I need to just wipe it from my memory. <laughs> There's still time if you hurry. Go and seek the truth that hasn't reared its head yet. But how? The guy snooping around about the first incident is a chubby peacekeeper. Get information out of him and figure out what they're trying to suppress. Hmm. They won't tell me so easily. Hold on. There is one way it could be possible. Disguise as another peacekeeper? <laughs> as Martina? Oh, that's a good one. That's it. I can get that information if I'm disguised as Martina, the vice director of the peacekeepers. 
Looks like you now understand the power of disguises. Mm -hmm. Well then, let's get started. You gonna be good, dude? On second thought. Yeah. Sorry. I don't have any energy left to disguise you. Huh? I think I'll recover if I take a nap. <laughs> I do. There's no time to wait for Desuhiko. I need to find Kurumi immediately. Hmm. It'll be too late if I wait until the peacekeepers end their investigation. But I can't force Desuhiko to do a half-hearted disguise. It'd be way too dangerous with the peacekeepers. What am I supposed to do? Uh-oh. Uh Aren't you forgetting about a certain ability? <laughs> oh, that's right! But what? But don't yell out of nowhere, the peacekeepers will find us! Hey, Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand for a little while? <laughs> we're, we're, we're still bros. Don't get any, don't, like, you know. It's okay. Like, don't get any ideas, but, um, I'm gonna need you to hold my hand. <laughs> lend a hand? Yeah, I just need you to hold my hand for a bit. Yeah. Are you serious? Like, bros. But right now, you're disguised like a girl. <laughs> What if I start to have feelings? Stop it! <laughs> Put your drool away, boy! Now's not the time for jokes! Hurry, please! Jeez, what's going on? <laughs> and now he's gonna... Oh, what is this weird He's feeling? gonna be able to see Shinigami in the labyrinth. Is this... Love? Oh my god. <laughs> no! It's a long story, but it's the forte I gained in exchange for my memories. Just holding hands will allow me to use another person's forte. Are you serious? You actually have a forte? Surprise! Let me borrow your disguise tools. <laughs> How does it look? Damn! <laughs> wow! That's the perfect disguise. Did you really do this, Yuma? You never told me you had such an amazing power. I'm surprised there was a peacekeeper uniform in your bag. You're so well prepared, Desuhiko. Wait, but we're holding hands. How'd you put your arm through the sleeve? Don't break the fourth wall! <laughs> anyway, the disguise is over, so we can let go now. You said a chubby peacekeeper was investigating the past incident? How many of those are there? <laughs> are we gonna have to talk to all of them? I'm going to go talk to him. And with that perfect disguise, there's so much more you can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You stay here and rest. I'll resume the investigation. We have so much power. Oh, Karen's weakness. She dislikes the sounds and flashes of thunder? Huh. Ooh, this cape. This cape moves so fun. So fun. What other spots are suspicious? Okay, all right. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just having fun. Woo! Ah. <laughs> uh, where am I going? This way. I got distracted. Cosplay one. Well, we did hit a the goal to for me to cosplay Shinigami. Oh, flashes of thunder and lightning. Is quick to hide in her room with a mere hint of rumbling. Oh, oh, she's soft. Oh wait, they got Hamburg steak meals this week. Hmm. Hmm. All right, for the third time, let's investigate. Oh. I can hear the voices of students inside the studio. Maybe I can get some information. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the theater club uses the studio. Probably can't learn anything here. All right. Multi-purpose room. For now. Multi-purpose room might be connected to the case in some way. Let's check it out. Hmm. Hmm. Gone unused for a while. Have you know? Hmm. hmm. There could be trouble if someone gets too close to the investigation. Should try to keep her out of it. You. 
school. I'm inspecting the school as a precaution. Keep quiet and stay out of the way. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I might have gone a little overboard there. <laughs> uh, maybe just like the tiniest bit. Just like a little bit. <laughs> you're, you're a very intimidating lady right now. Okay, upstairs? Hey. Documents? I see. Outside the school building a while ago. Oh! Oh, we can go outside. Oh, let's, let's, let's investigate upstairs first. And then we'll go outside. Chemistry lab. Oh, yeah! The chemistry prep room. It's possible something was taken out of here. Pardon me, Miss Bartina, but do you still have business in the chemistry prep room? Still, seems like she's already checked this place out, so I'd better not arouse suspicion. <laughs> no, I was just checking the lock. We don't want students getting in and making a mess. Keep an eye out and ensure there are no suspicious students. Yes, of course. Hmm. For now. I have to get the whole story from someone who would know the details of the incident. The scientist. The scientist. You look like a scientist. How can you see anything, scientist? No wonder you let somebody take the poison. You couldn't see them. <laughs> can I like not go in here? For now. No. The pervert detectives roaming around. <laughs> Shut up. Maybe I can talk to that guy. Uh, I cannot talk to that guy. What else is up here? Another floor? What the hell? Aww. I can't go that way. Uh huh. Any more to investigate? No. You, speak! Hey. Do you have a moment? I'm looking for someone. Vice Director Martina! Who are you searching for? Oh! Uh, I don't know his name. I gotta phrase this carefully. The chubby one. You know, the one who investigated the incident here a little while back. Ah, him. He said he was heading to the gym. <laughs> um, I'm aware he's something of a handful, but could you at least remember his name? <laughs> All right, I'll think about it. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, we can't go upstairs. Let's go, let's go outside. The doorway is this way. He's still out here. There's somebody there. Hello. You getting games? You there. Do you have a moment? Vice Director Martina! Is it time for my punishment? Are you expecting one? Punishment? Anyway, were you the one investigating the Ico case half a year ago? Yes, that's correct. Is it time for my punishment? Huh? I need to confirm a few things. Can you tell me what you've discovered so far? Gladly! <laughs> <clears throat> Ico's body was discovered behind the school building in the flower bed after class. She was bleeding from an injury to her head. This is believed to be the cause of death. The body was not wearing shoes on either foot. The shoes were then discovered on the roof of the school building, set together neatly. This is why it was deemed a suicide via jumping off the roof. Hmm. Uh, uh, here is a photo from the scene. first discovered the body. Well, her boots were muddy. There was mud where she fell. Hmm. Let's see. It was a student named Cotton, another theater club member. Hmm. Huh? Cotton? She heard something fall and went to check the flower bed. There she discovered Iko on the ground. 
That is what she testified. Maybe she was traumatized from seeing a dead body. Aiko was considered the star of the theater club, but apparently she worried about her future goals. And by the way, this is the last photo of Aiko prior to her death. Yep, I thought so. So this is Aiko. Yeah, look she fell and she she got bonked, huh? Aiko's death six months ago. After school, Aiko's body was found in the flower bed behind the school. The peacekeepers deemed it a suicide via jumping off the roof. And we all know that's not the case. <laughs> Aiko's photo, the last photo of Aiko before her death. Updated, the two-shot photo of Yoshiko. Photo of Yoshiko and Aiko. It appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. I see. Thank you for the report. Continue your investigation. Yes, ma'am. Oh, but... No! What about my punishment? Um, uh, be gone. <laughs> yes! <laughs> What's with the punishment thing? Anyway, Get I on got your what knees. I came for. <laughs> okay, mommy. I no! Investigating. But where to go? <sighs> uh, uh, hey, wh what are you doing? Oh, where are you taking us? Cut it out! Why are you getting in the way of my investigation? <laughs> oh, wait. The chemistry lab. Oh? You want to go back Besides, in here? Besides, where would she even get poisoned from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry lab. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's right. The bottle of poison used in the murder was found there. <laughs> well, I'm here anyway. Might as well check it out. I thought we weren't gonna... I thought it was too suspicious. If now it's not? This. What is this? Oh. They're eyedroppers used in the lab. But these still look new. Mmm, a different kind of eyedropper. An eyedropper typically used in science experiments. It doesn't appear to have been used. Yeah, pipette. Very scientific. Very sciencey. This is the bottle of poison discovered by the peacekeepers that was used for the murder. They'd taken it out for the investigation. And did they put it back because they were the report mentioned the bottle's lid was unsealed. Mm -hmm. The bottle is too big to easily conceal. Mm -hmm. Taking this to the theater hall would attract attention. But not inside the pipette! <laughs> if that's the case, maybe its contents were poured into another container. According to the label on this bottle, this chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Oh, there's a more detailed description about it here. Once opened, oxidation cannot be stopped. Transferring to another sealed container will not prevent this process. Mm. That's a lot of fucking poison that's gonna go bad in 30 minutes after you open the bottle, god damn. Chemistry lab poison. The poison from the chemistry lab. The bottle's lid was unsealed. Wait, there's a paintbrush near the chemical shelf. The tip of the brush is wet. What is this? Brushing the poison on the edge of the glass. Perhaps? Paintbrush found next to the chemical shelf in the chemistry lab. I'll take this. <gasps> this one's for Halara. You guys want to go see Halara again? Hmm. It's our second one. <laughs> you guys are probably missing her, huh? It's been a whole chapter. Halara, come back. Let's spend some time together. Halara. She attacks with a one shen coin. We're back at the cafe. You got some nerve stopping me. Oh. There'd better be a proper reason for this. I just wanted to take you out on a date. <laughs> um, it's about something you mentioned. 
You developed post-cognition just three days after joining the World Detective Organization. Damn, really? Yes, but I still had the gift of psychometry before I joined the WDO. What made you want to ask about it? I can't help thinking about it. Do I really lack a forte? You have that coalescence ability. Uh, that's not exactly my ability. <laughs> it's different, sorta. Anyway, I refuse to believe I don't have a real forte. So you want to find out if you do? Yes, that's right. I figured you'd be the most knowledgeable about fortes here. That's gonna come with a price. If I have any sort of ability, you may be able to help me remember it. That's no good. <laughs> there you go again, depending on others. She's getting so jealous. Very well. That'll be... Yep. 100,000 Shien. Yep. 100,000? I figured Halara wouldn't do it for free. But it's worth it if it helps me remember my abilities. Is it? 100,000? All right. I'm a bit short at the moment, but I'll pay you back one day. <laughs> Good. It's a deal. I will provide you useful information as long as time permits. Now, let's start with the prerequisites. Master detective abilities are often linked with original talents and dispositions. That is typically the case. Linked with original talents? Like a super high school level talent? Like, like an ultimate talent? Like one of those? <laughs> Take, for example, a master detective who can hear the thoughts of others. <gasps> Stop bringing her up! Stop, my precious Poochie! Stop! <laughs> Prior to awakening that ability, they excelled at imagining what other people were actually feeling. A master detective who can create electricity may have had a tendency to emit static charges before that. Hmm. Oftentimes, you can catch glimpses of their power before their forte is realized. Interesting. The prerequisite for my postcognition was psychometry. I was practically born with it. Lara, you already started with such an amazing ability. But how did you manage to get it in the first place? It's hard to explain. Hmm. Superior detectives like myself cannot be measured by a commoner's logic. Oh, sorry. I see. <laughs> anyway, this is about your ability. Once we figure out your strengths and talents, we could at least predict what your power may be. Hmm. That is, if you have one to begin with. Do I have any strengths or talents? My strengths? Um... It has to be what you know best. Think about it. Hmm. Hmm. My I don't know anything about myself. Are... <laughs> my will. If I had to pick something, I'd say the will to never give up. Mm -hmm. At least I think so. <laughs> you actually said it out loud yourself. Well, I'm not good at cooking right now because I don't remember how to cook, and I'm not physically strong because I'm small, and I've got little noodle arms. I see. The fact that you haven't given up on your search for an ability is proof enough of that. Oh. A tenacious heart that never gives up. An ability stemming from that. Hmm. Perhaps it could have something to do with immortality. No, that's Vivian's. Immortality? That's nothing but my theory, though. Even death cannot defeat you. Wouldn't you say that embodies the concept of tenacity well? Right, didn't Vivia, like, hint that he was immortal? <laughs> That's true, but there's no way to His forte is plot armor? <laughs> Incorrect. You just need to try dying once. Oh. Huh? But, um. Don't look at me like that. I was joking. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> well, that should do it. Time's up. Oh, I'll excuse myself here. Don't forget, you owe me 100,000 Shien. Uh-huh. Oh, wait! Alara's Bye. gone. <laughs> I'm beginning to worry more about my debt than if I can remember my ability. <laughs> Master, you and Alara seem to have grown even closer. Aww. I hope it's worth the money. Probably. It'll, it'll probably be worth the money. 
We've got what, three more? Three more uh, memories with her? How much more money is that gonna cost me? <laughs> Worth it for the lore, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the play? Is the play that they... Uh, oh, about Aiko? Cheerful, full of energy, shed friends. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's continue searching. Vice Director, was there something insufficient about our investigation? Had you told me, I would have verified myself. Thank you for your diligence. Tell me, do you have the results from testing for poison? Yes, as I've reported to you already. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Interesting. Only the victims? What about the bottle or the other glass? None. No traces have been found on those. And as you've instructed, this information is currently being kept from the official report. Why? Why? Why would you arrest somebody innocent when you knew that wasn't the information all along? I see. Good work. The poison was only on Cotton's glass? How is that possible? Because it was brushed on just one glass. Wine glasses. Poison was detected in the glass held by the victim, but the other glass had no such traces. No poison was detected in or on the wine bottle. There's probably not much else that can be checked in the chemistry lab, but it sure is convenient being disguised as Martina. Mm -hmm. The peacekeepers keep telling me everything. I should have taken this disguise from the start. <laughs> Maybe I should keep investigating in this form. Hmm. What else should I look at? <laughs> uh, again? Martina, no, Martina isn't the culprit. This is just a very corrupt uh, society with a corrupt government and police force. check everything. There were lockers <gasps> I haven't searched That's yet. That's right. Now that I'm disguised as Martina, I could look through everything. We can check Cotton's locker. <laughs> it's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on Anybody it. gonna stop me? I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? Y yes. <laughs> Oh. Huh? There's something on Another the Another script? It's the script for the play. Cotton's name is written on the cover. There are tons of handwritten notes. A lot of effort was clearly put into this. I thought hers was on the... Wait. Hmm? There's something written in red at the Duel of Poisoned Cup scene. Take the glass the spotlight hits first. So then, whoever was controlling the lights must have known which one, <laughs> which one was tainted. Cotton must have written this. The handwriting is the same as the rest. Oh. What? Interesting. Don't look at me like that. Yeah. Script notes. A script with a written note that says, Take the glass, the spotlight hits first. She definitely looked away just now. Mm hmm. That's kinda sus. Kinda sus. What do you have to say about that? Do you have a moment? Are you the one who shoved Cotton's script into her locker? 
What are you talking about? I have an eyewitness account of you taking Karen's script. <gasps> are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll be sorry later on. <laughs> Don't tell me you're also hiding the chemical used in the murder. Uh, I'm not, I swear. She's definitely hiding something. Mm. But I don't think I can get anything out of her. You should pat her down and search her. Huh? A detective must suspect everything. Hmm. You get to fondle a high school girl. Oh you my god! You are no! To... Stop it! Hey, Nasty. you. Check Corone's body to see if she's hiding something. Me? Wouldn't it be better for the peacekeepers to do their own investigation? But that would, uh, cause some problems. Just do as I say. Uh, I'm on it. Oh, there's something in her pocket! <gasps> That's... A notebook. Is this a scrapbook? There are magazine and newspaper clippings in it. And all the articles are... Murders? Related to Aiko? What? On another page, there's a small clipping of an article about Aiko's suicide. Was she collecting everything there is about Aiko? Wait, is that... Ain't no way they all have the same fucking photo and they all cut each other out of it. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Hey, where's she going? No, it's fine. Huh? R really? So was that, was that Cotton on the other side? A scrapbook owned by Kurene. There are magazine and newspaper clippings pasted in it. No. It's hard to tell. They're both blonde, but I don't see wild pigtails. Talk to everybody. Hey. Could I have a word? I'd like you to tell me what you saw during the play. Sure. All I know is this. Mm. Nothing I haven't already heard. Okay. Mm, what about you? You. Do you have a moment? I'd like you to tell me what you know about the incident. Probably all the same stuff. were whispering. Hey, you're still hey. whispering. <laughs> uh, oh, not anything? Hmm. No. Alright, well. Time for a little break. Okay, have fun. It's a club locker. I have to open this for the investigation. Huh? Right. This diary has a lock on it. Mm -hmm. I feel bad about reading someone's diary, but I need as many clues as I can get my hands on. Can we open it? You there. Can you call over the student named Waruna? Ooh, we have authority now. Huh? Waruna? Sure. Hmm. What do you want with me? Yeah, it might be her in the picture. Without the, without the pigtails. Can you open this lock? That's my diary! How did you get that? That has nothing to do with what happened! Hmm. Um, I'll be the judge of that. It pains me to do this, but it might lead to a clue. I have no choice. Isn't this what a detective would do? There's no need for emotions to solve a case, right? Hmm. <laughs> I understand. 
here's the key. I'll give it back right away. Don't worry. I knew it! I knew cool. it! Oh, her pigtails are just like lower. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Hmm. Cotton isn't in here. That's interesting. <laughs> I see. Here, you can have it back. Two shot photo with Warna. Photo of Warna and Aiko. Appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. All right, that's enough investigating in this form. I should revert to my normal self. It'll get increasingly harder to investigate like this. Mm -hmm. Forcibly exposing secrets isn't an investigation. It's just coercion. <sighs> You're such a naive softy. All right, let's go back to Desuhiko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow. Another locker? Uh, we've, we've been, like, we, we already investigated all the other lockers. We've seen what's inside of them all. We've collected the evidence. This door. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Let's try to. Oh yeah, that's the Tamagotchi. Another elegant and highly intelligent beauty. What a surprise. Although it appears you were unable to copy what is in my head. Put your hands up! You must be the suspicious person wandering around the crime scene. I received word of you lurking about, and here we are. Um... Who are you? I can explain. <laughs> What do I do? At this rate, both of us will be captured. Looks like you gotta surrender. And that's what you get for getting carried away. <laughs> Although, if you apologize to me sincerely, I just might... Help! Somebody! <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you screaming for? W what are you... <laughs> the imposter is right here. She's carrying a weapon. <laughs> Hold on! That's the imposter! Oh no! Huh? What? This teacher and I will evacuate the premises. Eliminate that threat at once! <laughs> He's good! Hey, now what do we do? I didn't think that far ahead. Let's, uh, go this way. Uh-oh, is it gonna be- Oh. I thought her lover was going to appear. <laughs> That's enough. As I suspected, you can't copy what's in my head after all. Now reveal your true identity, otherwise you will be shot. Um <gasps> Oh no. Unless there are two of the same peacekeeper. Oh, what are we doing? What is happening? Yuma? Yoshiko, Waruna, Kurane. This is where we're going to the labyrinth and we're going to freeze so time. Close. I almost figured out who the true culprit is. Now hurry it up. I won't give you a countdown. Because all the people are here. All the culprits. Wait, wait. I'll do as you say. <gasps> They're holding hands. Uh 
Uh oh. Oh! Oh damn! They actually did it! Uh, a man? <laughs> you lot. I see. Detectives from the Nocturnal Detective Agency. <laughs> Not a man! In that case, you can both be disposed of right here and now. Wh what? Shinigami? Damn. I've got no choice. What? What are you doing? Get out of here, Yuma! You're gonna get shot! Have you gone mad? Do you realize what happened now? Oh, shit. You will regret this in hell. Shinigami! Shinigami! Shinigami, please help me! Oh, I have to! <laughs> Yay! Are you ready, chat? Here she comes! It's the babe! <laughs> She's perfect. She's so perfect. Ah! <laughs> huh? And of course, he can see her because we held hands with him. We used our coalescence, and now he's gonna be like, "Who is she?" <laughs> he's probably gonna die from blood loss. <laughs> he's gonna be drooling all over her. I can see it already. Did it without thinking. He didn't even get on his knees or anything. <laughs> um. Well. Thanks, Shinigami. You saved me. Don't mention it. I'm compelled to help when people need me. Nah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we got an unwanted straggler in here. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> More yeah, there what he you goes. What are your hobbies? <laughs> what do you think of me? Oh, would you look at that? We have a perfect place but it'll do something <laughs> it'll do something all right so it's been four and a half hours playing this we can probably finish this chapter tonight <laughs> A bit more. <laughs> mm, nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were hanging out with Fillion for, for a couple hours, and then we started playing. <gasps> but wait. I didn't do the the special missions. I didn't think we'd be at the school this long. I thought we'd be back in the city eventually. I didn't do the requests. <sighs> That's okay. Ow. What? What's going on? Where are we? As long as I find the blue balls. 
We can do them later? No, we can't. Once the chapter is over, they don't come back. No way. Why would I be in hell? Even when it comes to women, I always stop just shy of criminal activity. Calm down, Desahiko. This place is a mystery labyrinth. Huh? A mystery what? <laughs> oh, let me explain for a bit. I'll let the pretty lady explain. <laughs> Just a bit. We'll be here all night. <laughs> and that's everything. Were you listening, Desuhiko? <sighs> Look at his fucking face. Hmm? Yeah, I was just doing some appraising. Uh huh. <laughs> appraising? Yuma, this babe is totally top tier. <laughs> Why'd you need a hottie like her? There's never a shortage Ew. of girls when you're around. You Stop it! Man ever. <laughs> Master, this munchkin is an eyesore. You mind if I boom kill him now? Uh, I, I think I think we're gonna need him. No, you can't, Master. Is that how it is between you two? Stop! Making me jealous. Stop it! <laughs> just explained everything to you, but you weren't paying attention. <laughs> Let's hurry up and do, you know, <gasps> the thing. Gotta oh, go he's bed. gonna cream his Have pants after seeing this. The chapter. <laughs> what does that mean? Is it something not family friendly? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him back there. <laughs> Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? <laughs> he's such a fucking creep. Yes, I am. Here she goes. God damn. <laughs> Where's this Hiko? I want to see him. not possible. Shinigami's powers can only be used by whoever made a pact with her. A pact? <laughs> this goes oh, no. <laughs> oh no. I explained that earlier too. Anyway, next up is materializing the solution key. Oh no, he's gonna hate this. Actually, he might be into now it. No, that's a deep throat. <laughs> God damn, you're right. <laughs> He enjoyed that. <laughs> really? All right, I've made up my mind. I have no idea what this mystery labyrinth thing is. But before we get out of here, I'll get you to fall in love with me. Forget uh. ripped up. This man is a fall down. <laughs> <laughs> if you decapitate yourself, then I would consider it. Mm, true. It's a necessity that here. That can be easily arranged. Oh, he's got fire in his eyes now. Damn. It can't. Now, let's set off to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Yeah! Our target is the culprit who preys on the truth. Right. This is the beginning <laughs> of our battle for love. Oh, no. Jeez. <laughs> I hope this works out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. He's going to be fun to work with, isn't he? So. This is the mystery labyrinth. Thank God he's gonna forget. True! Oh, talk about creepy. Hey, why don't we just head back and grab something sweet? I prefer corpses and mysteries over sweets. 
<laughs> oh, can you I see that? You're just a horny little boy. Yeah, that's that's ego. <laughs> wait, wait! Oh, dog, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> Unless it's chalky ice cream. By the way, Ooh, yes. There's something I gotta ask. Chalky ice cream. I don't remember how I got here. <laughs> Is it because I'm in love? Yeah, we'll just say that. It's not love, oh. it's the mystery labyrinth. Okay. <laughs> when an outsider enters the mystery labyrinth, their memories are sealed away. He's not listening to you. This isn't gonna mess up my brain, is it? Am I gonna be alright? What difference does it make? Your brain is already messed up. <laughs> She's so real. Anyway, are we at the exit yet? We just got here. Oh, if only there was a brave, strong boy around. I would swap my master for him in a heartbeat. <laughs> huh? You can do that? <laughs> All right! <laughs> now I'm getting pumped up! This guy. Oh, hey, goes. Joel! I wonder if he'll be okay. Who cares? He's just gonna slow us down anyway. We're solving a mystery. <laughs> That floating character is kind of cool. Oh, Shinigami? He's back. The babe? With the big boobies? And the horns? And the crown like the one I'm wearing? Yeah, you like her? Is this Dongan? No, it's made by the same people though. This is Rain Code. It's, it's just like Danganronpa. With like the, the murder and the investigation and everything. But... You like her? Y yeah, you like her? I'm cosplaying? Actually, we we hit a we hit a donation goal for me to actually cosplay her. <laughs> the uh the 4K HD cosplay. <laughs> oh, we've got trouble, Yuma. There's something up ahead. You, yeah, you, 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 you like the way it looks? Look like a <laughs> No, it's a witch. A witch is about to execute. Spike Chunsoft style game. It is a Spike Chunsoft game. Yeah. No more VTubers cosplaying with their models. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I might have uh, something else coming up for that. <laughs> uh, execute? Yeah, you guys hit the goal before I started chapter one. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Mysterious. Let's take a look. You're going to ward it. Don't so yeah, for those wait? of you uh, seriously new here, I'm gonna be cosplaying her. Don't have a timeline for it yet. Nothing set in stone. The only thing that is confirmed is that I will be doing it. The next goal, we'll have a next goal when I figure out the current goal. <laughs> Barrel bikini, I'm not cosplaying. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Over there. There, see? Damn, that witch is scary! Mm hmm That's a mystery phantom. Their mysteries given form that try to block us from reaching the truth. They appear in the form of someone interfering with the investigation. Now that you mention it, that witch kind of looks like the peacekeeper Martina. Uh-huh. She's the one hiding the truth? She's even got the glowing eyes like me! Hmm. Look, we're kind of twinning. What is she doing over there? I shall now commence the execution. Um, I don't think so. All criminals must be purified by the holy fire of darkness. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks. Kurumi? <laughs> Yeah, that execution! The execution! <laughs> why, why is she don't got any clothes on? <laughs> why is she just like wrapped up? <laughs> Fan service. <Nice>. Shut up! <laughs> There's two kinds of people! There's two kinds of people! <laughs> so she's pinning the crime on the flat chested Ago, then killing her to cover up the truth. She doesn't look that flat from this angle, I mean. <laughs> We have to save her. Where's the fire truck? <laughs> the fire truck. <laughs> Relax. This is 
is the mystery labyrinth, remember? That's not actually her. But still, I can't leave her like this! You dare intervene in this execution? Uh-huh. Anyone who defies the peacekeepers will suffer the same fate! I'm gonna be the fire truck that swoops in and kills her anyway. <laughs> Since when is that flat chested? I mean, if you're ca comparing to uh, Shinigami, you know. <laughs> Reasoning death match. Yeah. Don't let any shady statements slip. Mystery out. phantoms sometimes hide the truth within a statement. Use the repel in these situations to get to the center of it all. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Can I? There we go. You're in the way. Alright, hold on. Can I? Oh, I don't You're have any. Detective. How foolish. Get we don't have any keys yet. You dare defy me? Yes. It's clear who the culprit is. No, it's not. My flame doesn't hold up. <laughs> That's impossible! You don't have any evidence! And the evidence you do have, you're not even fucking using! <laughs> you're a fool to defy peacekeepers. Very well. Allow me to educate you. There we go. Okay, so wine bottle. No poison was detected in or on the wine bottle. Wine glasses, they were brought from storage, place upside down. Glasses were spotless when placed. Poison was detected in the glass held by the victim, but the other glass had no such traces. Chemistry lab poison. Poison from the chemistry lab bottle says lid was unsealed. Uh, or, or the bottle's lid was unsealed. The bottle's description says this chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle's unsealed. I think this is going to be a first argument. Truth is <clears> already <throat> apparent. The culprit must be Kurumi. Mm, no. Prior to the performance. She switched the wine with the juice. No. No! Did that hit me? For now. Oh wait, that was true. Uh. Wait, that was true. I my head my head the thought that said poison. Already apparent. The culprit must be Karoo. Yes, she switched the wine with the juice. Prior to the performance. Or the, yeah, the wine with the juice. She switched the wine with the juice. Yes, she did do that. There wasn't poison in it. At that point, she mixed in the poison to commit the crime. No! 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 <laughs> if only Kurumi could have done it. No! Ah! <laughs> that is not it's true. Simple trick. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. <laughs> fast forward. No, I want to fast forward. I don't need. I don't need your help, does he go? Huh? No. The truth is already apparent. I think that's the right the key. Culprit must be Karumi. I think so. Prior to the performance, she switched the wine with the juice. Yes. At that point, she mixed in the poison to commit the crime. No! What? Hmm? In that case... Okay. The truth is already the apparent. And then is this the one? culprit must be Kurumi. I can I can Prior throw so many bones. arguments she switched the wine with the juice. at you right now. <laughs> and they would all be true. At that moment, she mixed in the poison to commit the crime. No. Flash through this mystery. <laughs> I mean, the clue that says the wine bottle had no traces of poison in or on it could also have been used there. I'm just saying. But Karumi switched out the wine before the performance began, meaning more than 30 minutes had passed. Yeah. So even if Karumi had mixed in the poison, by the time the incident occurred, it would have been completely neutralized, which means Karumi isn't the culprit. No, you're right! <laughs> I'm ready. G 
Give me the next fight. Wow! You defeated the monster! Not yet. Alrighty! I'll save Kurumi. Leave it to me! What? Hey, wait! <laughs> I thought you said she was my girl! It's alright now. Hey, aren't you getting kind of cold? I'll warm you right up. Is it because she's half naked? <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's that's not funny. It's the victim, Cotton. I am the culprit who killed me. I don't know about that. The truth is, this was a suicide. I put in the poison myself. I killed myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry too. <laughs> no. No, it wasn't a suicide. I won't let her take the blame just to end this investigation. Ooh, damn. You see her open her eyes? Reasoning that next. Okay, let's see. No external injuries. Yeah, the poison wasn't filled. More tense than usual prior to the performance. Hmm. 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 Okay. No. I wanted to die on stage. Please stop. <laughs> in the no, you didn't. This is the truth. No, the vial used on stage was just another prop. It was, it was empty. empty. There was no poison in it. As a matter of fact, the vial was dry. There definitely weren't any signs of it being used. Shinigami's so beautiful. Oh, I... Damn. <laughs> I could observe her all day. So it's impossible to commit suicide using that vial. <laughs> They'll both be back. Mm-hmm. They always come back. Oh, did you get it? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> you really dodged the bullet there. I was about to make my move. You shouldn't defer to women in the mystery <laughs> labyrinth. This isn't the real world. Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't approach women. Period. <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! You know, people warn me about ladies. This mystery labyrinth is terrifying. Well, at least Shinigami's here. She's not so terrifying. Hang on. Why was it impossible to have been a suicide? Even if the vial wasn't used, she still could have drank the poison herself. But the only thing Cotton drank from on stage was the shuffled glass. Even if Cotton added in the poison, there's no guarantee she'd be the one to drink it herself. Exactly. It's not how someone who wanted to die would go about it. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't remember the play, so I didn't know it got shuffled. I think floating around is easier than just walking. Yes. <laughs> Hang on. Wouldn't the same be true for the culprit? If the glasses on stage were switched around, mm -hmm. there's no guarantee the victim will take the poison one, right? Exactly. That's why she had the stage notes. Oh, uh... Maybe the killer wasn't aiming at Cotton specifically, but just wanted either actress to die. Hmm, I can't completely rule that out. She wrote in the stage notes, so she knew which glass to pick. 
and what's her name stole her stage notes saw that she had wrote that the one controlling the lights the one controlling the lights yeah but yoshiko had the glass yeah what the fuck yoshiko had the glass and who was the other girl the one with the bow the one with the ponytail and the bow she had the the stage directions Kurane, yeah, 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 yeah. Kurane had the, the stage directions with the lights and the timing, so she knew which glass you would pick. Hmm. Hmm. That's gotta be it. I'm a genius, even without my memories. What do you think, Shinigami? You, uh, wanna dump your master for me? <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure. Can you escort me all the way through this The glass mystery had lover? no poison in it? One of them did. One of them had poison brushed on the brushed on one of the glasses. Although then in that case. Yeah. That really points the finger even harder, huh? Yeah, of course. I'll grab a taxi or whatever to take you. Jeez. <laughs> What the? Turn on the lights! And she was sneaking around. She was, she snuck out during during the play. Came back like halfway into the play. There still would have been time for the poison to be reactive. She had the spare glass, so she stole the glass, switched it out with the poison glass, planted it when she was sneaking around because she was on the side of the stage. Hmm. Yeah, and the lights, the lights going out was a time, was, it was like a planned thing. It was the five seconds. Huh? What is this place? It looks like the school. Hmm. And there are... Three doors? I guess so. Looks like it's up to me. There it is again. <laughs> yeah. <Huh>? Boom! <laughs> Everflow, thank you for the 10 gifts! Though. Thank you! Thank you! How? 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 Whoa. This isn't okay at all. This could kill me. <laughs> Never mind that. Huh? Whoa. Hmm. It seems the roots are separated based on the how done it aspect of the case. Hmm, how done it? What do you mean, how done it? What? You're a master detective and you don't know? <laughs> don't tell me you're a how done it virgin. Oh. Ew, gross. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, I know what this is. <laughs> I was just testing you, since he's a trainee. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Yuma, did you figure it out? That face, y'all. Desuiko's faces are fucking vile. They're so disgusting, Joel. <laughs> I swear. It's about how the crime was done, right? Yep. Once we solve all three hows for the crime, uh -huh. the final route, the conclusion of the who done it, should appear. Okay. And who done it is about the culprit's identity. If we figure out how the poison was applied, it'll identify the culprit. Mm-hmm. Nice. You sure know your stuff. So, which way should we go? We'll probably have to explore all of them. So I'll let you pick the order, Master. I okay. suggest we start with whatever route has the easiest answers, so we can solve it quickly. Okay. Easiest. How was the poison mixed into the glass? Uh, the brush? How was the poison brought to the theater hall? It was snuck in by the, by the sneaky little girl. How was the poison glass chosen? The lights. I mean, I guess, I guess this one is the most obvious. You wanna go with how was the poison glass chosen? Yeah. Jeez. 
We're back at the school. Everywhere we go is mega creepy. Is there somewhere we can take a break? Rest wherever we just... you want. In fact, you can rest for all of eternity. Oh. Anyway, how did the culprit get the victim to choose the glass with poison in it? The lights. The glass is worm mixed around on stage, after all. The lights. Um, would you mind telling me the sequence of events that happened when the glasses were shuffled? It's no fair otherwise. I don't know about being fair, but here's exactly what happened. The duel of poisoned cup scene began around 45 minutes into the performance. Mm -hmm. At the start, the victim, Karen, brought the glasses and bottle from the shelf that's on the set. Mm -hmm. Karen then took out the poison vial from her pocket and poured it into one of the glasses. But the vial was just a prop. It didn't have any real poison in it. After that, the glasses were shuffled. So it might be a case of more than one person. It's not like we're trying to find the lost ark or something. Cause how would Yeah, what's her face? What's her face wasn't in wasn't up by the lights. It, it's alright. We can keep going by solving mysteries. Right. Now concentrate. Mm hmm Uh, was it, who shuffled the glasses during the duel? Uh, both of- both of them! Both of- both of them! Oh, duh! It. Oh my god, both of them was a fucking option. <laughs> both of them was an option and I didn't even fucking read it! <laughs> I was like, wait, why are they separate? <laughs> yeah. Two people on stage who took turns shuffling the glasses were Luna and Cotton. Yeah. Who chose a glass first? Cotton. This must be it. The first person to choose a glass was Cotton. Mm hmm. Which glass had the poison? The glass. Got it. Must be it. Warna placed her mouth on a glass, but she didn't die. Which means only the glass Cotton chose contains poison. Mm hmm. Th this way. <sighs> I thought I was done for. Now you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Quit being lazy and get a move on. <laughs> the music is so good. Are you sure that only the glass Cotton took had poison in it? Isn't it possible both of them were poisoned? Mm, I don't know. Warna drank from the other glass and didn't die. That has to mean only Cotton's glass had the poison. Then how did the culprit get Cotton to pick the glass with the poison? The lights. Well, maybe the culprit wasn't after Cotton specifically. They didn't care who wound up drinking the poison. So that's what I was thinking. I'm not sure about that. I think Cotton absolutely was the target. Hmm. A dead end. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> oh. You. Whoa, here it comes. <laughs> Hey, Aww. this one's a cutie. Stop it! She's totally my type. Ew! <laughs> my heart. Ugh. I am in love. Ugh, keep this man away from any woman. <laughs> Let me tell the truth. The culprit is Waruna. Nah, that's false. Seriously? Thanks for telling us. <laughs> Serious? That was a lie? Oh, he's a master detective. It's no lie. Waruna knew which glass was poisoned. Either the glass with the poison was filled just a bit higher up, or she marked the right glass beforehand. Knowing that, Waruna prompted Cotton to select the glass which contained poison. That's impossible! 
Warna let Cotton pick the first glass. So she would end up with whatever was left over. So many people are looking over this fact. Prompted her? How? Only the two of them were on stage. She could guide Cotton through the scene. No. Before or after each line of dialogue, she could have easily signaled her with gestures or glances. No. Yeah, that checks out. I don't think she's saying anything super questionable. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yes. Could this be? <sighs> Did Wara know what the glass had? What? Which it. glass had the we poison? Have to pick the right one. I'm counting on you, Yuma. Right. No. What? Pick that glass! I told you Arana is the culprit! No! Why? Don't you believe me? Don't cry! Why doesn't anyone Stop. believe me? Please, you're too cute, so, so don't cry. <laughs> oh, wait, don't cry. I'm completely helpless against the woman's tears. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Karin filled the glasses. Warna wouldn't have been able to tell which one had poison just by the amount of liquid. Mm -hmm. Well, how about marking the glass itself? No. The prop master testified that there wasn't a single mark on either glass. Mm -hmm. No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. Uh, no, really? Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you investigated that much. Are you sure you're a rookie, Yuma? Oh my god. It was all thanks to your forte. So it's thanks to me. I knew it. I didn't lie. <laughs> no one believes me. You don't have any evidence. Where's the evidence? Everyone else is lying. Where's your evidence? <laughs> You have no evidence! <laughs> the mystery labyrinth is a reflection of the real world, right? Uh, then maybe what she's crying about is... A reflection of the real world. Mm. Then she must have grown up surrounded by a bunch of scumbags. Tell <laughs> you? That's it. I'll warm her no. up with my charisma once we're back in the real That's world. That's the last thing she needs. That is exactly what a scumbag would say. <laughs> Her. Uh, nothing else in here. Let's anyway, the keep two going. glasses got shuffled, right? So the odds were 50 50. Uh huh. Maybe she just relied on luck. Nope. If she hit her target, perfect. If not, who cares? See, that's what you might assume. But in fact, there were stage it's directions. It's impossible to get the victim to pick a specific glass after shuffling. There them. were stage directions. Why did the culprit even do this? It's way too much trouble to pull off a murder in the middle of a performance. Tell that to uh, Genshin. That's <laughs> it. Maybe there's a reason why it had to be done during the play. Huh? What do you mean? The culprit had to make the victim choose the poison glass on stage for some reason. If that's the case, there could be a trick involving the stage itself. Like a trap door? <laughs> I mean, five seconds isn't a whole lot of time. How did the culprit make Cotton choose the poison glass? So, now we gotta prove how the poison glass was picked. You got this, Yuma? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Bot selection. It's just. You mean somebody on stage gave the. No. No. The two of them no, on stage. Well, oh that... my god. It's literally. Can I. Okay, I can't move the camera angle. Can I. It's literally the fucking light! 
The light! It's the fucking light! It means no. The light! Oh, that mean? The light? The oh my god. Here. This is it! The light! That's right, the spotlight. The culprit used the spotlight to get caught in to select the poisoned glass. Mm -hmm. The spotlight? The hell? The culprit told Cotton to take whichever glass the spotlight hit first. As a matter of fact, Cotton's script had a note written in her own handwriting. Mm -hmm. It said, take the glass the spotlight hits first. No way! Yes, Lee! The table was directly under the catwalk with the spotlight. Mm. So from here, you could see how the shuffling was done. If you know that much, then it's pretty much solved. Hmm. But I'm still... Hmm. I've got like two. Two prime suspects. during the performance indicated the poison glass to Cotton. Mm-hmm. Kurane, she was in charge of the lights on the catwalk. But it's usually never the first. I knew it was you. Okay, usually I think the 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 mystery phantom outfits are really ugly, but these are actually kind of cute. Like the little wings and, and like the the little spikes and everything, the little stitching on their legs. It was kind of cute, but it's usually never the first guess. It's usually never the first option. Whoa! What's going on? I always thought you were gloomy and creepy, but I didn't think you'd actually murder someone. On top of that, you used the sacred props from our play. I knew you'd murder someone one of these days. Why don't you take responsibility and just die? Everything would be better if you just disappeared. Okay, whoa. Calm down there. I didn't do it. I'm not the culprit. It's not supposed to be like I don't this. think so either. Why can't everyone be nice to me? They used to all be friends. Damn, we've got more than one that we're fighting. Okay. Alright. Costume staff testimony. Costumes were given a final check. Nothing was hidden. Production manager. It was Kurane's idea to shine the spotlight on the wine glass. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty damning evidence. There was nothing unusual about Kurane during the performance. She went to the catwalk before the play and stayed there for the duration. Not the culprit! I think she planted the poison. She just did the lighting stuff. Yep. 
Yeah, she stayed there for the whole time. I'm not the culprit. You're the worst, Karine. You used the sacred stage for murder. You slipped the poison into the glass, didn't you? She couldn't have. This is the truth. Impossible. Unless she's got really good aim. The poison is neutralized after 30 minutes. But the murder occurred 45 minutes into the play. Mm -hmm. In other words, the poison had to have been poured into the glass after the play began. But Kurine was up in the catwalk even before the play started. She was up there the whole time, too. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, it's impossible for Kurine to have poured the poison. Everyone's gone. Wait, what's going on? Kurine isn't the culprit? No. Didn't you say Kurine used the spotlight to get Karen to pick the poison glass? Yeah. Yes, but she couldn't have poured the poison into the glass herself. Which means she can't be the culprit. If anyone got a hold of her notes, anybody would have known that she would pick that glass. So that means the culprit is... <laughs> I don't get it at all! I give up! <laughs> well, the path keeps going, so let's think about it as we go. Okay. Pretty. That sword sure is sharp, Yuma. Can you cut through anything with it? Yep. The solution blade is effective on anything inside the mystery labyrinth. Anger master, and I'll cut you in half. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Yuma. You and I are pals, aren't we? My man! <laughs> mm. I'd never do anything like that. I don't know about that. Yeah, I know that. I, I just had a gut reaction to what she said. Uh -huh. Uh, we could have threatened him into becoming Master's loyal slave. Where's the door? Where's the door? What's going on here? It's a dead end. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's a hidden question here. This really is a true dead end. A true dead end? It means you can't reach the truth just by answering how was the poison glass chosen? Mm-hmm. Then it was all a waste of time? Well, they should have at least left us a <laughs> treasure chest or something. <laughs> hey, Yuma, it's your fault for picking this route. What? Well, reaching a dead end is expected inside a dungeon. Think of it as stamping out one possibility and move on. Oh, oh totally. <laughs> you are always right, Shinigami. Uh, he's so gross. <laughs> you change your tune awful quick. For now, let's head back to where the roots change. Time for a convenient magical spell. <gasps> Zoom! <laughs> We're gonna zoom. We've got the zoomies. No point in rushing. Let's take it nice and slow. <laughs> Who wants a break? No. We can't do that. There's a time limit to solving the mystery labyrinth. Time limit? What happens when it runs out? <laughs> well, your soul leaves your body and you're trapped wandering the mystery labyrinth forever. In the end, your soul will be absorbed into the mystery labyrinth, and you disappear. In other words, you die. Mm -hmm. Huma, come on! We gotta get out of here! <laughs> yeah, I know. Master, which route do you want to take next? We'll do... Hmm... How was it brought to the theater hall? Poison brought to the theater hall. You sure about that? Sure. 
We'll just go down the line. So, our goal here is to answer the question, how was the poison brought to the theater hall? Mm-hmm. Speaking of, where did the poison used in the murder come from? The lab, the chemistry, the chemistry lab. lab in the school. It's a highly toxic experimental chemical. So why would it be in a school? Why not just take it from the chem lab and keep it hidden in your clothes or something? It's too big. The chemical's bottle was huge, so it's difficult to carry around in secret. Then they must have swapped the containers and brought it to the theater. That's gotta be it. Not exactly. Not that easy. <laughs> Whee! Snap out of it! It's time you showed off the fruits of my mentorship! I'm, I'm ready. On, what was used to transport the poison? Paintbrush, eyedropper, different container. Uh, eyedropper. This way! Oh. The paint drop with the paint. Come on, concentrate, concentrate. Oh no, it was a pipette. It wasn't an eyedropper, it was a pipette. Well, this is the only evidence we have for the paintbrush. There was a wet paintbrush in the chemistry lab. The culprit used it to carry out the poisoning. Oh, I guess they could have just dipped it in there. I thought they would have, um, like, brought it to the, the stage. They took the poison out of the lab by applying it with the brush. Then why would you just leave the brush on the floor? What was the poison brushed onto? The glass. The, the, the wine bottle. Wine bottle. Wait, no, not the wine bottle. The wine glass! The wine glass! Oh my god. I think it's too late. My brain just is not working right now. I keep like misreading everything. <laughs> it was brushed onto a wine glass. A fucking wine glass. So it's another glass. It's another fucking wine glass. glass could be brought to the theater hall oh my god. Suspicion. Another wine glass. Wine glass. It's not just another glass. It's a wine glass. It was in the glass and brought it to the theater hall. You can do it, master. What happened to the other glass? Uh, switch with the switch with yeah switched. This way. The glasses were switched. The culprit replaced the poison glass with the prop glass. Wee! Where are we? <sighs> I thought I was going to have a heart attack. We're not done yet. <laughs> just get started. <laughs> At least we now know how the poison was brought in. The culprit used the paintbrush from the chemistry lab and directly applied the chemical onto the backup glass. Yes. Yeah, if it's the same kind of glass as the prop on stage, it could be brought into the theater without suspicion. Mm hmm. But the chemical is only lethal for 30 minutes, right? That's why Even the if culprit it was prepared before the performance. It takes about yep. 45 minutes before the duel of poison cup scene. That's why. It's way too late. Somebody was sneaking right, around. So how about that? In the you... middle of the performance. Hang on. There is one person who could have brought the poison in before it expired. Uh-huh. That's right. Why is it dark? And, uh, you're supposed to pick the right one here, yeah? Can you do it, Yuma? Yeah, you can count on me. Who could have brought the poison to the stage? I was in the audience the whole time! No, you weren't.
<laughs> it's so obvious. Yeah, that's why they're gonna do a little spin. Yoshi, they're gonna put a little spin on it. It was you, wasn't it? What? Me? The only way to use a poison with a 30 minute expiration, 45 minutes into a play, is to bring it during the performance. But Warna was acting on stage the whole time, and Kurene was managing the lights on the catwalk. But Yoshika, you were working backstage, so you were the only one who could move about freely. In fact, you arrived late to the theater hall after the performance had already begun. You were about 15 minutes late, which is 30 minutes before the duel of poisoned cups. Mm -hmm. Just enough time for the poison to be lethal. Yep. So it was you. Uh, I don't know just yet. You brought the poison and got caught in to drink it. No, it's not me. She's definitely the most suspicious. Hey, she ran away. Yuma after her. Although we <laughs> we have evidence that the the other cup hey, is in your locker. My master loves hunting down prey on the run. <laughs> Hello? Which way'd she go? <laughs> Boom! What was the glass put in to be transported? Uh, she does have a bag. She does have a special little pouch that they keep talking about in the little like tidbits, the little fun facts, and the loading screens. As a production assistant, Yoshiko always had a bag with her. Yeah. In it, she carried the glass with poison brushed on. Mm-hmm. The glass would be small enough to fit in the bag, and even if someone saw it, she could say it's just a prop. Yep. I see. So she prepared for the murder while in her role as a production assistant. Feel right chasing after a girl like this. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, time to cough it up! You did it, didn't you? Hey, calm down. Ooh, look at her fangs. <gasps> That's new. Not me. I, I didn't. Okay, she looks kind of crazy. It. You think crying will save you? Well, you're <laughs> right. You're so cute. Hey, come here. Stop it! <laughs> Desuhiko? It's all good. With my kind of charisma, I can make anyone a I mean, to me, it looks like all three girls are in on it uh, in some way. She might even lead us Like, they're all involved. Oracle. They're all somehow involved. Why do you always get all the attention, Yoshiko? Oh. You're such an ass kissing bimbo. Oh. Were you jealous when Karen took your spot? Is that why you killed her? Their mutual friend died. <gasps> oh, she's cute. Look at her bow. Yeah, they all used to be friends, and then their mutual friend died, and then they all blamed it on this other girl, and then they wanted to revenge. Hypocrite! What? Hey, that's way too mean. Even if she is the culprit, I'm sure she has a heartbreaking reason why. <laughs> right? Didn't do it! I'm not the culprit! Look at this girly squad! <laughs> They're so cute! Kata even had one too! Hers look more like a nun though. Reasoning dead match. Oh my god, I love the bow on her head. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Hold on. Doing? Hold on. Warana's actions, acting during the performance, would have been difficult for her to purposely poison Karen. Yoshiko watch, always watches plays beginning to end, but sometime for this time she was late. Kurene was the lights. Karen's manner. Karen's more tense. Okay. Back with you. The hypocrite Yoshiko is the culprit! Only you could have brought the poison. Oh, 
I jumped way too early. <laughs> no. I want to see what else they say. Go take the poison glass. Oh my god! I out the glass on the shelf. Secretly in the dark. That's a possibility. I didn't do it. No one can swap the glasses. Um. Hmm. Great. I'll be direct. Yeah, it was during it was during the blackout. Yeah, she didn't leave before the blackout. The hypocrite Yoshko is the culprit. Only you can drop the points. Only Yoshko. No? Say. In that case, I'll be direct with you. The hypocrite. Oh you my god. Oh my god. No. No. No fucking way. Ain't no way! Holy shit! No way they fucking did that! No way they fucking did that! Oh my god! Oh my god. What? How? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they did do it together. Yeah. Yoshiko? Pass the glass to Watanai. Yeah, they're all in on it. So... Okay, let me... Let me see what they're saying again. Only you could have brought the coins. Oh, let's go! The friggin' jump. No, no, no! Only Yoshka? No. No, it could also have been, uh, Water Knight. Yoshko took the poison glass. And switched out the glass on the shelf! Yoshka didn't. Yoshka didn't do that. She did. She did switch it in the dark. But she switched with. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No. Not you. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh my god. I'll be direct with you. Not the way it just fucking hit me. I was sus that they were all in on it. Only you could have dropped the coins. Only Yoshko! Only Yoshko! No, no, no! So. Yeah, that's still the one I want. Okay, just making sure. Oh, shit! <laughs> Go take the poison glass. Uh huh. And switched out the glass on the shelf. Uh huh. Secretly in the dark. Where are you going? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. When Yoshko returned to the theater hall, she sat at the right edge in the front row for the rest of the show. 
he would have had to move from the audience onto the stage to reach the shelf and swap glasses. But that's impossible. The lights were only out for five seconds. Mm -hmm. Even if she ran over, someone would have heard her footsteps. So Yoshiko couldn't have been the one who swapped the glasses during the performance. <laughs> She disappeared. So Yoshiko wasn't the culprit? She did bring the poison from the chem lab into the theater, though, right? The method was already explained. Mm -hmm. But still, she's not the culprit. Well, <laughs> she couldn't have swapped the glasses on the shelf. She can't be the one who committed the crime. Let's keep going for now. There may be more ahead. Uh oh. All oh, this is making me scared of women. <laughs> I wish Shinigami would comfort me. <laughs> oh, but I'm committed to master. Oh, damn it! I should give up my memories and sign a pact with the Death God, too, then. <laughs> Quick, Yuma. Punch me in the back of the head as hard as possible. What? Let's not. <laughs> Women are scary. <laughs> I hope it's not, um, what was her name? Kurumi? Damn. Are you sure that's the case? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing can be done here. So this doesn't lead to who it is, even if we solve how was the poison brought to the theater hall? Seems that way. We should turn back for now. Mm -hmm. With my magic, we'll be there in a snap. I mean, if they were all friends. Zoom! Maybe they did arrest the right person. All right, time to start over. Which route do you want to pick? Zoop! The last one. Sure, you want to take the how is the poison mixed into the glass root? Mm hmm. And don't blame me if you die. Yep. So, we're gonna solve the mystery of how was the poison mixed into the glass. Actually, I was thinking about that. Oh, yeah? Maybe it's wrong to think the poison was in the glass itself. Yeah, the peacekeeper said the same thing. Poison was only found on the victim's glass. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. If that's the case, it narrows down the possibilities for how by a lot. But don't let your guard down. Unriddling a mystery labyrinth is never so simple. Nope. You guys think it was Kurumi? It's definitely more than one person. That's why we're hitting dead ends. Oh, Indiana Jones time! <laughs> oh, <what is> this? <laughs> I told you it wasn't easy. <laughs> ah. Stop laughing! Don't worry. Come on, concentrate. When was the glass set on the stage? Oh. During? <laughs> on stage? <laughs> Oh, like the... Okay, technically, yes, they grabbed it before. I thought they meant the actual, like, switching part. The prop master placed the glasses on the shelf an hour before the performance began. Yeah, the shelf that happened to be also on stage. Yeah, that's what you meant. This is real bad, Eva. We, <laughs> we got just got smushed. <laughs> When was the poison placed in the glass? During the play. This door. The poison is effective for 30 minutes. The duel of poison's cup scene occurred 45 minutes into the play. Mm -hmm. Which means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. I 
think we made it through. Well, we're not done just yet. Come on, there's no time to slack off. We gotta keep going. So the poison trick was actually set up during the performance. The poison is effective for 30 minutes, but the duel of poison's cup scene occurred 45 minutes. So much information <laughs> that that ends up being repeated. Means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. But that glass was on stage the whole time, wasn't it? True. The set was fixed an hour before the play, and the glasses were already set on the shelf by then. Mm hmm. So the culprit slipped the poison in while everyone was watching. Where are the culprits? Show them to me. Still live? Technically midnight? Um, uh, no, it's actually almost 2 a.m. for me. Um, but that, that's not anything new. <laughs> huh? It's them? The culprit is Varna! There is no other explanation. It has to be her. Why me? Stop making such baseless accusations! <laughs> Both Yoshiko and Kurane blame Waruna? They're all blaming Stop each other! It. I hate to see girls fighting each other! <laughs> the only person who could have added poison to the glass was whoever was also on stage. So that means it has to be Waruna. Mm. She's the culprit. No! 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 Murderer. Murderer. <laughs> no, 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 no! Transform! What? <laughs> Women are terrifying! I'm not! She's got the gun. The yeah, wait, what was up with the gun? The water gun. Reasoning deathmatch! Yeah, wine glasses, water gun, and eyedropper. Wine glasses brought from the theater club. Water gun. That looks like a real gun. And the eyedropper. It doesn't appear to have been used. Argument girl. <laughs> kind of all over the place. <laughs> You're saying Yoshiko's the murderer. Apparently she waited for the lights to go up before pouring the poison. What? Yoshiko's in the audience, so could she really have poured it into the glass on stage? No way, is it really the fucking water gun? I'm not the culprit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot we had that for evidence. Maybe she didn't. She shot the poison straight into the glass. Nope. Say, there may have been some way to shoot at the glass from below the stage. Except. Also, she's sitting on a shelf on stage. 
Is there any evidence that shows it was? No. I'm not the culprit. It's just the just the glasses. She could she couldn't have used the eyedropper because you have to be way too close. Yeah, I would have been really fucking impressed too. <laughs> um, I don't think we had a sharpshooter talent. Wait, yeah, she was in the audience, so she couldn't have done it. She shot the poison straight into the glass. No. was upside down on the shelf. I think I was hopeful that it would have been cool for somebody to use a water gun filled with poison. <laughs> Even if she did use a water gun, there's no way And then the paintbrush shit the would be relevant, so. Down. <laughs> Women are really tough. <laughs> I'm not the culprit. It's you! Kurenai! <laughs> Damn. Alright, so that's all three doors. We're gonna come to another dead end in this doorway, though. In this hallway. You're still here? You haven't had enough? No! No. No. Question. Okay. Fine. I'll tell you why Kurane is the culprit. There's no case. All these testimonies. Okay. Nothing hidden in the costumes. It was Kurane's idea to shine the spotlight on the wine glass. But she stayed there the whole time. Fucking how? Using an eyedropper. No. Kurane used an eyedropper to add the poison. She did it from the catwalk above. She tricked the poison right in. My controller vibrates every time I do that. Kurane <laughs> wasn't the only person on the catwalk. Mm -mm. Another member was working the light. Mm -hmm. She claimed Kurane didn't do anything suspicious during the performance. Because of that testimony, it's impossible Kurane added the poison from the catwalk. Impossible. So it's proven that both Yoshiko and Kurane couldn't have added the poison to the glass. So Warren really is the culprit. She's the one who snuck in the poison. Now hold on. I thought you were better than that, Warren. <laughs> I thought you would compete with your performance fair and square. I always knew something was off about her. No, it's not me. It really isn't me. Liar. Liar. Liar, 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 liar! Damn. 
We've got a bullying problem in this school. What happened? You guys are friends. <laughs> Solid reasoning? Because you're a liar! <laughs> nah! <-uh. laughs> They're literally uh uh in each other. Nah! -uh. <laughs> Okay. Alright, alright. Um, nothing was in the costumes. It was Kurene's idea for the lights. And she was up there the whole time. Okay. The culprit. She had a chance to add the poison herself. She knocked it herself in Lindsay. Her back was departed and the audience. She added the poison from her pocket! Nope! No, that was it! I could never tell which direction was gonna fucking fly in! <laughs> the way it hit me! <laughs> that was it, though. That was it. <laughs> Truth. No, that's wrong. No, Warna wasn't concealing anything on her person. The costumer confirmed it. So it was impossible for Warna to have brought the poison with her on stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye. You're all wrong. So, Warana wasn't the culprit? Does that mean she didn't add the poison to the glass? It's a fact that she didn't bring the poison on stage. So naturally, she couldn't have poisoned the glass. Well, but then... What really happened This here? is all like, well, technically, she... I'm so confused. She only brushed poison on the glass. She didn't actually bring it up on stage and give it to her. Well, actually, she only pointed out which glass to take. She didn't actually put the poison on the glass. Like, is this is all this, like, runaround shit. <laughs> Let's think about it and keep going. <laughs> hmm. What if I use my oh disguise to get new information out of the three of them? And who are you going to disguise yourself as? It's no use. I already did that during Ico. the <laughs> That would traumatize oh, them. You did, huh? But your disguise ability is incredible. It's like I was a completely different person. Mm hmm. Makeup is one thing, but my voice and stature match too. I use a voice changer to synthesize a new voice. Pretty cool. If I've heard it even once, I can easily set it up. I use tape to make your body appear thinner, or add padding for the opposite effect. Tape. Height can be adjusted by messing with your joints. Up to a certain point. Shouldn't use tape. But there are limits, given how it strains the body. The more you explain it, the more it sounds like you could commit a lot of crimes pretty easily. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I must resist my urges every single day. It's a daily battle to tame the monster inside me. Yeah, bro! <laughs> Desuhiko, that sounds more weird than <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? Here's our dead end. There it is. Dead end. Dead end. Look at Shinigami flying around. She's so cute. She's so pretty. Look at her swimming like a shark. Huh? A dead end? <laughs> what are you doing, Desuhiko? about this path being blocked, so I try to just ignore it. Oh my god. Damn, it didn't work. Hmm. Doesn't seem like a question is gonna appear. 
Looks like it's a completely dead end. I guess we can't reach the truth by answering how was the poison mixed into the glass. So this whole route was a waste? Well, we did eliminate one of the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the journey is just as important as the destination. Is it? The journey. The journey. Oh, the sound of that. I'll use that for lyrics in my next song. Oh my God. Anyway, let's use my convenient magic spell to return to where you select roots. Zoom! Just taking more and more years off my lifespan. No big deal. He sings? Well, we haven't heard him sing yet. He's got a guitar. Now that I think about it, wasn't that the third route? Yep. <sighs> What's going on? They're all dead ends. What does it mean, Shinigami? It seems that even though we tried to solve every how, we can't figure out who the culprit is. Who the culprit is just simply yes. Oh, come on! Then what was the point of our great adventure? <laughs> I've told you this a dozen times already. Even dead ends are precious clues. Mm -hmm. Because of them, you figured out that examining the murder method won't lead you to the culprit. I see. So we're still making progress. <sighs> Great work, Shinigami. <laughs> anyway, we have to view this case from a different perspective. <gasps> a new perspective. What's that? A new perspective. I suppose that's your different perspective. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> How'd you know what to do? <laughs> We're really walking. Well, if we keep moving, then. Uh huh. Let's go to the ceiling. Why did the incident happen? No fair. You might get to have all the fun. <laughs> yeah, you You get hot and bothered watching that. Why are you jealous of this? <laughs> the question is, why did this happen? I guess we're on the why done it route. But did why done what now? <laughs> yes. It's about the reason why the case occurred. Meaning this is the route where we seek the motive. Looks like we need to focus on figuring out the culprit's motive from here. Yeah, I know cases always deal with motive, but wouldn't it have been better to start with this route from the get-go? Well, we only know this route is important because we cleared out the how routes. That's how it goes when it comes to solving mysteries in dungeons. Mm-hmm. Oh, but sorry, I, I guess that's how it is. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Shinigami. Okay, just be quiet. Let's keep going from... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just 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 shut up and uh keep walking. <laughs> you are not helping me. <laughs> Ooh, look at the cool spinny room. Yeah, he's a master detective. Don't ask me how. Before we figure out the culprit's motive, what kind of person was caught in anyway? Was she cute? <laughs> yes. But more yes. importantly, she was next in line so? to the star of the theater club. She was considered to be the best actress among the club's current members. So the culprit was envious because she was so popular. They killed Karen so they could become the star instead. No, I don't think it's that simple. Hey, who are you calling simple? <laughs> Six months ago, the leading member of the theater club also died in a separate case. Mm -hmm. Top actresses dying one after another? Is their club cursed or something? Cursed with the jealousy. The who died was Aiko. Her death was ruled a suicide by jumping off the school, but Kurumi doubted that was the case. Kurumi, huh? She's all right. <laughs> all right? 
Anyway, I doubt it's a coincidence for people to die in such quick succession. This hmm. case may have been triggered by Aiko's death. So if we find the truth behind Aiko's death, maybe we can figure out the motive in this case. Maybe. The truth behind Aiko's death. It was a murder. Hey, look! There she is. Is that Aiko? Whoa, she's cute too! Let's go talk to her! She kinda looks like Komaru. She's about to get a taste of my full and undivided attention. Uh, mm, I don't think she wants to taste that. <laughs> you can already tell, women will be his downfall. Oh well, it's not like you're any better off with yours truly, master. Well, I'd much rather be with you, just saying. What? <laughs> Was that Desihiko? Whoa, what the? Oh. Oh, Come great. On, concentrate, concentrate. Damn, that stamina. <laughs> I would be. Uh, I would not be able to run upstairs that fast. <laughs> this is bad. Hell no. <laughs> She looks a lot like Omaru. Hey, from Danganronpa. I love the tragic types. No, we're trying to the figure tragic out the tragic types. Death. Oh my god, she's dead, my guy. She's dead. <laughs> Let's go. Was Iko's death six months ago? Suicide or homicide? Homicide. Aiko's death six months ago was actually a result of murder. Mm hmm. Where was Aiko murdered? The rooftop. This is the answer. No? They both lit up red. of Aiko's murder is the flower bed. That makes sense because her shoes were muddy. Who sure shoes are muddy? I did say it earlier. It's late. <laughs> uh. What weapon was used to kill Aiko? Poison? Her head was like smashed on the bricks. The brick with Aiko's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. Yeah. After the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. Who murdered Aiko? This is the answer! Aiko's death was not a suicide by jumping. And Cotton clearly lied in her testimony. Cotton killed Aiko. My girls are trying to get their revenge, is what I'm saying. All right, let's keep following her, Yuma. I can tell Aiko's death wasn't a suicide from the evidence photos. Mm hmm. Her shoes were neatly placed on the roof, but there was dirt on them that looked like it came from the flowers. <laughs> that's what I said! That's what I said! <laughs> I think Aika was told to meet at the flowers behind the school building and then murdered there. So the shoes were taken to the roof afterwards. The murder weapon is likely a brick from the flower bed. The brick with Aiko's blood on it had a very unnatural splatter pattern. If she fell from above and hit her head, the blood stain wouldn't get cut off in that way. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that after the culprit hit her with the brick, they returned it to its original position. Not but like you have evidence that Cotton wash it off or anything. <laughs> if Flip Ica it over. If didn't die from jumping, Cotton's testimony makes her highly suspicious. Mm -hmm. 
She said she heard something fall and went to inspect it. And she was the person that I quote unquote it. found. A sound that never happened means she's obviously self report. <laughs> Karen lied. And the reason why she lied? Because she wanted her spot. She made it appear like Aiko jumped. If that's the case, then the one who killed Aiko is Karen. Damn, how many stairs are there? <laughs> the imposter. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty. She disappeared. Damn it. I can't even help the girl who needs it most. She's already dead. Help her. She was dead long before you could help her. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Anyway, this must be the roof I could supposedly jump from. Uh, hey. Why did Karen kill Aiko? She wanted her spot. I thought an all-girls school would be more sunshine and rainbows than murder. Girls are catty. If a brick was used as the murder weapon, then it could have been an impulsive crime. So Karen might not have been planning to kill Aiko when she called her there. Hmm. You mean they were talking and it turned into a crime of passion? <laughs> That's so cliche. <laughs> Maybe they were discussing their acting careers. They had a disagreement, and it turned to violence. Hmm. Well, if this caused the other murder case, then is the motive revenge? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they weren't fighting over Aiko's spot. They wanted to get back at Karin for taking it away. Meaning... the culprit is whoever cares the most about Aiko? Then which of the suspects is it? In fact, where do we even go from here? We got the motive, but there's still no path. This is different from the other dead ends. Mm -hmm. I think there's a mystery around here. Something must be hidden here. Where are you going? You go don't jump! <laughs> Why'd you run this way? Oh. Look into the distance. <laughs> the wind feels nice. It's hard to believe we're inside a mystery labyrinth. One of these days, I'll have a concert on stage this high, looking out over my adoring fans. You're crazy. <laughs> He's actually insane. What are you doing over here? Peek in. This place. So high up, we're above even the clouds. Better be careful not to fall. Hey! So you're saying you don't want me to push you, or... There is no ore. I definitely do not want you to push me. Oh, why would you even say that? Hmm. What else is there? Can I, like, look? Can I look more? <laughs> yeah, the Whoa. wind... Oh, right here. Hey, check it out. A path. Is that the how roots we were looking for? We're so high up. When did this happen? <laughs> Master, look over there. Ooh. What's that? It doesn't seem connected to anything else. Which means that could be the who location. So the true culprit is over there then? Hmm. But how do we reach it? It's not connected to any other route. What, are you freezing up? Scared <laughs> of heights or something? Jump! Oh, it's not that. Uh, about those three routes. A pen? You carry that around with you all the time? You should always have a pen on you. Of course. Who knows when I'll be asked for my autograph? That's not why, but... <laughs> Done. Isn't it perfect? Oh, he's got one of those cool, like, color-changing pens where you, like, press down the different colors of ink and then it, like, pops back up and you can press down, like, another one and... You know? You guys all, you know, one of those? 
<laughs> That's the kind of pen he carries around. <laughs> Scholastic book fair moment. <laughs> I'm just as good at drawing maps as I am at remembering a pretty face. Okay. Why draw the map? This is the how roots when seen from above, right? What about it? Well, this is a dungeon, right? So maybe there are some secret paths in here. Secret paths? See, if you look at it this way, doesn't it all seem like the same road? You're right. The three how roots are connected into a single route all the way to the Wow, moon. it's almost like this person at this person's actions connected with this person's actions connected with the other person's actions caused the murder. No, no way. <laughs> Wait, all three are connected? That's it. I think I've got it. That's the hidden truth behind the how route. There's only one explanation for how the victim could have been poisoned. What? Seriously? Not bad. You finally made yourself useful. <laughs> Actually. Yay. Uh. Shinigami complimented me. Uh. I love you, Shinigami. Ew. Isn't I a good boy? I deserve a treat, right? Ew. <laughs> Think you've got this? I'll back you up. Lay it all out. Hmm. <gasps> it's barrel time! <laughs> you guys have been waiting for this. <laughs> this week I was gonna. <sighs> He's gonna have another moment. But She's no. taking her clothes off. Yeah, actually, she is. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, girl. She winked at us. Shinigami puzzle! Try to solve it, look at his The only way the crime is possible is what, having an... Alibi? Accomplice. No. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, alibi. Alibi? Compass is too long. Twirling. Hold on. What do you have to say? Oh wait, it is accomplice. The letters are together. Oh. Oh my god. It is. Not me counting the spaces, and I'm like, no, that's too many letters. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's perfect. Why is she in a swimsuit? Fan service. That's why. Are you complaining? <laughs> there it is. That's right. Accomplices. The truth of this case is that Yoshiko, Warona, and Kurane were all accomplices and committed this crime together. Mm -hmm. You're a fan and you have been serviced. <laughs> God damn. Accomplices? <laughs> but don't they hate each other's guts? They might, but they do have one common goal. It's the truth. I realized it once you drew this map, Yasuhiko. The three how routes that we explored were all dead ends. Each of them were suspects, mm -hmm. but they were all ruled out because of certain details of the case. No, they were all pretty sus. That makes sense. If we look at them separately, we get dead ends. But by connecting all three routes like this, and looking at it as a single criminal act, it clearly becomes one path forward. So they literally are all gonna die, and then nobody is gonna be left in the drama club. They were accomplices that committed a single crime. This murder would have been impossible to commit alone. We figured that out during the how route. Mm -hmm. But if the three of them worked together, they could make it possible. A pickaxe. Huh? What's this? We play Minecraft. I guess we're supposed to break the wall. Oh. Sounds like fun. I'm in. It's 
also thanks to my help, don't you think? And don't you forget it. Oh, I won't forget this, trust me. You're the one who's going to forget it. scarred. <laughs> oh yeah, true, he is gonna forget it. Anyway, let's check it out. We have to make sure we're on the right track. Mm-hmm. Zoom! Zoom, zoom, zoom! Back here. By separating the house, the three of them divided up the tasks that needed to be done to pull off the murder. Don't you think so, Yuma? Yeah, I think it's the only way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sure sound confident. That scream? <laughs> All I did was scream, bro. How did the three work together to pull off an impossible crime? It's not impossible. There's a new problem to solve. We have to expose the secret behind their complicity. How exactly they cooperated together and the timeline of the crime. Mm hmm. G got it. The timeline, huh? Then the first thing to discuss is. How it was brought. How was the poison brought to the theater hall? You sure about that? Yeah. Let's start with the poison being brought to the theater hall. Their conspiring began with how was the poison brought to the theater hall. Mm-hmm. It's a route we already explored to the very end. So let's blast through it! Let's go! Hey, wait! No waiting. We just saw the colors lined up on the map. Oh. I don't know what colors were first. The poison to the theater hall was Yoshko, right? Hmm. Yeah, the poison neutralizes after 30 minutes. So it had to be brought into the theater during the show. <laughs> He's holding on. As the production assistant, only Yoshko could have done it. Looking back. The reason they chose poison as the murder weapon was to establish an alibi. The poison was only active for 30 minutes, which gave the other girls an alibi. Mm -hmm. Yoshka went to the lab for the poison as soon as the performance began. She had the extra glass hidden in her bag. <laughs> Fucking does we go. <laughs> to it. We all know where he's looking. <laughs> she put it back in her bag and returned to her seat in the front row as if nothing happened. The problem is, what happened next? Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> again? What did Yoshiko do with the poison glass after bringing it? Yoshiko, hold on. Warna. It's like these brand new characters. I'm trying to like learn their names. Mixed into the glass root. Wow. And really connected. All right. Let's. Going and reach the truth. Yeah. Whoa. Again. again. Again, again, two more times. <laughs> hey, you said Yoshiko handed the poison glass over to Waruna, but yeah, Waruna was performing on stage, right? Mm -hmm. How could she receive the glass while on stage? The lights went out. The only time I can think of is when they turned off the lights. Uh, Yoshiko sat on the right edge of the front row close to the wings mm -hmm. where the actors enter and exit from scenes. She probably stood up when the lights went out and left the poison's glass near the right wing. Even if she couldn't get on stage, she could at least do that within five seconds. Then, Warna picked up the glass and hid it under her costume. The costume check happened before the performance. So she got around that by receiving the cup during the performance. <laughs> that would have been see. seen. <laughs> so they passed the baton during the five seconds the lights were out. The two of them must have rehearsed it as much as the rest of the play. Hmm. But what happened after that? Suppose Waruna did get the poison glass. Mm -hmm. How did she swap it with the real glass while the play was still ongoing? She was doing the switcheroos. A few moments after the blackout, there's a scene where Warna approaches the shelf. It only lasts two or three seconds, 
but Warren's hands on the shelf are completely hidden from the audience. At that moment, Warner could have switched out the original glass with the poisoned one. So they used the plant itself for their seemingly impossible crime. <laughs> Talk about guts. This is something only thespians could pull off. Hmm. And they all got away with it. Inigami? <laughs> Isn't there a safer way down? <laughs> Master, hurry up and break this one down too! Right. Boom! How is the poison glass chosen? Kurana guide into it. Alright, we got this one too. Only a bit more. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Wait, can't we take a break? No, you're gonna die here if we take a break. This is the final one. It's the how was the poison glass chosen? <laughs> From here, it's exactly as we solved it before. Kurumi told Kauden beforehand to take the glass the spotlight hits first. And then, after confirming the poisoned glass from the catwalk above, the spotlight was pointed directly at it. And that's the method behind the murder weapon. Method? Sounds more like madness if you ask me. She's so cute. That solves this mystery. We've almost reached the truth. Seriously? That's terrible. <laughs> huh? Why? Because I haven't done Shinigami the Fool for me yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I was just gonna I've been say. Here for a hundred years. In fact, I basically hear your guts. You know, <laughs> beyond the hate. <laughs> he, he is persistent. Off. He does not give up. <laughs> it's kind of like traveling the globe. You and I can go in opposite directions, but eventually. This is exactly what not to do. <laughs> Some people are actually like this. <laughs> That's a stretch. <laughs> yeah, throw him into the wall. There you go. I feel sick. This is the last wall. The last wall. Not the last time you're gonna cut off my head, though. Master, are you ready? Let's solve this thing. Who murdered Cotton? Right. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kaoru. Kurane! Yeah! All three of them! Yes! I still haven't remembered their names! And that door is the Hu We finally made it! It's time to end this, Master. You know what ending this means, don't you? Huh? Hmm? Huh? She's gonna do the thing. Not yet. Not yet. We still have a little bit before she does the thing. Yeah, the boom kill. That's right. Oh, quit your Looks crying. Like all the culprits are here. But there. Why do they look so sad? Because they miss their friend. How boring! You call yourselves the final bosses of the Mystery Labyrinth? Then start acting like it! Might as well guard the truth till the end at this point! Are you good? There! Are you just gonna give up? Kill friend, friend gone, regret. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, you did it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> there she goes. Yummy! <laughs> that smile. I love that smile. Okay, let's charge! God, Shinigami. 
<laughs> Let's do this, Master! No. Uh, which, 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 oh shit, I forgot my buttons. There is actually! I can think of a reason! I am rapidly approaching your location. There was a, nothing connecting us. It's just all the pictures. <laughs> Great job, and he says, That's right. <laughs> That's right, I'm doing a great job. <laughs> Shut up! Go away! Stop telling lies! Please, leave me alone! You gonna give me some variety? Shut up! We have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> Larry, let's show your your side of the ripped photo. It's the water gun. You're wrong. Huh? Come on. Boom! What's going on here? I thought they hated each other. No, that probably isn't true. Uh huh? What do you mean by that? If you put together the three photos they each have. Mm -hmm. What? Oh my god. <laughs> That's the truth. Oh, it's so cute. No need for mercy. Let's do this, Master. Yeah. Go get him, girl. No. 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 Stay away. Stop messing with me. I'm not stopping. Stop. Not stopping. Stop it. Not stopping. Get away from me. There she goes. Run, 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 run. Please go away. The kick. <laughs> there is no bond between us. Oh, they're in denial. I'm sorry, girls. This is the truth of the case. Now we've got the book to do. Our manga page, manga panels. There they are. This is just a guess, but you three weren't actually on bad terms with each other, were you? In fact, it was all an act to get revenge for Aiko. 
You all cherish the same picture with her. They are all actresses. It was originally a single photo of you all together, with Aiko in the middle. You were all close friends. And when you connect the pictures together... Yep. Everyone is there, smiling. So... why? Come on, we've got work to do before you get all sappy. Let's go. One more push and we'll be done with this labyrinth. <sighs> what would a hero do? A real defender of justice would defeat evil here and now and be done with it. But I'm no hero. All I want is the truth. And the truth is right here. So why go any further? Will solving this mystery really make anyone happy? Master, do you sympathize with them? It's so deep. That's not something a detective should do. Your job is to solve mysteries, isn't it? If so, you have to expose the truth. You have to prove it in a way anyone can understand and anyone can see. In the form of a picture book! Detectives aren't defenders of justice. They're defenders of truth. Defenders of truth. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. Mm -hmm. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. It's easier said than done. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for that. Yuma, if you can't do it, I can take your place. No, I'll do it. He's like, damn it. <laughs> I'll take responsibility. I'll see this through. Oh, I love her. All right, let's do this. Okay. What weapon did Karen use? Oh, the brick. Uh, what was Aiko's cause of death disguised as? Where was Yoshiko headed? We don't have that one either. Okay, <laughs> what happens do we have? No inscript and the glasses are swapped. Okay. Unlocked a lot of them. <laughs> Let's go back. Aiko's cause of death disguised as suicide by jumping. Uh, where was Yoshiko headed? Um, what did Yoshiko apply to the glass? Poison. Right here. 
why did she? Oh, okay. This, one. this is why. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this one. Mystery unraveled. I don't like this case very much. Step right up. Step right up. But that struck an academy stage. The death. Best part's coming up, chat. The best part's coming up, so it's okay. It'll be worth it, it'll be worth it, I promise. This case begins with Aiko's death six months ago. Aiko was thought to have committed suicide by jumping off the roof. Truth, caught and murdered her. The shoes left on the roof had dirt on them from the flower bed at the crime scene. The blood stains on the bricks were also unnatural. And it was obvious that an amateur had faked it. If it wasn't a suicide, it would contradict Cotton's testimony. However, she didn't originally intend to kill Aiko. It was a crime of passion. So they got into an argument, Cotton saw red, then boom? Women are so scary. <laughs> you said it, girl. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane probably realized the truth behind what happened. The three teamed up to avenge Aiko. They used the dress rehearsal to commit this crime. Regardless of the reason, getting together to plan a murder is pretty crazy. Yoshiko in the audience. To bring the poisoned glass into the theater hall. Once unsealed, the poison is harmless after 30 minutes. So she went to the lab 15 minutes after the play began. The poison container is too big to transport unnoticed. So she applied it to the glass in her bag with a paintbrush. Thus, the poison glass was created. Mm -hmm. She brought it back to the theater hall, then went on standby at the right end of the front row. Warna, who was acting on stage, was to switch out the poisoned glass. During the five-second blackout 30 minutes into the play, Yoshiko placed the poisoned glass in the wings. Warna, on stage, retrieved it and hid it under her costume. How? Then, in the scene where she approaches the shelf, she exchanges That's what I the hair with the poisoned one. Switching the murder weapon on stage while everyone is watching? What a pervy exhibitionist! What's perverted about that? <laughs> and Kurane on the lights would guide Cotton to take the poisoned glass. Then came the duel of poison cups! The two glasses on the shelf had juice poured into them. Cotton and Warana shuffled them in a way the audience couldn't see. Kurene, who was on the catwalk directly above the stage, saw exactly which glass held the poison. Mm -hmm. She confirmed the location of the poisoned glass and shone the spotlight on it first. Cotton drank from that glass 45 minutes after the start of the play. Winner, winner! Poisoning complete! That was so long! <laughs> Good job! Thank you. Kurene told Cotton of a change in stage direction, but the victim was to take the glass the spotlight hits first. Cotton followed this instruction to take the poisoned one. The whole sequence of events for this crime would have been impossible for a single person. Their cooperation was also a means to conceal their involvement. But I can't shake the feeling that there was some other reason behind it. The ruthless, disgusting criminals who conducted this murder are... I don't know if I'd use those words. <laughs> Yoshiko! Warana! Kurane! You are the killers! Wait, what? <laughs> they may have pretended to always be at odds with one another. But deep down, Aww. they were bonded through their shared admiration for Aiko.
is my answer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's boom kill time. Here we go. <laughs> There's no fixing them now. Was there really no other way? Was there no way to prove Karin did this without killing her? That's not possible. Not in Kanai Ward. Mm. The peacekeepers bend the truth whichever way they want to. The three girls couldn't get justice from them, which led to this crime. But that... it doesn't make it right! How long did you put on an act for this? Aiko... was our sunlight. Huh? Wherever she went, we were meant to be there with her. She was... everything to us. We were together. Ever since we were young, her dream was our dream. I don't like this. We were nothing special. But she called us her rivals. Those words encouraged us to carry on. But now she's gone. Everything's hopeless now. The three of us investigated Aiko's death. I used my parents' connections to view top-secret case files. But no matter what we did, the peacekeepers refused to reopen the case. Because Karen's father is a big shot at Amaterasu Corporation. That's why we had to do it ourselves. We wanted revenge. Revenge? became everything for us. Oh. And to get it, we pretended to fight amongst ourselves. We are actors, after all. But... we don't have to anymore, right? We don't have to keep this up. Um... You're technically right. We, we put, put on, on quite, quite a show. show. Didn't we, Aiko? She is! <laughs> this leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Then again, most cases do. But that's the end. We can finally return to the real world. Not yet. Not yet. I hope the girls open up like that in the real world, too. Oh no. Who's gonna tell him? Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> no, I don't think they can. It's okay, he's not gonna remember any of this. Huh? Why is that? Oh, also, <laughs> where's Shinigami? Uh, about that, um... I'm right here. Well, what do you think? Uh... <laughs> did you fall in love with me? I know you did. You must have, yeah? Blah. <laughs> I already told you, I will never fall for you. You are seriously getting on my nerves. You're annoying and exhausting. Uh, <laughs> Desuhiko? <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you think I was serious? Oh, uh, no, -uh, you're not gonna backpedal like that, dude. I was just testing the bond between you two. So <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Bond? It's more like a curse. At least to me. Uh, right. I was just... testing. <laughs> I was serious. I didn't get rejected, okay? <laughs> I did it. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Just calm down. Something tells me it wouldn't have been the first time. Anyway... Let's do it. <gasps> yeah! Although, it's it's bittersweet nah, this time. I'm so excited. I'm ready. Time to exterminate the souls of the true culprits and destroy the mystery ladder. Execution time! Wait, Shinigami, do we really have to do this? Yeah. I mean, they... Yeah. They're murderers. The reason why doesn't matter. I make my living reaping the souls of criminals. Because I'm Shinigami. 
She's gonna do it! She's gonna do it! Ah! Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. God damn. The brilliant soul of Shibami. Shall expunge this cursed case? Oh, so cool! Oh, I love her! <laughs> yeah, remember, remember about how I'm gonna be cosplaying her? Yeah, this is this is what we're talking about. This right here. Did get bone killed. Well, they're all gonna be gone. Oh <laughs> wait, isn't there a bullet aimed towards us at this moment right now? Are we are we in danger? Are we I think we're in danger. Um uh Karumi's grades? <gasps> oh, she's not good at science. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> she's only slightly above average. <laughs> Speaking of her, um, we can go save her now, right? Uh-oh. When did you- Oh. Huh? What the- We moved. Wait, what just happened? He doesn't remember. What? What's going on? I knew it. <laughs> the evil murderers have been expunged once again. Oh, right. I got one more job to do. Huh? Oh, yeah, you gotta <laughs> explain. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. The culprits behind this incident were Waruna, Karne, and myself. All three of us conspired to poison Cotton. Uh, the way we got her to ingest the poison was. Come on! Did, did you do it? <laughs> did you explain? I don't know what you people have done. <laughs> What's the matter? But next time it won't go your way. Remember that. I've got a feeling that it is actually gonna go my way. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> she was staring at me the whole time. <sighs> She's gotta be in love with me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fine. I guess she can keep the peace of my love as well. <laughs> Did he just yuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> hey, what's got you so down? All three of them just died out of nowhere. Nobody's to blame for that. <sighs> There's no reason for either of us to feel guilty. Damn. <laughs> oh... You was a broken boy. Seems like all the memories from the mystery labyrinth are completely gone. Master, we're in the clear. All three of their deaths won't be your fault now. Well, that's... yeah. That's not what I'm worried about. Yuma! She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Rumi? Oh! Thank you for saving me. I knew you'd come to the rescue. Um, about that. 
Uh. So. Not only was your best friend already already uh murdered six months ago, but um. Four more just died. So looks like you. <laughs> Let me pat you on the back, cause I think you're gonna be in charge of this place now. <laughs> Anyway, are you all right? The peacekeepers didn't harm you, did they? Aww. No, I'm fine. Hey, Yuma? I don't want to get in the way of this tearful reunion. <laughs> but maybe we should get out of here? It'll be trouble if the peacekeepers come back. Oh, right. Let's leave then. She's got boobies. What is she going to be talking about? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't looking. Yeah, let's let's probably not tell her. I think that's for the best. But it's for the best. This is this is a cute loading screen. Look at her. Hey, she's so cute. Ah, ba Raincoat eye tracker? Nah, nah. Maybe for Nikkei. I mean, well, <laughs> maybe we'll do something different because everybody knows where I'm looking. <laughs> We all got a ring I'll go on ahead to the agency and put in a good word for you. I don't really get how it all ended, but I have a hunch. Hey, you guys remember when when Yako told us to buy some food for him because he was starving? Remember that? <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Yuma, you did all the work, right? <laughs> well, kind of. Huh? Oh, guess he's got good intuition. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I won't be calling you rookie from here on out. Aww. Let's keep working together, my man. Mind your manners as you walk your girl home. Oh, I should be telling you that. <sighs> um, Yuma? I'm sorry I ever doubted you, you precious baby. Huh? What is it? You precious, sweet summer child. This tension... Don't tell me! Is this where they make babies? Oh! <laughs> um... <laughs> out here, I mean... <laughs> some people are into that. <laughs> Did something happen? You seem down. Oh, she still doesn't know. Oh, well... Although the case was solved, three lives were lost. Right. I didn't expect Yoshiko and the others to... Oh, she does know. <sighs> um, could it be that their deaths are related to your forte? Uh, no, no. What? Wow, we've got another sharp one. Master, I hope you know this, but if you say anything about our contract... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry for saying something so strange. I know I'm off, right? Even if that were the case, you'd never tell me. <sighs> Damn. Hey, Kurumi, Don't guilt me like that. There's somewhere I want to go. Will you come with me? <gasps> Are we gonna go on a meet bun date? Uh-huh. Sure. I guess. They go into the baby place? Are they going to the rooftop? Hmm. TV programs. Desuhiko's bangs. Martina's relaxation routine. She takes a bath. <laughs> It's just a bath. <laughs> oh, different rooftop. Wow, what a nice view. It's like a secret hideout. I didn't know that Kamasaki had a place like this. Aww. Please, help me save this city. Save this city, huh? Yeah, this is where we... Where we were with Yako. I managed to save Kurumi by solving the case. But I killed those three girls. No. I'm responsible for their demise. No. Well. 
indirectly, kind of. If I had let the peacekeepers deal with it, at least their deaths could have been prevented. What exactly did I even solve? It's not a true solution if we can't save everyone. That's not true. What I gained in exchange for my memories isn't some convenient mystery-solving tool. It kind of is. It's literally the power of a death god. Mm-hmm. What are you musing about? You can't reclaim the past, and you're not going to get your memories back either. In the end, you just have to accept it. Accept it? Instead of believing in some vague thing like justice, just believe in the truth. They say there's only one truth, and there's only one type of person who can find their way to that truth. Detectives. Detectives! Even if I have to sacrifice others to find it, I should let so many people die for the truth? Master, you keep going to extremes. It's part of why you're a greenhorn. Uh, seems like you still have much to learn under my guidance. Mm -hmm. What is the truth? Why did I become a detective to seek it? You have amnesia. Nobody knows. <laughs> She's like, are you done talking to yourself now? <laughs> huh? Oh, yes? I know I already said this, but thank you so much. You are exactly the kind of person I thought you were. Aww. What do you mean by that? You're my hero. Aww. I'm no hero. I was just trying to expose the truth. But thanks to you, I was saved. If you weren't around, I wouldn't be here today. That's why a detective who exposes the truth is a hero in my book. If there were more detectives like you in the city, maybe Aiko's death would have been solved earlier. I'm sure things would have been different. You're so right, though. <sighs> Kanai Ward hasn't seen a hero like you in forever. That's why it's always been so dark here. So please... Please continue to be our hero. Okay. A hero. Maybe before I lost my memories, I was trying to become someone's hero. This time, there was a steep price to be paid for exposing the truth. But even so, the truth must always be revealed. I want to believe I can save someone. I want to continue being the hero she says I am. Aww. Still... I don't want to use Shinigami's powers again. <laughs> don't act like you don't <laughs> well, you're gonna have to. <gasps> Is that Miss Belle? Uh, Hi, Belle. Hi, the Bevel Buddies. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Cinder, the Hellhound VTuber. Hello! Double raid. Double, double bubble raid. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Geary! Oh, hi! Hi, everybody. I hope you guys had fun together. I really, really appreciate the raid. I have been solving mystery. A mystery. Yeah, we had a murder, and then we investigated it, and then we solved the crime, and, like, a bunch of people died. And... And now I think we're about to kiss a girl we saved. It's, it's like, it's getting kind of, it's getting kind of, it's kind of tense. She just called us her hero and shit, like, Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> We're eating good today! Hell yeah! <laughs> yes, Wayne. <gasps> oh my god, wait, there fucking was... <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. Thank you so much for the double ring. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hello! Hello, Oni Mart, uh, employees! <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> welcome! Welcome, I'm Sunder the Hellhound VTuber! It's so nice to see everybody! Thank you so much! Welcome, everybody! Um, uh, I was just- I was just telling everybody... I was just telling Bows Raiders that, uh, Rain Code is, is very similar to Danganronpa, so it's a murder mystery style game. Uh, we are, uh, wrapping up the second chapter right now, and we just saved a Goral. She called us her hero, and I think we're gonna kiss. I'm hoping that we kiss. Uh, we also have a death god helping us. That's where my horns and crown come from. Well, I'm just glad you seem more motivated now. We killed three other girls. Well, we didn't kill them. They committed murder, so they had to die. A lot of people died this chapter. <laughs> a lot of people died. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, we made a promise, didn't we? <gasps> to kiss? I said I'd tell you about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret after the case was solved. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, Shinigami said that we were gonna make babies now. <laughs> That's what she thought we were gonna do. <laughs> Oh, you guys just miss Shinigami as the waifu. She's a little bubble ghost now. But but she used to be a waifu huh? in her ultimate uh, form. Oh, right. Next chapter, next chapter. Hey, you seem like you weren't expecting much. Yeah, same devs as Danganronpa. Same music, art style, everything. Mystery. But that's where you're wrong. Just between you and me, I am Kanai Ward's only informant. Huh? Huh? Informant? Are you serious? A high school girl informant? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm still a beginner though. I started three years ago after taking over from my grandfather. She's so precious. And now that the peacekeepers control the city, there isn't much of a demand for information anymore. Look at her little sprites. They're little freckles. So we'll see more of her, please? I hope so. That's the thing with like, the, these kind of games, with like Danganronpa-esque games, is that you can't, you can't get attached. Cause you never know who's gonna die. <laughs> Cause everybody just ends up dying. Like I'm pretty sure there were three survivors in the last Danganronpa game. Like <laughs> that's not a good number. Uh <laughs> no wonder you know so much about rumors. Besides. I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. Oh, please give me a smooch. She is so cute, isn't she? That also explains why the peacekeepers were after you. Oh yeah, that was kind of sus. I thought I thought she was gonna be guilty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> if Kurumi is an informant, maybe she does have some crucial information about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Maybe. Damn. How much do you know? Actually, let's look at this view together first. Can we have a moment? <sighs> Kanai Ward, Amaterasu Corporation, Peacekeepers. I have no idea what's in store for me. <laughs> no point worrying about the future. It is what it is. You don't have a worry in the world, do you, Shinigami? I guess not. So, Kurumi, what do you know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Well, it's likely connected to the top secret research that Amaterasu Corporation is conducting. They're the corrupt government, by the way. They have no right to an attorney, and they must, they must comply. <laughs> like, that's what they say every time people get arrested. <laughs> you have no right to a lawyer. <laughs> so I fucked up. It has something to do with why the unified government approved of Kanai Ward's isolation. Top secret research? Approved the isolation? Oh? Huh? Kanai Ward has always been a city centered around Amaterasu. Their head enforcer is a sadistic man woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there was a lot more freedom in the past. People were allowed to come and go as they pleased. It became an autonomous zone, free from the Yuji's influence only a few years ago. The reason behind it has to do with the top secret research that Amaterasu is conducting. But what is it? But what is yes, the research? Thank you! What is it? Why has it been raining the past three years? I don't know all the details, but it's supposed to be able to change the entire structure of the world. What? All nations and enterprises worldwide want it. This research is what turned Amaterasu into a major global corporation. Are we getting too ahead of ourselves, maybe. And that research is being done in Kanai Ward? I think so. It would explain why Kanai Ward's been isolated. It's so their research doesn't leak out. Research that can change the world? If that's true, it's some serious stuff. Hmm. No wonder number one of the WDO would risk his neck here. Do you know any more details about that research? I do know a little bit. Grandpa risked his life to obtain one piece of confidential information one about Amaterasu Corp. And I believe that somehow, it has to be related. What do you mean? Research to create a homunculus. 
an immortal monster. Okay, this is like the third time immortality has been brought up in this game. Is Vivia? It's almost like a running theme. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Red. Vivia? Vivia kept joking about being immortal. Is Yuma immortal? <laughs> Is that why we can't remember shit? Were we created in a lab? In a factory? Homunculus? Immortal monster? No, wait just a minute. Are you serious? I don't have any proof. But if Vivia's immortal, and if we're immortal, then we can be with him forever. <laughs> My husbandal! My raincoat husbandal! <laughs> You guys know me so well. <laughs> homunculi. Holy shit. Been researched in this city. Fucking homunculi. Is that Kamai Ward's ultimate secret? No way. Immortal monsters, homunculi. It's turned into a fantasy story out of nowhere. Oh, I'm sure not one to talk. <laughs> this is getting so fucking wild. That's all I know. Well, is my information useful to you? Yes! Although, most of it was left behind by my grandpa. That's okay. Left behind? One day, my grandpa just vanished. He's been missing ever since. Okay, that's pretty sus. That's why I decided to take over where grandpa left off as an informant. So, do you think what I've shared might help? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is huge. Considering how I had nothing until now. Who's a grandpa? Really? That's great! I'm actually useful to a master detective! Oh, oh. Um, about that master detective thing. Um, I'm actually not a master detective. Look, that's where my grandpa used to live. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> that takes me back. I wish I could see him again. Maybe we'll find him. Maybe we'll see him so like in the future in one of these chapters. <sighs> oh well. And that's how you'll keep taking advantage of a high school girl. Huh. Huh. Why don't you shut up and let me have this moment? By the way, Kurumi, why do you think your grandfather disappeared? Could it be the peacekeepers? No, I don't think the peacekeepers have anything to do with it. Hmm. Grandpa vanished before Kana Ward became isolated. Hmm. He was just suddenly gone. But I do believe I'll see him again someday. The only old man I can think of is number one. Which would be like a whoa, a plot twist. Um Or 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 um Um Uh oh, what was his name? The guy the guy in the first the guy in the first uh chapter zero. That guy. The guy with the eye patch. Him. Master, forget about but he's dead. Zange! The homunculus research. So that's probably not him. We can probably rule out Zange. If Amaterasu Corporation is still researching some immortal monster in Kanai Ward, mm. it makes sense why there'd be such tight security. Yeah. They fear the secret leaking to the outside world. <gasps> I want to see a homunculus! Yo! Maybe it even has something to do with the great global mystery that number one mentioned. Speaking huh. of which, what could the great global mystery be anyway? Maybe it's the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. There's too much stuff we don't know, <laughs> but you're one step ahead of the other detectives now, yeah? Guess that flat chested uggo is. She famous. literally doesn't! The rain it's the it's the raincoat! The raincoat covers up a lot of the curves. You go, come on, don't be that mean. Maybe I should stop. 
stop calling her Ugo now. I'll just call her flat. Well, you're making we're making progress. We're we're making progress here. Still gonna hold on to that, huh? I guess this is technically an improvement. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> to yourself, right? It'll help you get ahead of the other master detectives. I hmm, I should, because technically you can't trust anybody. No, I'll report this to everyone. Oh. This isn't something I can deal with alone. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is literally... It's literally not even the first time. It's not the first time that detectives have been imposters and have been evil and tried to kill us. So who knows if there are more imposter detectives that will turn, uh, that will turn around and backstab us. <laughs> My heart can't take this. <laughs> All I can do is investigate Connor Ward's ultimate secret just a little bit further. Imagine my husband, oh, stop. He's too good. The rest should be left to the real master detective. He's too, he's too cute and quirky to be evil. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault as your mentor for babying you so much. You've become the kind of detective trying to solve problems yourself. Is Kurumi still just standing there? <laughs> As we're talking to ourselves? What, what's wrong with relying on others? Yeah, <laughs> you've just been standing there the whole time. <laughs> Is this where we say goodbye? Thank you so much for today. Here we go, here we go. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. The pleasure is all mine. I'm kind of hungry. <gasps> Maybe I should go buy a meat bun on the way home. Um, about that. Uh, I was supposed to buy my boss some food before I ran into you, and then now it's like a whole a whole day has passed and he hasn't had food. You want to go on a date? <laughs> you like those meat buns too, huh? Yes, I love them. I eat at least one every two days. That's very specific. They're kind of the comfort food of Kanai Ward. Oh. It's like I'm instinctively drawn to them. I want to try meat bun so bad. <laughs> this, this game is making them sound so good. Oh, would you like to join me, Yuma? Yes! No thanks. I'll pass. <gasps> no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> You goddamn yeah, moron! Yeah, fuzzy baby. Oh. <laughs> Yuma, Yuma, please, Yuma, Yuma, you can't be this fucking dense, bro. I see. She's sad now. She's sad. She. <sighs> then they're out here getting hungry in more ways than one XD. No, no, no! Look, she literally, she took the plunge. She made the first move. We shut her down, and look how sad she is now. Oh, she has <laughs> the ellipses. Now there's awkward silence. Um. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Will we meet again? Yes. Huh? What do you mean, huh? Yeah, of course. Dude, she's so into you. <laughs> ever need any information you can count on me see you later bye oh, i hope she's okay on her own well maybe you could have went with her maybe she fucking invited you and then you could have went with her and then you would have made sure she was okay and she wouldn't be on her own <laughs> i fucking I can't bring myself to say i'll walk you home Aww. she literally gave you she opened the door she opened the door. That's on you, buddy. Just say it. What are you, 12? <laughs> are you sure you don't want to go back to the agency? Weren't you running an errand a while ago? About that. <gasps> You're right. <laughs> oh no, I better hurry back. Dude, it's way too late. <laughs> way too late. <laughs> <gasps> there she is. She's a little balloon. And the dumbass slammed the door shut. <laughs> Boss is fucking dead. Oh my god. 
He's gonna be so upset. Yako. I mean... I mean... I would have done it. I'd given him some meat buns. That would have been my priority. He, he's just... He's gonna scold us. He's gonna scold me. Homunculus research. Oh. I still can't believe it's true. Oh, I guess we we told... I guess we explained everything. Hey, hey! So, so, so new viewers, that, that guy in the fireplace? The guy, the guy just like chilling in the fireplace? That's my husband. I love him. He is the perfect life form. Just, just trust me. <laughs> just trust me. We're getting married. <laughs> Does it ring a bell, Chief? Unfortunately, I've never even heard of it. You sure it's not just some rumor? The way Kurumi explained it leads me to think it's true. We can trust her. Regardless, there's too little information. We lack anything definite at the moment. Still, it's better than having nothing at all. I can fix him. Well done, you. There's nothing wrong with him. Thank you. You're like a dog wagging its tail whenever you get confident. <laughs> I can't help it. I do wag my tail. <laughs> I'm not a dog. <sighs> You were late getting back, but I never imagined you'd get yourself into another mess. It's fine. It's solved now. You gotta trust me. Uh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Boss, calm down. Uh, I'm so angry. I'm talking with the last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. And your tail gets stuck between your legs whenever you get yelled at. Oh, do you blame me? Setting aside how I nearly died of hunger and that you man needs to be put on a leash. <laughs> Technically, I kind of am already. You picked another fight with the peacekeepers. That's the biggest problem here. No, I solved a crime, a mystery. We weren't picking a fight. Besides, we got to expose the truth in the end. Mm -hmm. That look on Martina's face was awesome. <laughs> you were... Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about! <laughs> How could you be so relaxed? Maybe, maybe take the cigarette out of your mouth and you'll be able to talk normally. <laughs> there, there, Lisp Man. Please remain calm. So, is it true the culprits in that case suddenly died? That makes it similar to what happened in the mailman case. Oh, uh, yeah, about that. I definitely don't have anything to do with that, by the way. Moreover. It is also similar in that those involved in each case, like Desuhiko and myself, had their memories wiped. Uh, also, I have no involvement in that either. There are too many common traits to call it a coincidence. No, no. It only happened twice, so... You don't have enough evidence there. Uh, 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 uh. The memories related to the case disappear. <laughs> Perhaps it is due to someone's forte. No, you're supposed to be aloof. You're not supposed. You're not. No, you're not supposed to say smart stuff like that. No. <laughs> I thought she was gonna be like, hmm. I can't remember things either. <laughs> uh, uh, no way. What kind of useless forte would that be? <laughs> Besides, no one here has an ability like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is weird. <laughs> Could another master detective have found their way here? It'd be one thing if we were anywhere else in the world, but we're in Kanai Ward. Mm. This isn't the kind of place some ambitious master detective could barge into by himself. If someone got officially dispatched here, I would know. Anyway, why are you all looking so glum? A lot of people just died. The case is closed and we got new information. It's a fantastic step forward. Hmm. It's springtime and all is right in the world. Spring? It rains all year <laughs> long here. And we've had nothing but trouble. Ugh, just what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Yago, calm down. He, Manzi needs a meat bun. <laughs> Yago needs a meat bun stat. <laughs> it's like the hand of death itself. Ugh. Ugh. Be still, my heart. Yeah, you're so right. You're so right. God damn. <gasps> Me too, Yuma. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. 
<laughs> What's wrong, Vivia? You know what they say. The greater the detective, the more often they encounter death. He's so deep, man. Oh. <laughs> you got room in that fireplace? <laughs> Isn't that right? You. Yes. Uh, yes, you just say yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Liz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can explain. I can explain. I can. <laughs> that does kind of apply to you, Yuma. In a way, you're like a death detective. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. <laughs> he likes me. Forgive me, daddy. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm naughty. naughty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a death detective. Yeah, yeah, is that cool? Are you into that? Uh, don't take it the wrong way. I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but even if it offends you, I refuse to apologize. Apologizing is too much of a hassle. This is like the most he's ever spoken with more than just me around. Usually he only talks when it's just the two of us alone, but... He's making progress. And he's complimenting me in front of everybody. <gasps> the Death Detective. You have a cool nickname, Yuma. Thank you. No way. I don't want a nickname like that. I think it's pretty badass. Really? But it sounds so awesome. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It seems death has taken a liking to you, Yuma. That's one of your talents, in a way. Oh, if only you knew. <laughs> I, I've got a death god. Sheesh. I'll never understand this guy. I'll figure out how to discipline Yuma later. For now, we need to come up with a plan to handle the peacekeepers. You said this case involved Vice Director Martina, right? Mm hmm She's Director Yomi's right-hand woman. Oh, trust me. We know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> I heard she's both his close advisor and his mistress. What's fireplace man's power? I don't know. So, so far, there's been one chapter sort of centering around one of the other master detectives. Uh, Halar was the first one. Desuhiko was this chapter. Um, I'm assuming we have three more to go. Typically, there's five, five or six chapters. I think there's just six chapters in Danganronpa. But if you include the prologue, chapter zero, uh, I think there's probably going to be five chapters. Um, so maybe, maybe Vivi will be the next chapter. Maybe. I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to make a move somehow. I don't even want to think about it. What do they do? Oh no. See, this is what I'm talking about. They're sabotaging the submarine. Everyone, brace yourselves. Are you serious? Oh no. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm okay, shut up. <laughs> Screaming! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, the agency is sinking! Oh, oh shit! Where is everyone? Somebody, help! Do you know how to swim? No. Hey, master! Snap out of it! Uh. Come on. Oh. Well, that was fun. Thank you guys for being here while I played through Rain Code. It was a, it was a fun adventure. I really like this game. <laughs> it was a lot shorter than I thought it would be, but Kaboom! <laughs> oh, it sank all right. <laughs> This fucking smug Kokichi looking asshole. This is this little shit bitch man. Chapter three drowning in depression. <laughs> oh this my is god. The bolt of judgment, the fire of purification. Yeah, he looks like Kokichi. Explosion. Kokichi's a character in Danganronpa V3, who's the shittiest of little shits. Hey! Who prepared that torpedo? Unfortunately, it was I, 
Martina Electro. Ah, uh, I figured it was you. Um. So when they said that, you know, the the whole, the whole right hand, right hand man, right hand woman, right 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 hand. Yeah. Uh. That wasn't enough firepower. I told you to blow up the whole river and vaporize them, didn't I? They've got a weird uh work relationship going on. Now it just looks like I'm causing chaos. Half-assed executions of the law are nothing but senseless violence. I told you to demonstrate perfect order. Listen to me. A clean and pure execution of the law is overwhelming, absolute, and completely blows everything away without a trace. I'm terribly sorry, Director Yomi. No matter. You are my beloved right hand. Uh. <laughs> you only need to remain by my side. Yes, thank you. Okay, I'll um. Ever be by your side. You can't really sir. see it, but she is so fucking into this shit right now. <laughs> she is. She is very much enjoying this. So, um. I I, I guess that's healthy. <laughs> Because that's a healthy relationship. Thing is, oh even though you're my beloved right hand, she's taking her clothes off. No, she's out. not. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stream this. Huh? Punish? You couldn't even solve a case caused by a couple of brats. Not to mention the detectives escaped under your watch. But it's all right. Don't worry. You are my beloved right hand. The way he says that, I just want to vomit. I won't hurt you. I need you to stay pretty for me forever. Wait. 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 The fucking immortality homunculus shit? Um, there's something you want to explain? I... I understand. So, what is my punishment? See this? It's a recent invention by Amaterasu Corporation called a High Performance Presser. Nipple clips? <laughs> uh... You can compress up to 50 kilograms of material and instantly turn it into a cube. Oh, oh no, no, no. Different kind of press. Um... So it's like a hydraulic press. Even humans can be turned into pretty little cubes. Huh. Uh. Huh? Um. I'll keep you on my person at all times, so you'll always be by my side. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, are you for real? Are you like for real, for real? You are my beloved right hand. Please wait! What? You you must be joking! I don't think he jokes. I don't think he's uh he's one to joke around, girly. Hey, you! Take my beloved right hand over there. Director Yomi, please wait! Please! Have mercy! Oh, Martina. There's something I wanted to ask you before you go. What's love? <laughs> You're gonna ask her that now? Take her away. Director Yomi! Director Yomi! All right. Now, let's go find the corpses of those detectives that got blown up. Can I see the cube? I don't hear anything. Don't think she's into it anymore. <laughs> oh. 
Um, I didn't expect that. I thought he was like really into that, uh, really into her. Uh, I guess not. What's that? You don't know? I guess not, since you're still new. That's number one, the leader of the World Detective Organization. Th that's him? I had no idea. Why would someone that high up be here underground? There's a book vault here. It's a secret book vault that only number one can enter with his biometrics. It supposedly contains data from generations of great detectives, sealed books, and so on. We're... we're... Oh, we're getting our memories back! Huh? Didn't know that. Don't even think about going in there, newbie. I... I know! Hmm... Was it number one carry in a book book just now? I wonder what that book was. Curious? Well, how about you go investigate? You may be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Investigate? Me? <laughs> Kidding. Don't take it so seriously, Yuma. So we've met Yako before? Yako kind of yeah, that is Shinigami's book. But that sounded like Yako. Uh, oh, it was just a dream. Uh, Never mind. It wasn't memories. It's just a dream. Wait, where are we? We're in the hotel. Wait, where am I? Beats the hell out of me. <laughs> but weren't you by my side the whole time? Don't you know what happened to us? Like that time back at the Amaterasu Express. I was only able to stay awake back then because we just made the pact and we weren't fully synchronized yet. But that didn't work this time. Hmm. When you lose consciousness, my vision also goes dark. Interesting. Actually, do you remember drifting in the river after the explosion? You almost died. Hell, even as a death god, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> This is no laughing matter! Anyway, because your biological activity stabilized, I was also able to wake up. Everything's A-OK -okay so far. Hmm. Now, let's go find out where we are! I want to go exploring so bad, my eyes are watering! That's a bit dramatic. I wonder if this is the same where hotel? Where are we? Let's check things out for now. Is there anything in the room? There's a TV! This is... It's a large TV. <laughs> Master's thinking of using that giant screen to watch spicy videos. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to think about it later? <laughs> no way. Um, this is a bougie room. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just getting my detective points. <laughs> What? We're in a penthouse! Wow. Oh no, we had, we're at Amaterasu Corporation. Who are you? Who's there? Hi there. Nice to meet you. Uh. I sure look suspicious, huh? That was not what I was expecting. I was like, ooh, a babe. <laughs> That's the end of chapter two. Um, yeah, I think we're at, uh, we're in Amaterasu Corporation. <gasps> S. 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 A. I got a Kabas score. Look at all my DP I got. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> sea bass. <laughs> Kabass. <laughs> DP is detective points. That's how I can level up my skills. You need DP to, to get better skills. 
No, not a C plus. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at detective work. They also make it really easy for you and they walk you through it pretty easily. <laughs> so, ba 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 ba. Uh, let me go back to my room. There we go. It always has that little bit of lag. There's just, you know, so much in here. <laughs> I need the DPP, huh? No, <laughs> just one P will do. <laughs> so raincoat is over. Let me take off my Shinigami accessories. Mhm. Mm and we will continue chapter three and the rest of the game uh, some other time. If you're not in my Discord server, you can use the command Discord to join. That's where I post my schedules for the week. Uh, I plan to take tomorrow off, and then the rest of the the rest of the the week, I'm going to be building Lego. So I'm gonna have a hand cam, and it's a surprise. It's a it's a surprise Lego set. It's not really Legos. They're like Lego knockoffs. But it's been something that I've been planning. To, to do on stream for a while and I'm really really excited and since it's such a big build I'm gonna be doing it both Friday and Saturday on stream <laughs> more Nike booty shooter maybe next week maybe next week I always post my schedules um, on stream for four my schedules for stream on discord so make sure make sure you uh, you think you saw it oh I don't know <laughs> I haven't shown it I haven't shown it yet but uh, don't forget, also don't forget my Novel Horizons 1 7 scale figure of me and my bikini outfit is gonna be gone soon. So make sure you get one of those before they're gone forever! Forever and ever and ever! Mm hmm. I also just recently had uh, like physical uh, prototypes for the figure, like with the paint job and everything, because this right here is just the 3D render of it. But I have an actual turnaround with like the tail removed. You can remove the tail if you wanna see the ass. <laughs> If you want a good look at the, at the booty cheeks, that's an option. And once uh, some edits are made, I will be sharing those with everybody. I'm really, really, really excited. Mm -hmm. Also, some other news, some more developments. I have an Instagram account now. If you guys are into Instagram, uh, you can find the link under the announcements uh, channel in my Discord server. And uh, check out my YouTube channel. I post a lot of funny highlight videos there. Mm -hmm. My lovely editor, Kaiser. Makes makes my highlight videos extra funny. Yeah, thank you for posting the link thread. I really appreciate it and a big shout out to you guys I know I get distracted pretty often during uh, Streams where I'm not just sitting down chatting with you guys. So I do apologize for missing notifications I'm really really thankful for all your subs your gift subs your cheers everything. I'm really 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 Genuinely thankful for all of you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you. And ooh, thank you for plugging gamer subs. So um, trust me when I say this, chat. Trust me. If you have tubs that you're gonna wanna get, there's gonna be a new cup this Friday. And you get it for free with the purchase of any tub. <laughs> so stay tuned. I will be streaming this Friday with hand cam, so I will be able to show you what it looks like, so I can give you a little sneaky peeky. It won't be a sneak peek. It'll probably be out by then. But I'll at least be able to show it to you in person on my stream. It's really cool. Season five of the Waifu Cups are super freaking cute. Yeah, and it's free with a uh, with a tub, uh, any flavor tub. <laughs> so uh, for those of you gamer subs enjoyers, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Your wife a cup and free samples arrived! <gasps> I hope you like it! In fact, if you were wondering uh, my opinion on what flavors to get, you can also use the command GGF for Gamersup's flavors. And it gives you uh, a nice little message on some of my favorite flavors. I, I drink this stuff daily. I was actually drinking it during the stream today. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys like this stuff. Also, thank you guys so much for sharing pictures of your merch in the merch channel in the Discord server. I love seeing you guys, like, being so excited about my body pillows and the booba mouse pads and keychains and everything. So, thank you again so much for, for getting my merch. And I can't wait until you guys get your figures! Because those are going to be so cool! They're going to be really, 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 really nice. Almost 4am? Uh, 
Yeah, it is almost 4 a.m. for me. But you know what? Almost a 10 hour stream. We did a lot today. And I'm surprised we got through a whole entire raincoat chapter. But I'm really glad we did, because I had so much fun with it. And it was a, an emotional roller coaster. For sure. <laughs> But um, if you guys liked Rain Code, I do have the past Rain Code VODs up on my VOD YouTube channel. It's different from my main YouTube channel. So if you want to go back and check out the story, get caught up, and be here for the next chapter, I'll be uh, announcing that on future schedules whenever I decide to stream more Rain Code. If you're, if you're into the story. <laughs> it's really, really good. It's really fun. If you guys like Danganronpa, if you like Murder Mystery, good stories. Good character designs, good music, good everything. Can you tell I'm a fan? <laughs> Raincoat has been fun. Yeah. Mm hmm. It was a roller coaster. Yeah. It might be one of your favorites now. Aww. The only downside to the Dongan Rampa franchise is that it doesn't really have replay value just because it's the same murders, the same story, the same characters, and everything. Um, that's the only downside, but being able to, you know, experience it and, and solve the mysteries and have all the pieces come together and you're like, oh my god, it's really, really fun and satisfying. So, I really appreciate that you guys like, uh, coming along the journey with me. So, uh, it is time for me to get some sleepies. Um, ma -ma -ba -ba -ba. let's see, let me find somebody to rate. Who's online this late? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Let me see who's live. Mm -hmm -hmm. Silver, silver, silver? Silver is live. Go say hello. If it'll work. There we go. Sometimes <laughs> I have like um, shortcuts and sometimes they, they take a while to work. There we go. Feel free to hop on the raid chain, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You enjoyed your stay. You guys are always so sweet. Thank you. We can do, we can just do a uh, Pyro Pup raid, Cinder raid. Up to you guys. Master detective raid. <laughs> you guys always have like wild and wacky raid messages. You guys are so cute. Detective Peepy raid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if that's what makes you happy, <laughs> you guys are detective peepees. My my detective pyro pups. Yeah, pyro pups. Don't forget. Don't forget that you're pyro pups. <laughs> that's a very important. Very very important. A uh, thing to remember. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So again, I'm um, probably not gonna be live tomorrow unless my Nike, my crippling Nike addiction comes back to haunt me, and I decide to stream. But other than that, it'll just be some fun, comfy Lego builds with the hand cam stream on Friday and Saturday. So stay tuned for what I'll be doing next. I have a lot of fun plans. So uh, let's go say hi to Silver Veil, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>